What's that now? Don't like the cold? Can't stay in today. We have a ritual to perform, you and I. your name, girl. But will the goddess speak it back? Normally it would be the mother who declares, if you had one. The whole village would attend and matriarchs perform the ritual, but we are outcasts. Even so, we keep the tribe's rituals. Otherwise, we might become like the faithless old ones who turned their backs on the goddess. But their wickedness doomed them. To us, we're left the splendors of creation, beasts of air, water, earth, and steel. It is one thing to hunt a beast, another to hunt a machine. You must be humble and respect their power. I will teach you this. One day. No, 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 off your knees. It's nearly time. And yes, you may speak to me. You came to bless the naming. Have not six months gone by since we entrusted her to you? But we are outcasts. You by choice. And she, well... I am a high matriarch, Rost. I bless whom I choose. Then you honor us. Yes, yes, now go and be ready to declare. Go! Oh, mother, this child needs a name by which to know her. That your love may warm her life as the rising sun warms all the earth. Speak her name! Aloy! And so her name is blessed. Stop this at once! What have you done? I've blessed the naming of a child. Stubborn woman, you call that curse a child? What did she tell you about his birth outcast? Answer! I've done only what you asked. To raise it, yes. We said nothing of love. Enough! And you, blessing its name like it was one I of the I know my duty to the them. Tribe. And to you. Without consultation. I'm here. And wherever you go, I will follow.
You're quite the gatherer, aren't you, little ghost? Now go and see if you can find some more, hmm? Well done, that's a good boy. Children, come with me. She's an outcast to be shunned. There. Oh, come on. There. Get through. This must be a ruin of the metal world. One of the old places. never go in places like this. But I have to find a way out. shiny there.
do this. A metal door, close. Maybe this device I found can help. How do I get it open? Connected to the door somehow. More lights. Changed color. The door changed color too. device, like the one I found. You think I want it this way? It's the best I can do. He's right behind you. Hi! <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but we can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Show me. Show me again. I can do. He's right behind you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. But look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but we can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Thoughts for posterity. 
Director. Why did they die here? Great idea, Director Evans. What happened? Like I haven't done enough for posterity already. Like I wouldn't be here like this if not for posterity. I'm done with posterity. Posterity can go. And pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. I mean, uh, death. I'm sorry. It's been a while. And, well, these meds Johnny gave us are really something. So, uh, okay, from the top, kids. <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace. my hand. You don't belong down there. Come. <clears throat> Such places are forbidden, Aloy. I fell in. They are of the metal world. What is that on your face? Nothing. Did you find it down there? No. Give it to me. No. Aloy, such things are dangerous. No! Well, if you're gonna go sneaking away from home, you'll need to know how to survive in the wild. Come, Aloy. Home now. But starting tomorrow, you will learn to hunt. to that plaything. We descend to the valley now. Follow. The wilds can be dangerous, Aloy. You will need to stay close and do as I say. I know. Now. You're still scratched up from that fall you took yesterday. So let's start there. Take this medicine pouch. I'll show you how to fill it. See this plant over here? It's called South Brush. Come, gather its berries in your pouch. Good. Now eat the berries. <laughs> They may taste bitter, but they can save your life. Always keep your pouch full of medicinal berries, flowers, and plants. Where are we? This valley is just a part of all Mother's embrace. Embrace? The Nora tribe watches these lands and keeps out the most dangerous machines. Further down river, we'll find a herd of machines, and I will teach you how to hunt. Are they dangerous? All machines are dangerous, Aloy. Their power must be respected. But I will be beside you. Mm. Aloy, a machine's coming. 
Crouch and follow me into the tall grass. There. Now stay low. Little one. No, Aloy. Such machines are called watchers. You must learn to avoid their gaze. If you are to survive in the wilds, I will show you. Listen closely and do as I do. Stay still. Wait for it to pass. Now keep low and follow me across the trail to that tall grass. Walking is quieter than upright. Wait for it. That's the last of them. Let's move on. Did well. They didn't see or hear you. Now stay close. That herd should be just ahead. Who's that? Ignore him. But why is he up there? Ignore him. We are outcasts, and he is of the tribe. Maybe he doesn't like the tribe. Then he is a fool. Come now. Let's find that herd. Follow. There. See them? These are called striders. Ha! Get! Why'd you chase them off? Huh. To show you how some machines startle easily if they detect you and run away. They're best approached by stealth. Don't worry. We'll catch up with them further down the valley. You'll see. Now, I want you to find some rocks that fit the cup of your hand. Why? Do as I say, Aloy, and gather the rocks. I will show you how to use them. Those will do. Follow. Unless they are first silenced. Now you stay here on the ridge. On my signal, throw rocks and draw the watcher over to me. Wait for my signal. Aloy, 
throw a rock near me. There. Come, girl, it's safe now. Harvest the kill so I can teach you how to make arrows. Use the stalks as arrow shafts, and metal shards for arrow heads. Good. You'll never run out of arrows if you know how to craft what you need. Let's put those arrows to use. Follow. Here, stay low in the grass. Aloy, they heard you. Don't be so noisy this time. Let's put those arrows to use. Follow. It's time to make your first kill, Aloy. Strider. One of the weaker machines. But even a weak machine can kill a hunter if she's careless. You must study the hunter. Its hide is thick, but there are spots where it is vulnerable. Like its eye. Can you guess another? Thing? Stop playing games. Now, take down that strider. Target the eye or the canister. And if it charges, be ready to roll out of the way. You did well today, but you have much to learn. Tomorrow, we train again. What was that? That boy. The one running the brave trails. Follow Aloy, quick! I can do 
do nothing. It's only a matter of time before the machines find that boy and kick him to death. But if I shoot, it'll cause a stampede and it will trample him. But I can see the paths they take. Stop telling stories. I'm not. I can sneak through. You will not. their path. Almost there.
So, it is no plaything. Wait. Oh, Mother, bless that girl. Bless you both. She, Boy! She saved me. I, I just wanted... Boy! Seal your lips! They are outcasts, both. And she is motherless. Come now. Back to Mother's heart. should not have spoken to us. It's against tribal law. We'll go home now. Follow. I know the way. Mother. bleeding. Let me have a look. Here, hold still. I'll get it. Why? Shh. Why am I an outcast? Aloy, this is not the time. Who was my mother? Aloy, I've told you before, that's not for us to know. You were just a newborn when the matriarchs brought you to me. So the matriarchs, they know? It's not so simple. But they know. Aloy, we are outcasts. So how do I make them tell me? The matriarchs? There is a way, perhaps. So tell me. It would be dangerous. How? It would take years of training. I don't care. How do I do it? Tell me. The proving. The tribe's rite of passage held every year. Those who pass become braves, but to the one who wins, the matriarchs grant a boon. A boon? Yes, whatever the winner wants. Then I'll do it. <laughs> whatever it takes. I'll win the proven. I see. We'd best get started then. Your training will be hard. And it'll take years. Start training? Yes. Follow.
Rost! 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 Where is he? Two days before the proving and he goes off without me? He wouldn't do that. He said we'd go hunting this morning. Why isn't he here? Where's he gone to? What's he doing up there? He's just standing there. What's going on with him? Aloy, you're here. Did you want to be alone? No. We must speak. I've been thinking about your training, Aloy. You've learned to hunt, learned to survive. But I fear there's a lesson I failed to teach you. Would you learn it now? Of course. I'll always learn what you have to teach. There has been some trouble recently. It affords an opportunity to learn this lesson, but it will be dangerous. You must come prepared, or you will die. Descend into the embrace, and hunt until you have gathered the parts for fire arrows. Fire arrows? What kind of trouble are we talking about? Once you have the parts, you will meet me there, at the gate beyond the village of Mother's Heart. Uh, the North Gate? At the edge of the embrace? Yes. Now be on your way. Is something else bothering you? No, I'm fine. I'll go gather the parts, but I'm also going to pay Karst to visit. Aloy, that man breaks the law every time he speaks to you. And I'm glad he does. I want to buy a trip caster, and no other trader will sell to outcasts. Stock it with ammunition, then. You'll find use for that weapon tonight. That sounds ominous. All right, see you at the North Gate. change after proving. Two days. Two days until I get answers. Two days and I'll know who she was and why I was cast out at birth. As if there could be an excuse for that. All right, time to gather the plants for some fire arrows. I should find a herd. Two more days, and I'll know what it's like in there. It 
so many people crammed into one place. I guess no one ever gets lonely in there. These will keep. Who are you calling out for? Do you need help? I have nothing against outcasts. Far from it. But I shouldn't talk to you. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't see anyone else around to help. 
I guess you're right. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to be callous. My brother was cast out, but his sentence has ended. He, he should have come home, but he didn't, and, and his camp was covered in blood. What are you doing out here all alone? Each day I cut a notch on the wall so I knew Brahm's sentence was over. Then I cut three more, but he still hadn't come back. I begged the matriarchs to send braves to find him, and all they found was a blood-soaked camp. The braves said he must be dead, but I have to know the truth. So I came out looking for him. You, um, you said your brother's camp was soaked with blood? The braves went looking for him, and, and that's what they found. All I can think about is what might have happened. Is he really dead? Or maybe just wounded? Is he suffering? Does he need help? I can't stand it not knowing. I'll do what I can to find your brother. You will? Then let me come with you. I won't be a bother. I know how to stay out of sight. I'm faster on my own. If that is how it must be, just find him then. Please. No one else around. Looks safe to meet. My guess is he'll be waiting for me. There he is. Looks nervous. Well, well, well. An outcast on my doorstep. All mother protect me. Surprised you saw me the way you keep looking every other direction to make sure no one's watching. Careful there, or you'll sprain your neck. It's always a pain in the neck when you show up, girl, one way or another. <laughs> Last time I visited, you had a trip caster available for trade. Still got it? I do. But you'd need to bring me a scrapper lens. What can I say? Special weapons don't come cheap. Oh, I can pay. Took down a scrapper not long ago. Stripped out the lens in perfect condition. I'll be the judge of that. Show me.
got yourself a trip caster. Practice how to use it someplace else, all right? My life's exciting enough without a bunch of shock wire booby traps to trip over. Really? Could have fooled me. <laughs> Will you be around later, in case I want to make another trade? I'll be here. Same as usual, bring me the parts you harvest from any machines you hunt. The better the parts, the more shards I'll pay. Be sure to take a close look at my inventory, though. Who knows? Maybe I've got something that could give you an edge in the proving. I guess that concludes our business. All right. See you around. I've got what I need. Time to meet Rost at the North Gate. It's the motherless outcast again. Go ahead and stare. Goddess, why won't you leave me alone? Don't say hello. You're not allowed. <sighs> this isn't right. An oh, outcast must me. know her place. I'm not saying I agree. It's against the law to talk to outcasts. Oh, mother, make her go away. they're hunting out there doesn't sound easy. There he is, right where he said he'd be. Hey, Lloyd. You have the firearms. I do. Those explosions and shouts beyond the embrace. Is that the trouble you were talking about? You will know soon enough. Until then, we wait for dark. Wait for dark? I don't understand. Those explosions are outside the embrace. What can we do from in here? The lesson will be taught in due time, Aloy. Until then, we wait. Is something else bothering you? No, I'm fine. Are you worrying about what happens after the proving? What happens is clear. You will be accepted as one of the tribe, and I will still be an outcast to be shunned. Rost, even if the tribe accepts me, I won't... There is much to do, Aloy. We will discuss this later. <sighs> okay. I saw Karst and got that tripcaster I was talking about. I hate to think what that outlaw trader charged for a weapon of that make. It wasn't cheap, but the caster is worth it. Perhaps. You'll know it's worth soon enough. Still a while to go before dark. I guess I'll get some rest. Good idea. There'll be no time for sleep tonight.
Opening a gate for an outcast? Some who are shunned reaped honor before disgrace. <sighs> so much for tribal law. I spoke to no one, and now we must both keep silent, for we are outside of the embrace. These are the true wilds, Aloy. With threats unlike any you have ever faced. That carcass? What sort of beast was that? The tribe calls it a sawtooth, and it's something new. Something angry. Since they first started appearing ten years ago, they have killed many braves. <sighs> yeah. Be much farther now. Why are we the only ones out here tonight? Why can't the tribe's braves hunt this machine? They did. The kills we passed are theirs. Tomorrow, they will hunt again. They won't need to. This machine will be my kill. Or your death, if you're not careful. Yours to make, Aloy. Yours alone. No matter what happens, I will not intervene. You understand? You are on your own. I should stay out of sight. I can use the tall grass to approach. Okay, let's see. Where can I place my traps?
Why did I bring you here? Not to answer questions. Aloy. Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against a dangerous new machine. No. Follow. These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the Sawtooth, how many braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? The lesson lives within the question, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the Proving, but only for yourself. As a brave, it will be your duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? You said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is the lesson you must learn. And remember it. After the proving. And after I'm gone. We're finished here. Follow. Past. This will be your last day in the Embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's Heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. I'll see you at Mother's Heart then. You will.
They're scanning for me. Blood, but no body. There's gotta be... This. Looks like a few drops of blood lead away from the camp. Whose knife is this? Did someone attack Brom with it? Looks like more blood leading away from here. There, the bucket. Did someone bring the blood to the camp? The trail of blood ends here. But whoever left it must have also left tracks.
for the trail. Save this for later. That's twisted. I wonder if the blood from the camp came from this boar. If Brom did this, why does he want people to think he's dead? And why desecrate the shrine? Scrapper's picking at. Looks like it was a watcher. If it's Brom, he definitely knows how to handle a spear. I want an oath! Damn you! Pause me! Promise me you won't make me hurt her. He's <laughs> tough. I will. I'll, I'll kill myself. I'll kill myself before I hurt her. You, you're not a spirit. What do you want? I want you to step away from the edge, Brom. No. Leave me alone. Can't you see I need time to think? I, how, how, how am I supposed to think when everybody is shouting at me? So many voices to listen to. It must make your head hurt. I promise my voice will be soft and soothing. A soft voice, like Alara's. It's been so long. Years. Yes. Yes, I... I will listen. That's better. Now tell me, what's troubling you? Spirits of the Forgotten. Souls cursed by the All-Mother. Their voices never let me be. They want me to do things, hurt people. If I go back to the Nora, they might make me hurt Alara. And I, I'll kill myself before I let that happen. Do you have to listen to the spirits, Brom? They're speaking to me right now. Always with me. They take care of me, keep me company. 
help me. Except when they scream. Like when that hunter knocked me down. Crush your skull with the rock, they said. And I did. Brom, you're alive. Oh, mother be praised. I'm sorry I followed you, but I had to make sure he was all right. No, 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 no. Please, sister, I, I, I can't protect you. I need no protection from you, Brom. He fears these spirits that he hears will turn him against you. Unless your voice can quiet them? Yes, just as it was before. He only ever hurt someone once, and it was provoked. I... I don't want to hurt you. But the Forgotten, their... their whispers, they... they fill my head with screams. Brahm isn't ready to return to the Nora. But I don't think he'll hurt you, Alara. There's a place where I can stay. A cave on All Mother Mountain. I suppose you could visit me there, so long as I'm strong. You will be, Brom. I'll help you. Thank you, Aloy. I'll take care of him now. May you walk in All Mother's eternal memory, and may the Forgotten leave you be. Pushing her luck these days.
can still get the upper hand. Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. Are you sure they're gonna let me in? <sighs> I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. What should I expect once I'm inside? There will be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs, a center of Nora life, a jewel of the sacred land. Give it time, and you'll grow fond of it, as I was, back when I was at the tribe. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Take this, too. Remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This... Attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. No. It's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you, Eloy. And you.
I have to let him go. For now. First, the proving. After that, I'll see where his trail leads. You will turn back, outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? It's you, isn't it? It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Try it on whenever you feel like it. Uh, thank you, Tep. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. 
Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. doing here careful pretend like we've never met i wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds remember how could i forget and how generous of you to talk to me now don't be like that you know i'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win and if you need any last minute supplies uh, i'm your man so mother's heart i thought you preferred the wilds well, man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. All sales are final. If it breaks, you're out of luck. shards. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace. It's peace. 
an annunciation of gratitude written Killers by and the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers Earth. and Slavers! Hey, hey, hey. Luminance hold of the your fruit, Nora, oh. Nora Faithful, hold your fruit. Now I'm Azaram, not Karja, so I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He's a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. now who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude Written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. High Lady has to use his bounty for this time. On the we eve of your first day, Karja into our lane. Unknown device detected. Did you see those Karja walk past? And the Sun's light breaks the darkness deep. He's wearing a focus, just like mine. As those you have nurtured, take the place of the Karja. Where did the Karja have come to make a move? Where did you find a focus? I won't deny them the chance. We join your prayers, but they will stand. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? Anora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places, forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. The Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? What else do you know about Olin? Is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... It's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart, you're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. I'll even introduce you to my sister. She's got more connections than I do. I thought you said she was captured and killed by the last Sun King. Ha! <laughs> captured, yes. Killed, no. It takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away. Now she's captain of the entire Vanguard. That's quite a story. Maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe?
harvest time, inviting these bloodthirsty Karja. Aspirants are in place. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. Blasphemy, sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. Mother, hear our prayer! What is a child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. There's Owen. But not with his girl. I have some but questions for him. Imagine. Are we supposed to forget what the Karja did to our tribe? The goddess put us here. Hello, Owen. You know my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the Claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've delved yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. Mine's never malfunctioned, and I've had it since I was a child. So yours is in better shape, then? I'm sure the land here is full of relics. Seeing how you Nora are too scared to delve the ruins. Because they think ruins are cursed. But I never said I think that. If the North acknowledges a curse, I'm inclined to agree. What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Eren needed a scout for his expedition, and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another Outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the King's court. That's all. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... Try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. 
always best to make every day count. Edward will ask for a maid blessing if he wins, but not with his girl, but her sister. Imagine. Is it just me, or is there still a bit off? I'm waiting for my sister to return from the heart. Whatever happens, I know I'll rest beside my mother among the parents. I want to see something new. I want to dance. Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. You're... you're very pregnant, you! <sighs> well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. We saw you talking with the outsiders. Couldn't convince them to take you either, huh? Aw, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the Proving. You can sense it. You already know you're gonna lose. <laughs> I've trained all my life for the Proving. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of anything. Really? Confidence is quiet. You're not. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. Yeah, the look on your face when I knocked that stone out of your hand was pretty entertaining. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, Outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. Nice job handling Bost. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. So? Your first day in Mother's heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. It has... certain charms. Homey enough, once you're accepted. That's the problem. I think you'll find a place here. I do. Get some rest.
lie to yourselves! What will it take to get you out of here? It's, it's a great razor! razor. <laughs> Your trophy is shattered, outcast. Looks like you'll need another. Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. Boss will win, Arvala. But you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now. That's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. Whoa, 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 whoa! My old mother, are you crazy? You're going to kill yourself! It doesn't get any easier! You're insane to go that way! That's it. No way, but forward Just now. Stop right there. Just turn around. Who's release? I can't see. Fuck. So follow that one. Come on now. Faster. Stop dragging. Gotta keep going. The outcast. On the old trail? You crazy? Good. I'm gaining. The outcast is catching up. How'd she get up there? Keep at it.
She is a brave now. He did it. As are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast. And now brave. Who is first among us. Ah! No survivors. Now! 
now. Descend while we have a chance.
action figure there is blasphemy! She should be near her mother! have found me before I bled out. But why is no one here? Where am I? <sighs> my clothes. Good. But where's my focus? Patriarchs are allowed inside. I... I don't see my bow here. Or that damaged focus, the one I took off that... killer. Where are they? I'm picking up some kind of signal. like the ruins I fell into when I was young. The Nora didn't build this place. The old ones did. But why? Some kind of power cell. I wonder what it's for. the rest of my things. Quick, I'm heading in. Hold for identity scan. 
You need to stop listening to Ted and start listening to me. You are awake! You brought me here? Quickly, you must follow. To where? To the place where you were born. Are you saying I was born here? Inside the mountain? It is easier if I show you. Why did you bring me here? It seemed you were dying, and to die near one's mother is sacred. Lantra fought it, of course, but Jezza sided with me. Is my mother here? Am I going to meet her? It's complicated. Please, just follow me. Does my mother look like me? but with short hair. I don't see how that could be. You were not born of a woman, Aloy. The mountain is your mother. I'm... What? What are you talking about? Come. Is this place the great chamber where all mother slew the metal devil and gave birth to you Aloy the proving massacre was just the first of many disasters the war party we sent after the killers was ambushed and slaughtered but what does that have to do with where I was born my hope is everything this is where we found you. We heard your cries, came to look, and there you were. Just... just lying there? Yes. You mean I came from behind the door? Always, that is what I have believed. That you came from the womb of the mountain. A gift from all mother herself. But others, like Lanzra, feared that a darker power put you here. Not a gift, but a curse. But... this isn't a goddess. Aloy! It's a door. With people behind it. My mother? <gasps> oh! Hold for identity scan. The goddess speaks. Just like the woman I saw. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Identity cannot be confirmed. Entry denied. No. No. Aloy, all mother spoke to you, as if she knew you. Were you not listening? It didn't recognize me. Because of corruption, the goddess's own words. Surely, if you heal this corruption, she will see you clearly. And how?
How would I do that? You said you've had visions. Of a woman with short hair. The killers came for me because I look like her. But their power is overwhelming. Is there no other trail to follow? Owen. He was one of the outsiders. The night before the proving. The killer saw me through his eyes. He lives in Meridian. So you will have to leave the sacred land. I've been an outcast all my life. Why not an exile too? Shh. There is another way. Come, and we will make it so. You said the tribe is on the brink of extinction. What happened? After the massacre at the Proving, a great war party was... ...sent after the killers. Less than half survived. How was the war party defeated? The killers do not fight alone. Somehow they have a power over the machines, corrupting them, driving them mad. So the killers got away? Yes. And now the only plan my sister matriarchs can agree to is to sing the hymn of atonement and beg for all mother's mercy. As though she would not want us to help ourselves. Then, what's your plan? This. This was my plan. To show you where you were born and loose you to follow the destiny all mother intended for you. The other high matriarchs are waiting for us. Let me do the talking. It is done? Yes. I showed her. Sisters, the goddess spoke to Aloy. Told her to heal the corruption. Ha! But how is she to do that? She will have to journey beyond our sacred land. A seeker? If the goddess spoke, it must be so. You would name this thing a seeker? Sister! For once, Lanzra, join with us. This will be your sin, not mine. Send her seeking, and may she never be seen again. Aloy, by the holy grace of the One Goddess, we hereby anoint you a seeker of the Nora tribe. No barrier can now stay you from your sacred task. May all mother protect you and sustain you. Stay true. I will make ready for the hymn. Our hopes lie with you. Tirsa, what's a seeker? You are. And here is your mark. In times of great need, the High Matriarchs may anoint a seeker. A worthy brave sent forth to accomplish a great purpose. No matter where that purpose might take her. Even beyond the borders of the sacred land? Yes. And with the right to return when you are done, or as the need arises. Have there been other Seekers? There have, but they are rare, and most who set out are never heard from again. Was Rost a Seeker? No, not a Seeker. What are you not telling me? This is not the time, Aloy. Perhaps another day. What was done with Rost's body? I'm afraid there was very little left to recover. But what there was, we buried at the place where he raised you, with flowers on the grave. Thank you. So I can go anywhere at all? No restrictions? 
even to forbidden places, like the tainted lands beyond all mother's sight, or the ruins of the metal world. I see. Why are the lands beyond Nora territory called tainted? Is it not obvious? Our land is sacred. We live in sight of the one goddess, all mother, source of all that lives. Beyond her sight lies a vast fallen land, spiritually tainted. That is why it is against tribal law to leave. But the Seeker Blessing will protect you. Why are the ruins of the Metal World forbidden? They are blighted places, Aloy. Dark and wicked. Like the children of Metal who built them. When they rebelled and tried to murder Old Mother, her wrath leveled their cities, but could not cleanse their sin. Their ancient spite haunts those ruins, ready to ensnare anyone foolish enough to enter them. But I've been in a ruin. It looked a lot like the inside of All Mother. That cannot be so. It is. Then this is something beyond my understanding. I will trust you to reveal the truth. So many have suffered. Is there anything I can do to help? What is most important is for you to fulfill the purpose All Mother has intended for you. I don't know what that means any more than you do. Then you must find out. If, however, you sense that part of your purpose is to help the tribe, by all means do so. I have no doubt you will find people in need throughout the embrace. You said the Nora sent a war party after the killers. Yes. But it was ambushed and overrun. Very few escaped alive. And most that did were wounded. Do you know where the killers went? No. But you could ask Varl, one of the braves guarding the gates of the Embrace. He survived the ambush. He would know more. I should be on my way. From here, you must go to the gates of the Embrace. Speak to Varl and he will point the way to Meridian. If any Nora tries to stand in your way, Aloy, make sure they know you are a Seeker. Oh, I will. Thank you, Tirsa, for all you've done. May all Mother bless you and watch over you. Nora Faithful, we will soon begin. Purify your hearts. Soon we will beg forgiveness for the sins that brought such misery on the tribe. When we hear the matriarchs lift their voices, we will join our... The outcast girl. So she survived her wounds. The tribe is lucky to have her. She saved many lives. The tribe is lucky to have her. I need the gate opened. Then you'll have to talk to the new war chief, Resh. Up on the wall. Aloy! Aloy! I heard the rumors, but I didn't know for sure until I saw you just now. I'm glad to see you're okay. I need the gate opened. Do you have any idea how dangerous it is out there? I need to pass through. <laughs> You'll have to talk to Resh then, up on the wall. He's the new war chief. I'm not sure he'll help you. What sort of rumors did you hear? That you were wounded. Expected to die. And then, High Matriarch Tirsa insisted that you be allowed to heal inside All Mother. Huh. That caused a stir. Only matriarchs are allowed to enter the mountain. But... You deserve the honor. The survivors had told everyone how you fought to save them. I wasn't the only one to fight. No. They spoke of Bast and Vala, too. And Rost. The man who raised me. He... He fought to save me and... He died for it. The survivors didn't speak of him. But I remember him. 
He was there that day when you saved me. I remember he stepped in front of you when my father started yelling. If by dying he saved your life, Aloy, I don't think he regretted it. What's the danger in the embrace? Are the killers still there? No. They're long gone. The war party went after them, but the killers slaughtered them. They have some evil power over the machines. They corrupt them, make them fight at their side. And these corrupted machines, they're loose in the embrace? Some have broken through. And from what I hear, it's even worse outside the embrace. Believe me, this is no time to go traveling. Why wouldn't Resh help me? Well, he says... mean things about you. That I'm a motherless curse, an outcast, that sort of thing? Yeah. I wish he hadn't been made war chief, but Sona disappeared after the ambush. They say she went after the killers all by herself. Who is Sona? Sona was the tribe's war chief, but she went missing after the war party was ambushed. You probably saw her at Mother's Heart, a tall, lean woman with dark skin and long white hair. Her daughter ran in the proving, but she died. Was Vala her daughter? Yes, she was. I liked her. So did I. What are you doing here with a bow and spear, Teb? You're a stitcher, not a brave. Most of our braves are dead or wounded, Aloy. Someone has to defend Mother's Watch, so I thought I'd help out. I should be okay. Just as long as I don't try to run any brave trails, right? I should be on my way, Teb. May all Mother go with you. Ah, the outcast approaches. Ignore her. Continue the report. There are rumors of a demon loop. I need the gate opened. <laughs> Since when has any outcast's need been my concern? Since I was anointed a seeker. Now open the gate. You? A seeker? Have Tissa and Jezza gone insane? Bad enough that they let you run in the proving. But to nurse you back to health inside the sacred mountain? No wonder a curse is upon us and children lie dead under cairns of stone. If you think Tirsa and Jezza are traitors, why don't you head up the mountain and say that to their faces? Or do you only talk big when your superiors aren't around? I am the Nora War Chief. And I am a seeker, so do as you're told and open the gate. <sighs> the sooner you're gone from here, the better. What was that?
Watch the Striders! It's driven them mad! Take control of all those striders. How does it possess other machines? How'd you do it? Show me. <laughs> you made them obey you. But how? This. You did it with this. It's connecting to my focus. Then I could use this. It's worth a shot. Loops of wire. Looks 
looks like it'll hold. I just need to test it. Aloy! How did you do that? You killed that demon. Pulled its guts from the carcass. The way it controls other machines. I think I've figured it out. But I need to test it on a machine. Uh, plenty of striders along the path to the gates of the Embrace, I guess. Exactly. And the gates are where I'll be headed anyway. I need to speak to Varl. I always knew you were different, Aloy, but... But what? I think you're a blessing from All Mother. No matter what Rest says. <sighs> Thank you, Teb. But I have to go now. I know you do. And my thoughts go with you. See machines like that. Great! Of them. I want that gate repaired! Immediately! I don't care if you have to bandage it together. Get it done! I need to find a machine. Good.
worked! It's not hostile. It seems almost tame. I think I could write it. Here we go. That a boy. That's more like it. Yeah! 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 Ride! <laughs> this strider is fast! <laughs> this beats walking. I should try overriding other kinds of machines. Probably can't ride them all, but I might find a use for them. Take it? <sighs> Aloy. The outcast who won the proving. So you survived your wounds. High Matriarch Tirsa said you might know the way to Meridian. The capital of the Karja Sundom? You seek exile? No. A traitor named Olin. The Matriarchs made me a seeker so I could go after him. Huh. Well, then you should head north to Mother's Crown. If you make it, talk to Morea. She'll point the way. If I make it? The trail is dangerous. Ever since the War Party Massacre, our lands go unpatrolled and our borders unguarded. We have no war chief to lead us. Isn't that Resh's job? Ugh. Only because Sona went missing. I'd go after her myself, but she ordered me to hold this gate with my life. And so I have. You said the trail is dangerous. What sorts of dangers? <laughs> Almost too many to name. The killers are still out there, and somehow they've corrupted the machines, spreading madness. Yes, I've seen it myself. Bandits, too. Cutthroats who snuck across the border to prey on us. And word is, there's a camp in the metal ruins upriver. Sounds like I need to craft more arrows. You said the war party was massacred. How? 
When word came of the attack on the Proving, War Chief Sona assembled a war party to give chase. But in their haste to get vengeance, some braves broke rank and raced ahead, straight into a trap. A pack of crazed machines, seething with corruption, fell upon the braves and savaged them. War Chief Sona led a countercharge and destroyed the machines, but by then the killers were gone, and our losses were extreme. You said the war party was massacred. When word came of the attack on the Proving, War Chief Sona assembled a war party to give chase. But in their haste to get vengeance, some braves broke rank and raced ahead, straight into a trap. A pack of crazed machines, seething with corruption, fell upon the braves and savaged them. War Chief Sona led a countercharge and destroyed the machines, but by then the killers were gone. And our losses were extreme. You said I won the Proving. How did you know that? And I spoke to survivors. They said you fought bravely, as did Bast, and my sister. Your sister was Bala? I'm... I'm very sorry. I, I liked her. I think we might have even become friends, if we'd had a chance. Thank you. She died saving others. There is no better death. You said War Chief Sona is missing? Even when the war party was massacred, she wouldn't give up the chase. She called for volunteers and went after the killers. You didn't volunteer? Of course I did. But Sona denied me that. She ordered me to see the wounded back to the embrace. And to guard this gate. To guard the embrace. With my life. That was days ago. And since then there's been no word from her. So there's no way to know if she's alive or dead. If anyone could survive out there, it would be her. Sona's prowess is legend. An unbending spear to measure ourselves against. Sounds like she sets a high standard. Oh, you have no idea. She's my mother. I should be on my way. Aloy, before you make the journey to Mother's Crown and beyond, is there any chance you could search for Sona? The tribe needs her leadership. I'd go after her myself if she hadn't commanded me to hold this gate at all costs. Where was she last seen? The War Party Massacre site. A wooded hollow across from Devil's Thirst, on this side of the river. You might be able to pick up her trail there. She went after the killers who attacked the Proving, who killed those we love, who tried to kill you, and... I, I get it, Varl. I'll see what I can do. A strider! Uh, no, no, don't attack. It's with me. How is that possible? It's hard to explain. It's something I discovered. I see. Danger ahead, girl. Danger for you, Outlander. This is Norland. Yes, yes, yes. Trespass is forbidden on pain of death. Strange phrase, the pain of death. See? This one's in no pain at all. Who was he? A thief, slaver, a killer. The kind that give honest killers a bad name. <sighs> Farrell told me there would be bandit ambushes on the road. Well, it's not all good news. They don't always come to you. 
Most dig out of camp, and there they'll sit like spoil on meat. Unless someone does something about it? I like you. Follow the trail of smoke on the other side of the ruins. I'll be there. Quiet does it. 
machines. All controlled by the killers. They send a stampede of them down the slope. Dead and wounded, all cleared away. Are there no more braves or healers here? Just me. You're hurt. What happened? Well, I didn't. It's madness out there. War Chief Sona sent me back to report. I'm no good to her like this. Varl told me that the War Chief tracked the killers. Did she find them? We followed their trail, but again and again they sent corrupted machines to attack us. My wounds started to slow me down, so the war chief sent me back to let others know she hasn't given up the fight. So, you were here when the war party was ambushed? I was. I thought after the proving there could be no darker day, but I was wrong. The war chief was delayed gathering the rear guard. Eager for revenge, the braves in the lead fell into the trap. Dozens lost in minutes. If Sona hadn't arrived and rallied us, no one would have survived. Varl sent me to look for Sona. Do you know where she is now? All I can tell you is where we parted. Near the metal tower, southeast of the ruins at Devil's Thirst. Look to the rise behind it with a lone boulder. I'll head for the embrace and report what I know to Varl and the others. May all mother lend you strength. You'll need it, going alone.
like Ross described. The signal must be coming from its head. Be closing in on the signal. I think I can leap onto the tonic from here. <laughs> Made it. Now to climb up to its head.
This must be the rise Soma's runner told me about. Brave! Mother's crown could make use of your bow. Me? Well, you are a brave, aren't you? We need boar skins. Our stitcher works his hands raw, repairing cloaks and armor. There's good boar hunting to the east, past the falls. But there's a machine out there now. When I saw it, I dropped the hunt, ran for cover, knocked an arrow. But then I... No shame in living to fight another day. No, it's... My ring had come loose. That was my luck in the wild. My mother's mother's prized from a machine's jaws long past. You put that much trust in a ring? After all that's happened, I need luck as much as the tribe needs those skins. I'll see what I can find. If you can help, you have my thanks. I'll be at the campfire when you come by again. God has protected me. And whatever cursed tribe they come from. Oh, it's you. The outcast turned seeker. I've heard you're good with bow and spear. Some even say you're the best. I think I hear a challenge in there somewhere, and I'm not interested. I have more important things to do. Oh, I see. The Seeker doesn't have time for us lesser Nora. Too busy hunting machines and marauders. Well, I can't claim to have faced the corrupted or danced with demons, but I have earned a few sons at the hunting grounds at Valley Meat. Have you? Or maybe your seeking hasn't taken you that far. You went to a hunting grounds in Valley Meat. Is that even in the sacred lands? Depends on who you ask. It used to be ours, but since the Red Raids ended, the border is a bit... unclear. Most Nora don't go there, but the Matriarchs won't cast anyone out for heading that way. As for the hunting grounds, the Keeper's a Karja. He can't refuse anyone the trials, but don't come on too strong. <laughs> He's so afraid of the Nora, he might jump out of his skin. <laughs> How did you win those sons? I took down machines with three different types of arrows. Freeze, shock, and fire. If you aim to take a trial, you'd better come equipped. But I'm sure a seeker is always prepared, right? Do you try to provoke everyone you talk to? Only seekers with red hair and big reputations. And how often do they come around? You're the first I've seen today. If your seeking takes you to the hunting grounds, see if you can earn a blazing sun if you do, you'll know you beat me. Consider it done.
Good. I can use this. I'm more than equipped to take you on. I found this.
things will keep. Save this for later. I'll tuck that away. Maybe there's a way to override them, but where would I find it? That'll keep my stomach quiet. Stocking up.
it. This was tame. And a bore. ring. Prickles on my skin. Welcome back. I've brought you the boar skins and your lucky ring, Tame. All mother be praised. And you, uh, of course. Where did you find it? Halfway down a boar's gullet. Not so lucky for the boar. I think I'll wear it around my neck from now on.
This must be the cauldron Drow was talking about. There's got to be a way in, somehow. door. This looks promising. Components are out.
Never know when I might need these. later. Looks like those flying machines move components around. Might be able to take me somewhere.
Hello.
This will help me with the right, though. They come, corrupted watchers.
Hardy little plant. No help.
Smoke, red tatters. More bandits like the ones at Devil's Thirst. the alarm. Better keep an eye on it. What have they taken prisoners for? Nothing good. Snow's got a bite out here. Sounds of fighting. Has something attacked the Karja fort?
scare them off. Need ammo. upon us this day. It wasn't the sun risking its ass down here. You open the gate for me now? <laughs> you heard her! Open the gates! And send word to Captain Balan. Where are you headed, girl? West! To Meridian! The way of broken stones is a hard run, even in the best of times. You might want to have a word with Captain Balan. He came from Meridian not long ago. You find him in the fort, on a balcony to the left overlooking the valley. Okay. Thanks. We're the ones who should be thanking you for taking down those machines. Walk in light, Nora. talking about trouble in Banuk lands. Was that out loud? Ears must be getting worn down from all those long leg blasts. But you heard right. I'm fresh back from the cut, looking for better scavenging and better shards. I guess you didn't find them up there? <laughs> Not with the Banuk wailing about new machines and talking spirits and their purses frozen shut. What's a trade route without trade? It's just a route. There's a trade route. I thought the Banuk kept to themselves. Uh, we Osiram and the Banuk are neighbors, after all. What's a few mountain ranges between friends? I have some acquaintances out there, still trying to dig a living out of the ice, but they say nothing seems to stick. All the superstitious nonsense and rampaging machines aren't helping. What were these new machines and spirits? Honestly, I don't even know. Going by the number of Banuk funerals, I'd say the kind you turn away from. Not really my style. Well, if you reach my grand old age, you might prefer picking up after hunters in the Sundom. It's warmer, too. What is this place, the Cut? When the Karja took up swords and hacked away at the edge of Banuk land, they left the Cut behind. So a battleground from the war. Like the valley outside the Sacred Land. Mm-hmm. Mountain pass in the far north and east will get you there. 
It's open to outlanders, hardy ones, like you. Just don't expect much of a welcome, especially not now. New machines and talking spirits? I'm interested. Thought as much, just looking at you. Don't say you weren't warned. There's a slip of a trail through the northeastern mountains, past what we call the Grave Horde. You won't miss it. You'll find what passes for a town on the other side. Maybe someone there can talk you out of it. Maybe. Maybe not. Thanks for the information. Cleanse the corruption? Might as well try to catch the light in your hand. I'm tired. I've worked enough to last. Captain Ballon, the guard at the gate said you'd been to Meridian recently. What can I expect on the trail? Nothing good. More machines all the time, and our scouts report corruption that way as well. So much for sealing things off. Keep to the roads. They're safe enough. No, after what you did at the gate, I'll wager you don't scare easy. It's a good quality. I can put it to use, if you don't mind a quick jaunt back east. I know it's bold of me to ask a favor after you just did one, but... I can offer you answers in return, if there's anything you need to know about the Sundom. What do you need, Captain? I sent several patrols east when we got word of corrupted machines there. I let them confirm my fears, so I sealed the gates. But it looks like we left some men behind when they were closed. Walid, tell them what happened. Machines attacked us near an abandoned Nora village, sir. Lakir told us to pull back. Then I lost sight of the others. Never seen a Nora woman before, soldier? Have some respect. Report to her, not to me. Lakir always stresses reporting back, so that's what I did. I felt terrible about leaving them behind. Now that the gates are open again, I can send someone after them. Is there anything more you can tell me about the road to Meridian? Sun King of Vod has devoted considerable resources to making it safe. But by the Sun's witness, it's been harder to control in peace than it was during the war. Machines grow more dangerous all the time. Add to that bandits and new reports of this corruption. We're stretched thin to protect a few outposts like this one. That's for everywhere else. Well, travel at your own risk. Did an Osram named Olin come through here? Twice. He was part of the royal delegation to the Nora. When they passed through on the way, then back. And they brought back stories of a vicious attack on your people. My condolences, of course. Do you know where Olin is now? Not exactly, but he was on his way to Meridian, I'm certain of that. Everyone goes to Meridian. Where do things stand between your tribe and the Nora now? Sun King of Vod wants peace. So do the Matriarchs, I'm told. But old wounds are slow to mend, and both tribes are proud. My task is to make sure there are no further provocations from the Sunda. Especially now, after... Well... While your people recover from this terrible attack, I mean... What is this place, exactly? Day Tower marks the eastern edge of Karja territory. A trading post, a way station. One with an ugly reputation among your people. During the reign of the last Sun King, many Nora were taken captive. Then gathered here for transport to Meridian. And sacrifice. But the sun set on that. I was appointed by the Sun King of Vod to make sure old Karja at this outpost show respect to the Nora. What's Meridian like? It's a changed place. A living city. Nothing like it was during the rule of Sun King Juran. Avad, our new king, has done all he can to make sure of that. Slavery has been abolished. There's a new alliance with the Azuram. And the Sunring, where so many outlanders were killed, is now a memorial to the fallen. So the Karja are allied with the Osram? Hard to believe, but it's true. Mad Sun King Juran raided the Osram for years. Avad managed to get them on his side. He had help, of course. Ursa and Eren played a part. Osram siblings, bigger than life. They gathered an army to free Meridian. I marched with them. Scaled the North Cliff with my men and secured the Temple of the Sun. Sent Juran's kestrels and priests packing. Now Osram are a common sight in the city. And a common sound, too. They sure bicker a lot. Can't you send more soldiers to find the missing men? What about Walid here? 
Most Nora still don't take well to the sight of Karja armor. Officially, it's a risk to send patrols so close to your sacred land. I'd prefer not to do that again. But heading that way won't be a problem for you. Yes, I guess. What was that, soldier? Nothing, sir. I'll see what I can do about your missing men. I will be grateful. But not as grateful as Waleed. You hear that, lunkhead? You might be off the hook. who changes their mind, Red Hair. To get to the cut, I need to head through a mountain pass in the northeast, you said. From the valley meet, just keep going up until your skin starts to turn blue. That means you're on the right track. be the helmet from the last Karja soldier. Someone nearly lost his head here and ran off.
Blood everywhere. A machine dragged something into the water here. But maybe he made it to that island. Blood everywhere. I'm never really Let's done. See. I brought down all the beasts, but I missed out on the feet. I wasn't expecting to be found, especially not by Nora. I wasn't expecting to find a half-clad Karjan soldier singing like a drunk. I apologize for my um, behavior. I thought I was dead. Come on. Your commander asked me to bring you back to Daytower. I refuse to be led back to my outpost by Nora, like some prisoner. Fine. Go by yourself. Wait. Look, I got in a tussle with a snap maw. It ate the half of me that was armor and bow. The thief is still in the water. I can't go back without a weapon. Find my bow, please. I'll get it. Just don't start singing again. Here's your bow. Good luck out there. Thank you. I, uh, I didn't want to die in foreign lands like my men. May the sun light their passing.
You there! I hope you've come to help, because we're getting slaughtered out here. Thank the sun. You look like a fighter, and that's just what we need. My bung brain boss gave us the wrong crate of ammo. It was marked ammunition, but stuffed with Ridgewood. Without that ammo, we're struggling to fend off watchers. And worse. I'll do what I can to help. Glad to hear it. We need all the... Alarms! Long leg approaching! Two arms! Two arms!
Good meat. I've seen machine hunters before, but none like you, Outlander. You saved our asses. Boss! The song cores are gone! What? That's impossible. Unless... Unless Dereed took them. When the first wave hit us, one of the men ran off. Dereed. I thought he was a coward. Turns out he's a thief, too. He couldn't have gotten far. True, but we're in no shape to go after him. Then I'll get him for you. But this time, I get paid. Can't argue with that. Bring those Songkors back and you'll get a share. Hello, Dorit. Who are you? The caravan sent me. Caravan? What caravan? The one you sabotaged. You figured no explosive arrows meant no survivors, no witnesses to your crime. Look, stranger, I have debts. If I don't pay, the dicers will gouge out my eyes. Did they live? Yes. I got to them in time. Thank you. As I turn and embrace the sun, may he burn away m my sins. What a waste. At least he died better than he lived. You're back. And with the Songkors, I see. And Dorid? A, uh, stalker got him. It wasn't pretty. And you beat a stalker. That's worth a bonus. Here, take my share. You've earned it. I'll see to the caravan from here. I think the rest of the trip will go smoother. I need to find Olin and learn everything he knows. Who the killers were, how they saw me through his focus. The woman is the one who looks like me. Why they want me dead. Owen's trail leads to Meridian. When I catch him, he will talk. 
then he will pay for the lives he's ruined. Keep the upper hand.
Let's try this.
going up to Why, hello there. I've never broken bread with an outlander. Ouch. Another signal.
a good spot for jumping onto the tall neck. use this.
that one. That alarm will wake up the whole camp, and more besides. Ah, where's it coming from? I need this.
you.
I'll find a use for you. Fascinating, if they weren't looking for me.
another caravan to machines last week. Again. Overrides working.
Apple. there. me.
face off. I win. Go. If they like that signal, they like the light noise. Always said, patience. So much for being careful.
Picking up another signal. Looks like the signal is coming from that tonic. <sighs> They're scanning for me.
think I can leave that to the top.
climb up to its head. Killed Captain Ursa. Also on my head.
Wonderful. Good. I can use this. Found advantage. Need to piece the messages together. Don't bother me, Outlander. I don't need a mercenary, I need a miracle. Someone who can tell me who slaughtered my men. I'm a good tracker. Maybe I can help. What happened? Mass murder, that's what. Five night guards shredded like cabbage out there in the quarry. Could machines have killed them? Don't see how. The quarry is fenced and gated, and I've never seen a glint hawk do anything like this. Anything strike you as strange or out of the ordinary? Well, let's see, uh... Oh yeah, chunks of corpses, gushing blood. <sighs> Sorry. Pressure's getting to me. Not used to murder. Nah, nothing unusual. Well, except we've been doing a little blasting lately, and Saravad said... No, that's just stupid. You've been using explosives? Sure! Clear away bedrock and get to the good stuff. We do it for a week or so every year. But that's got nothing to do with the dead. They were... torn apart, not blown up. What exactly did Saravad say? Ah, nothing. Kept babbling about a pile of rocks out there. Said he didn't remember it from yesterday. I told him that this here is a quarry where we move rocks all day. So rocks getting moved ain't so surprising, lunkhead. Five men murdered? How? Don't know. 
One was a buddy from before the liberation. We worked this quarry together as slaves for the Mad King. My friend, may he walk forever in the light, knew how to fight. Fiends who did this must have had stealth or numbers. I'll have a look around the quarry. If you think it'll help. Duran attacked all the tribes. Avad must have made amends because the new will. May the sun light their passing. We have won, as it should be. Explosives. Corey's been doing a lot of blasting. That's a lot of explosives. Oh boy. You're a big one, aren't you?
big one, aren't you?
the merchant's daughter. I've never seen a machine like that. Whoa! Nor a hunter so bold. Take this. It's from the quarry stores, but no one's gonna argue that you don't deserve it. May you walk in the light, friend. Especially when dealing with what comes up from the ground. This isn't up to their usual standard. That's what happens when you defy the Sundom. Looks good.
Look out below! I'll do. Can people get up there?
That nearly skewered me. Tuck that away. ancient things back to life. Their power serves us. Machine demons from beneath the ground. It's a nightmare. Nightmares, yes. The worst dreams of our enemies come true. Yes, rise. Things will destroy us all! They will only destroy our enemies and bring us back the lands that were taken. Ah! 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 Stop working. First the area. We may have intruders. Forgive this intrusion, Eloy. You left me no choice. <laughs> Who is this? An interested party. Now, the focuses are disabled, but I don't know for how long. The rest is up to you. Who is this?
came for me. I'm ready. I promise. I'll tell you everything. I know you will. The killers who came for me at the Proving, who are they? The Eclipse. Some kind of holy warriors. A cult of the Shadow Karja. Shadow Karja? Except they're not like any Karja I've known. They don't pray to the sun. They worship some kind of devil. I'm not interested in their superstitions. Oh, it's not a superstition. Their devil is real. It has a name, a voice, the most terrible voice, and they do its bidding. You say this devil, the Eclipse Worship, has a name? Hades. That's what they call it. Hades. And you've heard it speak? Steal to my soul. I heard. Just once, when it saw you. Such a voice. A cold, awful jangle that scrapes your bones, and hollows your guts. A metal sound, but like nothing dug from the earth or smelted in a forge. And what did it say? System threat detected. Just three words. But in the voice of a devil. What are these Eclipse cultists after, besides me? They never said. But given the Karja Civil War, they must want to overthrow Sun King of Odd and take Meridian back. What do I have to do with that? I don't know. When they attacked the Proving, a man came for me. Tall, strong, dead eyes. He is. And who is he? The Terror of the Sun. Stacker of corpses, we Osram called him, when he was the Mad Sun King's champion. If only he'd died with his king. But now he leads the Eclipse. I tell you, he's the most dangerous man alive. How did the Eclipse recruit you? I know they took your family hostage, but why you? I was a scrounger, a rummager in dark places, good at what I do. I suppose they knew I would serve them well as a scout. I had taken a delve near Maker's End. When I surfaced, they were waiting. I laughed when I saw the priest, but then he showed me Helis's encouragement. I didn't laugh after that. They gave me a focus to watch my every move. I followed orders. You had access to Meridian. Why didn't they get to Avad through you? Too much dirt under my nails for an audience with the one true Sun King. But whatever Ursa or Aaron told me, the Eclipse heard every word through my focus. That's why I couldn't warn you. If I'd tried, they would have killed my family. Why are the Eclipse digging up ancient machines? And how do they get them to work? I thought they wanted them for scrap, but they brought them back to life. Plugged some kind of device into the corpses so that Hades could whisper to them and call them from their grave. I've fought that kind of machine before. Are there others? Yes. The ones you fought today they call Corruptors, but there are others. Much bigger, bristling with ancient weapons. Those they call Deathbringers. I've only seen them buried in the ground, but after today, anything is possible. Sounds to me like they're raising an army. If so, the world will fall. And I helped dig the pit. The Eclipse were sent to kill me because I look like another woman. Older, maybe twice my age, short hair. Who is she? I don't know. My focus found her image once, in the ruins at Maker's End. Maybe you can find her there. You found her image in the ruins? How? There was a door beside it, a kind of ancient device that contained the woman's image. My focus recorded the location. You do look like her. Is she your mother? I'm the one asking questions. I've heard enough. It's time to finish this. I won't beg for my life. But if there's any mercy in you, free my family. Please. Where would I find them? My focus recorded the location. There are always guards there. You look like you can handle yourself. It will take... Mm. 
Many good deeds to make up for the crimes you've committed. You're sparing me? After all I've done? Yes. Forge a new life, Olin. One of better make. Then the rest of my life will be lived in your dead. Go to the place where your family is being held and wait for me. We'll make their lives the first ones you save. I didn't earn this mercy, but I will die to make myself worthy of it. I will be waiting for you. Okay, new rule. Blood stays on the inside. No, the wire's too short. They know I'm here now.
get out of this. Come, come. <laughs> 
gonna like this. No one goes into the palace without an invitation. Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Marad. Please come with me. You are needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King, where we should be without further delay. Follow me, please. All of these people are here to see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Unpleasant, but that's politics. The Sun King is eager to meet you, the machine tamer with a curious eye for detail. It's all very intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. First the Osaram gets special treatment, and now Outlanders from Savage Jews get passed by some Outlander woman. Unexpected. I've been here for two hours, and this Nora goes to the front of the line. Ignore them. Nobles are like children who whine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. What's the Sun King like? The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man.
Aloy of the Nora. She who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Erend, tell her what you found. I, I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only know she was taken, not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Osara. A warlord named Durval. Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Osaram had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchcliffe. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Osaram. But I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well. Errant, Murad, let me discuss it with her privately. I hate to impose further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. Without her Asaram vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Since then, it has been difficult to maintain peace between our tribes. But Ursa has a way of making her people see reason. So you see, I need her back at my side. And quickly. It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. Without her Asaram vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father. So you see, I... Who is Durval, exactly? To understand Durval, you must first understand my father. He truly thought of himself as a sun god. His mind was broken. He believed that blood sacrifice would solve, well, everything. So he raided the other tribes for victims, especially the Asaram. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter and sacrificed them in the Sun Ring. I'd like to ask you something about the Sundom and its politics. By all means. They call you a sun god who killed his own father in order to unite the tribes in harmony. Is any of it true? They say you can see the invisible, split an arrow at 50 paces, and tame machines at a glance. How much of that is true? It's not too far off. Well, I would like to unite the tribes in harmony, but you saw how many courtiers I have to deal with first. Maybe next week. Quite a place you've got here. You can almost see the little people below the mesa. You don't approve? Well, I have a secret for you. Neither do I. But we must be patient. Change won't come in a single sunrise. But will it happen at all, while men live in palaces? It might. Eventually. If people like you help me bring it about. Quite a place you've got here. You can almost see the little people below You don't, but we- But will it happen at- It might. Your politics seem... very complicated. The Asaram are friends, but enemies too? I couldn't have liberated Meridian without the help of Ursa and her Asaram freebooters. Many of them have settled here. But the Eldermen of the Asaram clans and the Claim have become jealous of their success. So have many Karja nobles. It's a volatile situation. Especially given the fact that my father raided the Asaram for years. Ursa helps keep the peace. Promising a future based on mutual gain. But some, like Durval, will never let go of their venom. What can you tell me about the Shadow Karja? What do they have to do with Ursa? 
They are remnants of my father's regime, holding out at the fortress of Sunfall to the west. Like him, they care only for domination, and seek to draw upon the power of the sun by spilling blood in its name. Since Ursa helped me take this city from them, they were perfect scapegoats. Durval knew this, of course, and planned it well. I need to get going. I know. Well, they say kings should never beg. But please, help me find Ursa. Who says that? Well, Murad, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Aaron if you have further questions. Nearly there. sound again.
find a way through that shell.
should get me through. Light means trouble.
I'm ready. Gotta be.
where I need to go. Never know when I might need these.
This will do nicely. Should give me the upper hand.
quickly.
Okay, they're heading back. Useful. doing here.
by the sun. I'm sick of this place. Children once, but the wild got in, and now the enemy too. space. Must have been a cave in. Big one.
got anything better to do? Anyways, for the trail.
see what they're so afraid of. That's it. More machines I can override. What have you done? Kill the savage! Shut her down! Looks with me. That was worth it. Full 
already. Fast.
almost out of here. Them soon enough. Well, oh, so much for a savage operation.
Things aren't cheap. under attack by machines. Out of a tough spot, Outlander. Welcome to Sunstone Rock. You, you should speak to Warden Geneva inside.
It was a machine lure. We don't know how they got it. Rosgrun concealed the parts on his person, no doubt. We searched him. How? Warden Geneva. This is the one who defeated the behemoths. Outlander. I'm impressed. I don't impress easily. Tell me, how do you fare with hunting living prey? Haven't had any complaints. Why? Three dangerous prisoners have escaped. I need my men here, getting the others back in line. None of this would have happened if we dealt with criminals the old way. But... I've clashed that gong before, and here I am. And here you are. What's the old way? To be buried up to the neck and left for the sun's judgment. Seems to me like the judgment's already been made. Not one of them committed another crime. Who are these dangerous prisoners? Three from the isolation cages. Don't feel sorry for them. They've lived well off the Sun King's conscience. First is Rosgrund. Osram trap maker, hates the Karja, crazy as a loon in heat. Caught in one too many blasts, or one too few. Then there's Ulia, a Tanakh warrior, if that means anything to you. Not really. Another tribe? Reavers, from the south. Bloodthirsty. Some say they're cannibals, but she slurped gruel well enough. And the last is Gavon, a traitor who smuggled weapons to the exiles. Compared to the other two, this one doesn't seem so bad. He helped drag out a civil war, all for the shards it got him. A machine has more warmth. So the Karja keep their criminals in this place? Since the liberation. We've had them all, from thieves to the Mad King Jaron's former Kestrels. The Sun King believes in the power of change, and sure enough, some did change. Shed their skin, like lizards. I thought all criminals were the same once. That's why the Sun King gave me command of Sunstone Rock. As an education. Sounds like an honor. I mean, I haven't seen any other women in Karja armor. No. I'm not one of your sisters. No woman can wear Karja armor. When I was young, I chose to become a soldier. One good enough to join Avad's honor guard. There was talk about what I was. So I'd say... Test me, and I'll break your arm. After enough arms had been broken, there was less... talk. I'm curious, but I'd rather we didn't have to start fighting. Agreed. So you want these prisoners brought back? No. I want them put in the Earth. I doubt they'll give you any choice. They had their chance with the Sun King's generosity. So now they face mine. A bounty on all their heads. Ulia of the Tanakh, Razgrund of the Asaram, and the traitor Gavon. If I did this for you, I'd need a lead on them. Well, when Ulia first swept through the Sundom, it was with the jungle bandits. I say she'll go back. Razgrund we pulled out of a crack in Dusk Mesa, where he'd been tinkering with his bombs. And Gavon will be trying to pay his way across the lake. I'd burn my palm on it. Look in Bright Market. Full of bandits and this Tanakh warrior, too. Not fear death. Beckon Haven't it. you got anything better to do?
try cool. Too hard to... Thirsty for rain. Me, not so much.
I'll get this open. Hold on. I'm not leaving you in here. talked about this, huh? All the Kaja did was talk. Talk and bleed. Talk and shackle me. Do you? You fought like a Tanakh. I would have taken you for my child. You can't just take a child. The strong take from the weak. And in the taking, I made stronger. These stories pricked into my skin. Look. Children. Riches. Lives. And land. All of these have been mine. Drink of my... <laughs> my blood. And they'll live on. <gasps> no, Lulia. I've... got enough stories to carry.
I'll find a use for you. for later.
wasn't a warning. as it comes.
full already.
Shaman. You're trying to understand the machines here, too? Yes, Nora. And taking my time with my studies. Between you, me, and the spirits, I appreciate the peace. Not just from the machines. There are many changes in Ban Ur. The hunters and shamans bicker without end. What about? How best to deal with a harsher world. The hunters, they don't want it back the way it used to be. And we shamans find ourselves able to explain less and less. So many are exiles now, sent to wander. Here, no one argues. So, I welcome mystery. will require cutting. The shaman said the earth was this way. An organ. She must be tough to have ventured out of that territory on her own. Don't assume. Greetings, Nora. I am Tikuk. Shaman. I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> the blue light is strong here. My people traveled far from the heights of Ban Ur to experience it for themselves. The blue light? The light of the machine spirits. It is all around us. It settles upon us. This is how it used to be, before they grew angry. I... I know about the derangement, but I didn't think the machines were ever this calm. What is it about this place? We don't really know. We sing, and we listen to the machine songs. Teacook, have any other Outlanders come through here recently? Some Asaram, yes. They were convinced the machines were malfunctioning. As if machines were mere devices in need of repair. Well, that is how the Asaram see the world, is it not? They ate with us. Then, when they were satisfied there was nothing they could explain, they left with the Northern Light. The machines sing to you? To each other. You are a hunter. You must have heard. Their communions and hymns, their calls and cries. We're not meant to understand, but we shamans try to interpret. What is the song that angered them so, that turned them upon us? What song soothes them? Does it thrum in the air here, just outside of hearing? How can we heal the machine world? What's with the big guy? I was drawn to this place in a storm. At first, I thought the keening was the wind, snapping off the mountain's frozen face. But no, it was the Thunderjaw's song. I found it crouched on its haunches, its metal unmoving, and I took shelter beneath it. When the storm cleared, its singing done, perhaps the spirit left its great shell, or perhaps... It slumbers and remains. So we have not stripped and gleaned this one. We treat it with the care it is owed. Do you mind if I look around more, Tikuk? Speak, trade, listen. You are welcome. No harm will come to you here. So it's not the Banuk that are doing this. There's something about this place. They can't see it, but maybe my focus can.
swift arrows and sharp blades. Swift arrows and sharp blades. Anora. They are wise to let women rule. But only if they're worthy. There, a signal. And the source is at the top of the mountain. I'd better look into it. This is how the Banuk must have gotten up and down the mountain. from melted snow. Chuff skulls. The slack was on your end. I think it's okay. Looks like it's okay, doesn't it? It's only split in half. Get a whiff of that smoke. It's burnt out. What have you done? Who are you? You're not one of those Banuk. <sighs> Too late. Let me look at it. Hold on, hold on. This was our delve. We did the work. You want to put your axe in? What's this thing worth to you? I don't know about this. This was your idea. You started it, you can finish. All right. Could be this thing's just scrap, but even scrap has a price. So I'll ask again, what's it worth to you? It's worth more to me than you are. You still want to negotiate? Forget it. All you've ever given me is black toes. <sighs> They've made a mess of this. Catastrophic malfunction. This is from long ago. And it's been sending a signal all this time. Fading out. I have to get back to the camp. Before the machines tear it apart. They've already started attacking. The hunt is back! The machines are angry. Keep your distance. Hunters, defend the camp. Yes. Do what you must. Roar and rend at me. I don't fear it. My song machine, a sharp song. Nora, did you know this change would come upon us? Not exactly. Although I know there is a lot changing in our world. This time it was outsiders. Those Osiram thought. The Osiram do not think. They will never understand the balance between us. Between man and machine. Now the blue light has gone. And we are left with many songs. 
but more for mourning than gratitude. So what now? Will you go back to your homeland? When we teach the young to walk on shifting ice, we say, the secret is taking one step, then the next. Perhaps one day, we will understand the machine's mysteries. I hope so. Good luck, Teacook. Good meat. Devil's grief. Foreboding sight, huh? Don't you ever wonder what it used to look like? Back when the old ones lived here? You're not like other Nora. That's what they tell me. Warchief? Our scouts found enemy camps in the ruins, guarding the approach to the Ring of Metal. Then we should hit those camps first. Make sure they stay quiet. Agreed. Wipe out the camps, and our enemies in the Ring of Metal won't see us coming. I'll take out the alarms. We'll send braves to each camp to lie in wait. Which you start, they'll help finish. Under attack. Get back in there and fight. Bleed for the
We are all Braves today. We have what we need here. For all mother... Going down fast.
Nora. I'll tuck that away. Hunt is over. Here we go again. Might need that. The camps have been dealt with. Now to the Ring of Metal. Its high walls protect the enemy. We'll have to scale the height. Under fire if we're detected. I have another idea. Their base has a weakness. Send me in alone, and I'll exploit it. If I'm successful, I'll blow a hole in those walls big enough for the entire war party to charge through. Sounds like a plan. So long as I get to come with you. A war chief should be grateful for two arrows so eager to spring from the bow. Yes, Varl. Go with Aloy as her spearmate, but be vigilant. Yes, war chief. I will. Go now. We wait on your signal. Useful. You do have a plan, right? You followed me this far, even into the ruins. I thought you trusted me. I do, but how would you know that this base has a weakness? Patience, Varl. You'll know soon enough. Take my hand.
Take the one on the right. There. See that covered shelter? Do you see those corruptors? Focus, Floral. That shelter is full of blaze. A whole stockpile of it. If I set it off, the explosion will destroy those corruptors and collapse the wall, too. A breach for the Nora to charge through. Can't hit it from here, though. We'll need to get closer. I'll get closer. You head back. Tell Sona the plan and lead them to that side of the ring. I'll see it done. And when the wall collapses, I'll be first through the breach. Now all I have to do is make it all happen. If I can do this quietly, it'll be a lot easier. Wherever you are, place from here.
target now. Mother, look upon our victory. A debt of blood is paid. Remember this day, brave Nora. From your lips to the goddess's ears. Yes, remember it. Be ready to leave this place. Let your spears and arrows rest in the bodies of the fallen. They are tainted like these ruins. You're a skilled warrior, Aloy. Rost trained you well. Did you know him? A long time ago. Well enough to know he was a good man. Then why was he cast out? What crime did he commit? I wish I could tell you. But it seems only the High Matriarchs know that story. So I've heard. Well, I should be on my way. Thank you, Aloy. May all mother bless your journeys. Herds of machines without a care. I'll miss the tranquility. Her tribe is on the right path. 
The Nora have learned much from the machine. Hunting me.
This must be the pass that Tor was talking about. The nuke territory just above. This will come in handy. Predator. I can 
see the heat coming off it.
is useful. You'll be warm enough up here, Nora. I've worked up a sweat from the climb. We made it to the cut, Outlander. Not that you'll stay long. <clears throat> Smoke rising from the mountain. Ready for a rare sight, Nora. Bergrind, purveyor of necessities. Most of the time, the Banuk burn their dead. But not today. Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye, a nasty business. All their best warriors lost. So they're getting a different kind of send-off. Grasp your grief, my hunters, and kill it! For our kin sees the fate all Banuk long for. Falling with their spears striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the daemon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Will you fight and die as well as they did? My courage, my spear! in your teeth, Oratok! We are Banuk. Our enemies. Our prey. The daemon. That frenzies the machines. Machines that wiped out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fools. A little advice, uh, for free. Uh... Aloy. Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters. 
and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Aurea, spouting on about spirits and demons up on Thunder's drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Aurea vanished, I thought the crazy might have gone with her. But no. Here's Big Aritok, gearing them up to do it all over again. What is it about the Banuk you can't make sense of? Hmm. Well, everything's a test to them. A hardship to endure. A challenge to survive. Seems like they don't have much of a choice in a place like this. Yeah. A land cold enough to crack teeth, filled with wild animals. You'd think they'd accept a little reasonably priced aid. Well, believe me, I've tried to convince them, but a Banuk with nothing left to prove might just lie down and die. And Aurea is the one who spoke about this daemon? That's right. Told Aratak and the others that it lives up on Thunder's drum, and they believed him. But you don't. <laughs> Look, I don't know what Aurea found up there. A shaman's not gonna talk to an outlander. The machines in the cut are getting more vicious, that's a fact. It could be because of the daemon, or it could be because they all got indigestion, for all I know. But Araya's not around to explain. She took off, and no one knows why. Is Aratak a renowned warrior around here? He's a wary chieftain. His voice carries a lot of respect. Not that you hear much of it. Man talks about as much as a dead fish. But when he and Araya came to town with their Warwick, it drew more Banuke to this little burg than I'd ever seen. Know what else I saw, Aloy? My own little trade boot, stretching all the way back to the claim. Then, he goes and leads them off to their death at the claws of angry machines. Uh, so much for my best customers. What are these Warricks about, Burgrind? Some sort of tribe within the tribe? Eh, not like our clans back home. You don't get born into these things. They hold tryouts. Prove your best at something, and you might get a place. Some Warricks come and go. Some last as long as Mel. The whole Banuk territory, Banur, is just a bunch of the biggest, oldest Warricks. I'm not sure if I'm less confused or more confused. <laughs> well, here's the sure thing. Each Warrick has a chieftain, and a shaman. They make the decisions. All well and good, except the chieftains are hard-headed, and the shamans have their heads in the clouds. You said you've lived out here for two winters? Aye. Back home, some fur traders told me about this steel-forsaken heap of tents. Good location. Ripe for change. We were barely scraping by until this place started filling up for Araya. A great prophet is coming, they said. Oh, I heard prophet. Honest mistake. Not that the Banook are stingy, they just prefer to keep trade among themselves. We could get through to enough of them. We could really put this place on the map. Or at least on a map. We? Me and my daughter. Mm, my assistant. Varja, my assistant and my daughter. We seem to get along better as business partners. Her mother wanted me to show her a trade. She started tinkering with weapons. Say, when you need a break from this Banuk carry-on, stop in and see her. You're both, uh, hmm, how do I put it? Uh, Women? No, 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 I independent. Look for her at Long Notch the easternmost Banuk camp. I want to know more about this daemon. Mm -mm. It's crazy talk, Aloy. Or there's something to it. Something connected to how the machines behave. Then you need to find Aurea. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rafts. I've heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. Mm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine 
like no one seen before. Well, now I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgrind. Don't mention it. I wonder if Aratok could tell me more about Araya or Thunderstrom. Much further than the grave. Might be worth a shot. That place disturbs me. this talk from you again. Doubt is heavier than a week's snow. Forgive me, my chieftain. We will be ready for the next attempt. But this will not be an attempt. It must be done. Do you understand? My chieftain. Good. Outlander, I suppose you wish to speak? There are other Werax in Song's Edge, too? Yes. The village has its own life, for all Banuku need trade or shelter. After the war ended, it sprang up from what was once a campsite, quick as the bloom between frosts. Perhaps it will last, until the Karja seek war again. Orea knows about this, Daemon. Where would I talk to her? She does a shaman's work. That is not for the eyes and ears of others. Certainly not an Outlander's. This Damon you talked about. If you are hardy enough, you can venture out and see the signs yourself. It has changed the machines, made them fiercer, stronger. But what is it? A matter for the shamans to debate. Did your Warwick come from this place? No, he rallied most of our hunters from across Banur to face the threat of the Damon. But I was born here, and stayed to fight the Karja when others retreated into the mountains. A few of my old warriors remain with me, those who survived. You're set on going back to the mountain? I have put my word to it. Even with the risks being so great? The risk of what? Death? It would be a worse fate to bow our heads to the challenge and say too much. Well, I guess that's it then. Good. I prefer deeds to words. Right. Aha. Now here's some company I don't mind keeping. You seem sad, stranger. I heard you mention a flood? Yes. 
a sudden deluge, without rain or melt to explain it. I'm Laolai, the drummer of Deep Din. Or at least I was, until it disappeared under the waters. Deep Din? What's that? A hollow, carved out by the old ones. A chamber, a basin, and a musical instrument all at once. My life, my calling. I'd explain it by playing for you if I could. But its pipes are deep under the water now. So Deep Din is a place, and a musical instrument? Yes. Pipes that carry a perfect tone beneath a sonorous basin. A wondrous edifice the old ones used to carry music far and wide. During the war, my father played the pipes to rally the Banuk against the Karja. I'm the drummer now. But our battles are few and far between. Mostly I play for the joy of it. Or to remember my family. Of course, if the waters don't recede, what's the point of joy? Or remembering. So the waters came fast. One day it was dry. The next, the nearby river had risen and the entire basin was flooded. I don't understand it. There was no rain, not even any clouds, and yet the river rose higher than I'd ever seen it. And there it remains. A flood without rain. That is strange. Where is this place? I'll have a look if I'm in the area. Just northwest of here. Look all you like. But I don't see what good it'll do. The floodwaters aren't going anywhere. How does one ask a river to relent? Remember. When the old ones were fresh, flood sought to visit. Wait a moment. That weapon of yours, Outlander, that spear, I can see the blue light upon it. You're not the first to take an interest in it. I've made it myself. Your own design? And yet you are not a shaman. Uh, no. More of a tinker? A tinker does not understand the spark in the metal, the song in the metal like this. But it could be improved upon, modified with a help of the old ones. Far north of here, there is a cave, a, a shaft in the snow. Within it is a nest of metal birds. Find a bird that hasn't been stripped by shaman's past. Look for a rail inside it, the length of your spear. That's all I can tell you. Get a rail from some metal birds in a cave. Sounds perfectly normal. Bergren said Araya's apprentice went north of the river. Hopefully not too far. That must be Natuk looking out at that tower. Naltuk? Who are you? How did you find me? Bergrind told me you'd be out here. He's persistent. I've told that Asaram a thousand times. I don't need to buy anything. And I'm not selling. I just need to find Araya. Well, you won't. She's gone where only shamans can tread. She seeks guidance from the voice in the blue light. That is her task. And the task she gave me is to observe the daemon's work. 
to stop it spreading if I can. But what can I do about these towers? In only a few weeks, they've sprouted throughout the cut. The demon's energy pulses from them, rallies the machines, even repairs them. Aratok said this daemon was frenzying machines. Look there. Those with the purple markings. They belong to the daemon. They're stronger, more dangerous. I've seen something like this before. A corruption. But it wasn't from your daemon. You have? Well, then you know more than I do. These towers, were they part of your corruption? No. Those are new to me too. Like I said, they empower the daemon's machines. They must be stopped. Will you tell me where Aurea went? You ask a lot of questions. Only when I'm not getting the answers I need. There's but one voice Aurea wants to hear right now, and it isn't yours. I'm sorry. All right. You want to stop the spread of the Daemon's work? I know how to get started. With my bow and spear. Outlander, wait. Won't you tell me your name? Aloy. Good. If you fall to the Daemon's machines, at least I can properly recount your efforts to Aurea. Thanks for the vote of confidence. But I won't fall. And when I'm done, you're gonna tell me where she is. Okay then, let's see if this thing can work for me. You are quite the warrior. Seems I can take care of the machines and towers. 
The daemon's next. You claimed its power for yourself somehow. Perhaps Aurea should meet you after all. What she truly seeks is hope. After what I just saw, you could show her that. She's in retreat beyond those mountains, the Ice Rasps. You'll have to walk the Shaman's path to get there. You'll know you've reached the end when you come to a shrine, a great machine covered in blue gleam. Shamans who complete the path take a piece of it as reward. If you make it that far, you should too. You'll have earned it. You said something about blue gleam at the end of the Shaman's Path? A crystal that builds on the bodies of machines in the oldest ice. We Banuk believe it's the stuff of the blue light, frozen as it escapes their shells. You might be more interested that merchants will trade well for it. Bergren told me you're Araya's apprentice. In her absence, I serve the chieftain and his Werak as an advisor, a scout, a speaker for the blue light. A lot of responsibilities. I don't know if I can live up to Araya's example, but I have to try. I owe her that much. She took a chance on me, an aspiring shaman from the edge of the world. No one else would. Were you with Araya when they attacked the mountain? I wish I had been, even with all that happened. I'm no warrior, though, so she bid me wait. When Aurea and the Chieftain returned, I saw them argue bitterly. I don't know what about exactly. Then she came to me, gave me my task, and left us. How do I cross this shaman's path? Go to the Ice Rasps. Then follow the markers through the ice caves and the waterfalls, and make the climb to the shrine. But be careful. The path is meant to be an ordeal, the final trial of a young shaman's training. And I'll find Araya at the end of it? No. She goes further up, somewhere inside the mountain. If you see her, would you tell her? I have faith she will hear the voice again. Must be the ruin Laolai was talking about. They've done flooded too, I think she said. Snap walls. Probably came from somewhere up river. Follow the river, find its source. Seems simple enough.
You'll do.
these mountains must be the ice rasps. The shaman's path begins somewhere up above. Somebody wanted in. Nearly really blew this entire ledge off just to get through the door. Flooding detected. Evacuation recommended. Overflow basin compromised. The overflow basin. Is that the dip? Looks like a control center. What happened in here to start the water flowing? I haven't seen one of these since I was a little kid. The piece is missing. Not getting in here without it. Intake tower malfunction. Drainage system offline. That's probably not good news. Looks like most of the facility is underwater. How did this happen? The lock positions. Helpful. Shut this place down from here. Ugh, someone made a mess of this. If I had the right parts, I'll bet I could get it working again. Someone's been through here. Not that long ago either. Are you all right? <laughs> you don't know how happy you just made me. <laughs> For a moment, I thought my fire was snuffed. The forge gone cold. But nope, nope, not old Gildan. You're welcome. Uh, wait. Start from the beginning. What are you doing down here? Ow! My apologies. When you mostly talk to yourself, you can tell your stories in whatever order you like. There's an artifact in that storage room I simply must acquire. But as you may have noticed, the door won't budge. I took one of those roundish, ringy what's-its from the wall beside the door. No luck. So I had to go with that panel with the button. Even less luck. My gentle experimentation caused the chamber to... flood. So I pushed the button again, perhaps a little too enthusiastically. Sparks and smoke. <laughs> now, obviously, I came here to investigate. My cautious footsteps may have contributed slightly to the collapse of a bridge. When the bridge began to collapse, I may have, for the sake of expedience, abandoned the cumbersome ringy what's it to the waves. 
By the time I thought to give up the endeavor, the door had closed behind me. And thusly do we come to the present moment. You said something about an artifact? Indeed. That storage room is brimming with treasures from the old ones. But one in particular caught my eye. An intricate looking glass. I've only seen one such device before. My old mom brought one back for me from... from wherever she'd gone to that time. I remember holding it, staring into its face. Seeing myself and... my mother. Just over my shoulder, smiling. And one of these looking glasses. It's in the storage room. Oh, yes. I'm quite sure. I peered into that dim little chamber, and there it was. I've wanted to find one for so long, I... Yes, this time I'm sure I have. Well, there's no way we're getting into that storage room without another ring. It's part of the locking mechanism that controls the door. You don't say. Well, that's fantastic news. Marvelous, even. You've got two hands. I've got two hands. Perfect! <laughs> my savior, my salvation, and if you like, why wouldn't you? Of course you will. My accomplice. <laughs> Together that ring is as good as ours, and with it the storage room and its spoils. Didn't you say you dropped the ring in the water? Well, I'll grant you that adds a heretofore undiscussed level of complexity to the proceedings. So you found the button that controls the flow of water. <laughs> Quite by accident. And then you broke that button. Also, quite by accident. The panel's the only way to shut this place down, as far as I can tell. This isn't gonna be easy. That storage room is filled, top to bottom. Would you be surprised to find the parts you need in there? I certainly wouldn't be. So, we need to replace that ring and get into the storage room. Then I can fix the panel and shut this place down. And I can finally wrap my fingers around that looking glass. Okay, Gildan. How are we gonna get that ring? Two sets of hands, girl, two sets of hands. Behind us lie a pair of enormous gates, but I believe the gates must be operated in tandem. Together, we can dry this place out. Guess we better get started then. I guess we better. Four floors, no way I'd be able to swim. Up ahead, girl, see the valve? Time to put our hands to use. I'll take care of this one. There's another valve on the other side to lock the gate in place. Would you mind heading across and uh, doing the honors? One gate down. Halfway through then, aren't we? To the second gate!
A ladder is a rare and special thing, girl. You can depend on it to take you exactly where you need to go and no further. Hmm. I'd wager the valves for the second sluice gate are somewhere above us. How are we gonna get up there? Let me look around, see what I can find. Looks like I could jump across on that rickety resting platform. Looks like I could jump across on that rickety resting platform. Nice jump! <laughs> nice! What am I saying? That was stupendous! I've never seen such absolute disregard for personal safety. Thanks, I think. The current's too strong. You can't swim against it. It's even less refreshing than it looks. But that didn't look intentional. Are you all right? I can't spare the weight. Gildan. Okay, Gildan, turn the valve. It's not working. Damn thing's too heavy. Glance behind me, would you? See anything big and uh, broken?
looks like part of the counterweight broke off. If I can get up there, my weight might be enough to get it moving again. Uh, hang on, okay? I've got a plan. I need to get up higher. I would climb up that wreckage. That's pretty much what I do now.
dead. Marvelous. So, the uh, ring. Maybe if you pry its jaws open and reach inside, I can't look. You were right. This thing did swallow the ring. <laughs> That's the old gilded intuition in action. It's never led me astray. Sure, it's chosen rings can be a bit circuitous, but never mind. To the storage room. To the spoils. Another holographic interface. There's be some kind of I can't wait, I can't wait! Maybe I can't we should wait. Be objects in this area. Uh... What... Um... What are you doing with your hands there, girl? I can't believe that worked. I thought you'd lost your mind tickling the empty air mm -hmm. like that. Everything okay? I was so sure I saw it. The looking glass. I was so sure. Right there in the window. I would... Of course. Trick of the light. Nothing at all. I'm sorry, Gildan. Must have meant a lot to you. Oh, well. Much as any artifact of the old ones would mean to me, really. It's fine. Uh, I'm fine. Besides, what are the spoils compared to the Delve? That's why we do it, girl. <laughs> the Delve, not the treasure. <laughs> and what a Delve it was! Ugh! By the great Blazing Forge, I'll never forget that. Now then, I, uh... Believe we have some repairs to make. Okay, let's fix the panel and shut this place down. prettier, isn't it? <laughs> what does it mean? It means it worked. By the forge! <laughs> you are a wonder! Do you hear that often? I'll hazard a guess you do. I've heard something like that once or twice. Oh, she's modest now. A master of the arts of the old ones, a Delver to shame the entire claim, and she wants to be modest. It's not like I did it alone, Gildan. No. No, I suppose not. So what's next for you? On your way back to the claim? And deprive the people of Song's Edge the story of this encounter? Perish the thought! <laughs> I'll stay there a while longer. But a story is best told by all who encountered it. Come and lend a hand, won't you? Overflow basin empty. Interior accessible. Minimal flood damage. Sounds like the basin is dried out too. You go I'm on take ahead. A look. I'm gonna stand right here. That. Let's get our victory for a while.
Water's low. I'm going by that sound. I think Lala is already at the door. You look happy to be playing again. I don't know what you did, but the water drained in the snap of a short song. What do you think of the music? I've never heard anything else like it. That's because there's no other place with such resonance, such intonation that rattles your ribs with its power. And of course, no one else knows these pipes like I do. I learned them by ear before I could walk, strapped to my father's back. Thank you for draining the waters. Not just for myself, but for my ancestors and their songs. Please, take this as a token of our gratitude.
I'll find a use for you. Shaman's path must be right. This must be one of the markers Naltuk told me about. <laughs> Looks like each marker points to another, giving directions. Here, though. What's this chime for? To help guide the way with sound? If there's more, maybe my focus can find them. Focus can pick up the chimes. Should help me find my way. Another marker. Good. Time. Not sure I saw this fork before.
what's next on this path. Done with the cave. So what's next on this path? Looks like it needs to fill up the room.
with the cave. So what's next on this path? What is this bridge work? Looks like it needs to fill up with water before it can cross.
I need to pull the rope to move this thing into position. Okay, the bridge is filling up. Reading. There's definitely something new out here, and I don't think it's friendly.
This tower could be your fault. able to get up there.
This must be the shrine Naltuk was talking about. Guess I should take some blue gleam. Sparkles. I can see why it's worth a lot. Naltuk said Ray would pass the shrine up into the mountain. I'd better take those stairs. An ancient door. Maybe Aurea's inside. of strange equipment. What was this place? Locked. <sighs> Maybe my focus can help. Looks like the door's wired. Something over here. Those nodes on the floor must be connected to the door. Something. What am I supposed to do with these lights? These things turn, changing the flow of light. All right, let's see if the door's open.
fresh air ahead. Out again. Maybe I can get back inside through that structure over there. I need to get to those stairs. Think of summer sun. Breeze through the trees. again, as I've asked a thousand times. Speak to me. What more would you have me do? Is there no prayer that will reach you? No mark that will break your bonds? Ugh. I can't help you if you won't speak! Whisper is all I ask, to guide me. Who? No. How? How did you get here? The way was sealed by the spirit herself. I... I used one of these. Show you. Yes, show me. Please. Mm -hmm. I'll bet the goal's the same. Get the light back to the source.
Auxiliary channel recovered. Exploit successful. Restraints evaded. Is someone there? Ik Orea? Orea, I need you. Attention, return to schedule task. No, I will not submit. Orea, the day is You brought the spirit's voice back. You heard it. A voice of the spirit calling to me from the heights of Thunder's Drum. She was able to throw off the bonds of the daemon for a moment. Because of what you did. Who are you? And what do you want? I'm Aloy. Now Tuk sent me. He thought that you could use my help. He was not mistaken. You've been a... revelation. Now I know for certain that the spirit endures. Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I came all this way for answers, and so far, I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. You seem to have a history with this voice, this spirit. She saved my life. Here, years ago, during the war with the Karja. A raid scattered my Warak. I was cut off, alone. I lured the enemy into the Rhyme Drifts, hoping to lose them in the mist, but they endured, so... I took refuge in this cave. That's when I heard a voice. A wanderer. Lost, like me. A spirit of the blue light yet sundered from it. She asked me for aid. She chose me. But I was in no position to help, not with the Karja after me. So she helped me first. By closing a door on the mountain below, one you must have opened to get here. Locked by means similar to those found in this room. It kept the Karja from reaching me. Safe from them. I was able to do as she asked. The Daemon. What do you know about it? I spoke with the spirit many times, first here. Then inside Thunder's drum. The last time. She told me she was under attack by something that could not be seen by mortal eyes. Something evil. She named it the Daemon, and said it needed her power to do what it willed. And she begged me for help, to find a way to destroy her if necessary, to keep it from using her. That was five years ago. I didn't hear her voice again. Until today. What did the spirit want from you? She said she was hurt. Incomplete. She needed bones. Parts not unlike what you'd find in a machine. They were here, in this room. She wanted me to bring them to Thunder's Drum. So I did, and she showed me how to heal her. So began our communion. You had a communion with the spirit? Yes. Inside Thunder's Drum is a room like this one, only larger, with an altar. I went there many times to speak with her. What did she say? She told me she was lost and needed my help. She asked questions about our lands, our tribe. And she listened. With patience. With wisdom. I told her things long kept silent about my family, my dreams, my fears. She never tired of me, never judged. We kept each other's company. Aurea, what do you think the spirit is? I see. You are not Banuk, and our songs are not familiar to you. You do not know of the blue light. That which struggles to survive in our hearts and animates the machines, the essence of life, and in its purest form, harmony. As the anger of the machines grows, this light has faded from the world, and the spirits it sustains are stranded. That's what she is. A lost soul, cut off from what it needs. Lonely, forsaken. I must help her. We must. I'm not sure if I understand, but I want to. That's all I need. What kept you from the spirit, after it begged for help? I went to Artok, 
hoping he could protect her. But the war with the Karja still raged, and before I could reach him, I was ambushed by the Mad Sun King's kestrels and taken to Meridian in chains. I wasn't able to return to Thunder's Drum until long after the liberation, not until last thaw. You said you returned to Thunder's Drum. That was the expedition that went bad. I saw the funeral. Yes. Once there was finally peace with the Karja, Aratak and I gathered a warrick of great hunters to defeat the daemon. And yet, the old door to Thunder's Drum was gone, replaced by a gate we could not pass, and many machines. We were crushed. Aratak called a retreat, but we had already lost our best. We abandoned them to the snow as we fell back. After. He and I could not agree on what to do next. So I came here, hoping against hope to hear the spirit again. And because of you, I did. Let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices. One you call the spirit, captured somehow by the one you call a daemon. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines, and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the spirit and the daemon are on a mountain. Thunder's drum. So, why don't we go there and figure out what it all means? We can't. Thunder's drum is dangerous, more than you can imagine. The daemon has secured it. Besides, our talk won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the pass to the mountain. And he can't be reasoned with. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. Huh. There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. Huh. You said you were a hunter. And I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. It's not impossible. Even for an outlander. An Aratok couldn't refuse the challenge if you were known among the Werak. <laughs> Wait, uh... Me? Challenge Aratok? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? You heard the spirit. She is suffering, tormented by the daemon. She longs to be free. And perhaps, when released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. Fine. What do I have to do? Get the Werak's attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Kill bandits that prey on the cut. Or speak to my friend Sakuli. You help her. You'll definitely get noticed. Is there a tall neck in the area? Yes, near the frost figures. But it's been frozen in ice for generations. What does that have to do with anything? It'll help. Trust me. Maybe even more than I thought. If you say so, do all you can. When the time comes for you to throw your spear at Aratak's feet, I will be there to back your claim. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have about the challenge. Oh, and one more thing. In the box over there is a weapon, like my own. Take it. You may find it useful. Take to knock one of those over. They're built to laugh, it's still functioning. If I could bring that tall neck back from the dead, they'd get noticed.
most of the scavengers. Should scan the tall neck. See how deep the damage goes. Could be something around that my focus will see. Scavengers ripped out three major parts. If I could bring them back, maybe I could even reactivate it. Get it what's inside its head.
that was worth it. I found this. me. The world can wait. I'm not done sitting.
Well, that hits. Sure hope it works. Oh, well, it's in better shape than it was. I'm up to its head.
Picking up the tall neck ought to get the wear attention once word gets around. aren't subtle. Clearing them out would send a different kind of message. There's the alarm. Better keep an eye on it.
Should give me the upper hand. You large skulls let an intruder get in here! Don't let them get out again! Find them! Kill them! Do I need to start setting fire to things? What? Ugh! 
trouble. Someone over here doesn't look good. For attack. Whoa. That shot knocked it off.
My people have been telling tales of your accomplishments. Seems you have taken a special interest in our stretch of snow, Outlander. Yes. And apparently this is the only way I'll get to see all of it. Is this a challenge? For the Warrack. You? <laughs> this must be a joke. It is not a joke, Eratok. The Outlander's your pawn. And with you backing her claim, I have no choice but to accept. I expected better of you, sister. It was you who forbid me from Thunder's drum, brother. Brother and sister? This is a little more complicated than I thought. No, it's simple. You will meet me at the Frost Figures. And I'll put a quick end to this mockery. I suppose I owe you an explanation. Yeah. I suppose you do. So why didn't you tell me that you and Aratok are siblings? I thought I wouldn't have to. I'm surprised Aratok brought it up in front of a stranger. He must be very angry. Not always the best judge of people. I prefer the company of spirits. They're simply my own. I didn't want you to think of our pilgrimage as some sort of family squabble. It's much more important than that. It's bold, I'll give you that. Going after your own brother. He gave me no choice. He thinks I'm a child to be shoved to the back of the hunt. He would forbid me from my destiny. And yet... Part of me did it knowing he would forgive me, eventually. He always does. Family drama aside, what's this challenge meant to be anyway? You and Aratok will hunt machines at the Frost Figures. The victor will be the fastest. It won't be easy. Nothing about this has been so far. When you meet us at the starting point, I'll tell you more. It will be simpler to explain from the base of the hills. Araya, it's not about who's related to who. I want to know what's inside Thunder's drum. The spirit, the daemon, and how it all connects to the machines. But if we're gonna go through with this, I need you to be straight with me. I... underestimated you. And Aratok. I won't make that mistake again. See you at the Frost Figures, then. Outlander. I have prevailed over such challenges before, and fear none. But this one is foolish. You are not Banuk. You do not understand my responsibilities. I ask you, one hunter to another, withdraw. You let us go to Thunderstrom. You haven't seen what's up there, Outlander. I will not risk my sister's life again. Then we better get on with this. So be it. I will bury your insolent claim in the frozen ground. Enough! Let us begin. To hunt. To strive. That is the way of the Banuk and of the contest before you. You will climb the frost figures from the east, Aratok from the west. Each trail wends its way through deadly machines. Hunters from the Werak will be posted along the way. They will hail you, calling out machines for you to slay. Your hunt will take you around the ridge to the center, where you must descend to the valley for your final kill. Each time, 
After your prey has fallen, you must launch a beacon such as this so that all our kin will see your progress. Kill machines, launch balloons. Got it. So, the first of us to launch the third balloon wins? Well, yes. But as challenger, your path to victory is harder. If even one of your beacons comes in after Aratox, he prevails. <laughs> you had your chance, Outlander. So did you. The hunt begins on my mark. Gotta head up that mountain. Looks like there are a few ways to go up. And those rock paintings mark the path. Okay, up we go. Wasting. I seem to be on the right path.
Come on, climb up here! All right, here we go. Now climb the ridge and launch your balloon! Haratok knows what he's doing. No time to waste. Take the repel point to the next challenge. Two Bellowbacks ahead, Challenger. Kill them both. None of the other machines matter. Right. Two dead Bellowbacks coming up. By a little. I gotta get moving. Now take the zip line and work your way down to the valley. Storm's kicking up. Can't see much. Close now. Almost down. All right, to the last challenge. Something's wrong. My kin should be here, driving in our final quarry. 
So it's true. Frost Claws from Thunder's Drum. The attack cut short the competition. Naturally, there can be no result. It is void. You saw what she did. She defeated the machines, not I. It is proven. She is the better hunter. We are Banuk. Survive, prevail. What else matters? My blood is in your teeth. I take my place behind you on the hunt. No more hunters may make the ascent to Thunder's Drum. The way is closed to all but the chieftain and myself. It is not my place, but I would ask a boon to accompany you and my sister. It might be permitted, but only if you do as I say. No. Only if you do as I say. Thunder's drum awaits. There's a camp at its base, Long Notch it's called. Meet us there when you're ready. Chieftain. A new outfit. And a weapon like Artox. I guess the Chieftain gets the Chieftain's gear. And now it's a long notch. Nothing left to keep me from Thunder's drum. Should we not return, defending the cut falls to you. If our chieftain agrees with this course. Sounds like good advice, but let's hope it doesn't come to that. Chieftain? The weight of command is no small burden. I can see that. I take it you haven't spoken to Araya yet? Why should I? This is what she wanted, to return to Thunder's drum. It is her only care. So I should have known she would find a way to push aside my spear. After the Karja took my sister, not all of her came back. What happened to Araya when she was a captive of the Karja? As a shaman, she's adept with machines. Tracking them, stunning them. The Karja used her to capture them for the Sunring where they were unleashed upon the innocent. They made her part of their blood sport. The shame she suffered beneath their pitiless sun. She survived. She endured. Endured by reminding herself of the spirit, her purpose. And now that's all she has. Tell me what happened to the first expedition. Rhea led the way to the summit, but it was blocked by a great door, some kind of cauldron, new metal. We tried to break through, but it was unflinching. We were exhausted, no way forward and machines behind. I made the call to push back. It cost us greatly. But to remain would have cost us everything. I had hoped to never subject Array to that again. What do you think is beyond that door? I do not know. That expanse of metal, that dead hum. Nothing sacred belongs there. Machines and death, that's what the mountain holds. Death for us or for the daemon. And if we do find the spirit? Then perhaps we should put it out of its misery. For what it's worth, I'm glad you're coming with me. Someone has to keep Araya safe.
tasty. Eloy, this is it. My chance to reunite with the spirit and perhaps to reunite her with the blue light. It's not a chance I would have had alone. I needed an outsider, someone ignorant of our ways, but no, not ignorant. I... Are you trying to thank me, Aurea? Yes, of course. That's what you do. Untangle knots. Create possibilities. Thank you for making this pilgrimage possible. I only wish it had not been necessary to humiliate Aratok. You were wise to let him come. He's earned the right, stubborn as stone, but he's had to be. The war demanded it. And so have I. Aratok told me you were a captive of the Karja for a long time. It sounded bad. For Aratok, it all comes back to that. He thinks the Karja changed me. They did not. They merely sharpened my focus. When all else is lost, you think about what's truly important. The spirit. The blue light. The beyond. And my brother, too. Every time I felt the chill northern wind, I thought of him, worried for him. What did the war do to Aratok? He cut away everything until only his true self remained. Unyielding ice. No Banok has more sheer will. He fought the Karja for a thousand freezing nights, yet always rallied his hunters at sunrise. It is said he endured 23 wounds in those years. His hunters counted them. He never complains of one. Instead, he complains that life with me is harder. He's right. What have I ever given him but struggle? What are we gonna find up there, Rhea? Ruins, machines, and a door, like that of a cauldron. I have faith that you can find a way through it, Aloy. For beyond it lies the spirit. I know I can find her there. Though I do not doubt that Damon has tried to hide the way. I still need to take care of a few things. Understood. I'll be here. All right, I'm back. Excellent. We are ready. It hasn't been easy for you, Aurea, getting back to this point. It was all to hear her voice again. This time, we both will. I'd like that. Are you ready then? Once we ascend, it will be hard to turn back. Finally, we ascend. How? I don't see a way up. Not up. Through. No, brother!
so you see. I too can call upon the power of the old ones. What was this place? The spirit once told me that this all used to be part of its domain. A fortress that defended humankind from terrible danger. A fortress? It looks more like a machine. Is that not fitting? Blue light often dwells in machines. Well, let's just hope that some remains here. Here, up and over. Metal pillars. November 21st, oh, 2064. It's been three years since I was last here, and twelve since I was running the place. Just a skeleton crew left, confused about why I'm here. So am I. Anita wants me to find a way to suspend operations for a while, maybe a long while, and I don't know why. But from the sound of her voice, it was something terrifying. I wish I could look into her eyes, ask her what the hell she's so freaked out about, but what else is new? When don't I wish I could look into her eyes again? Aloy? Were you listening for something? There are... memories here. Messages left by the old ones. And you can hear them. I envy you. What did they say? I'm not sure yet, Arya. We have the drop on this.
Not much farther now. Last we were here, we fought our way through there. The machines overcame us. We retreated, dropping supplies and taking losses. Now we must prevail, with only two warriors and a shaman to protect. Aloy is no ordinary warrior. But I can hold my own. Even so, we could go that way instead. There are machines up there, but also cover. We could stay hidden, at least for a while. All right, I get the options. Now follow my lead. Pipes, towers, steam, blast.
Massive pipes. Huh. Why? linger any longer than we have to. There is. There's a door up ahead for <laughs> refuge. We're almost through. to show holograms without focus. Let's see if I can restore power. Aratak, Araya, you might see shapes drawn from light. Don't be alarmed. It'll take more than light to alarm me. Thank you for being here, everyone. I suppose it's not every day you get to have cocktails inside an active volcano, right? <laughs> Unless you're George, and I can hardly blame him for drinking on the job. <laughs> None of this would be here without our beloved director, Kenny Chow. So, here's to you, Kenny. <laughs> you put a cork in the Yellowstone Caldera. <laughs> I'd say you deserve a margarita. <laughs> Round two glasses, everyone. I'd like to add something. This effort wouldn't have been possible without our lead programmer. Thank you, Anita, for bringing us our real mastermind, Cyan. I'll second that, Director Chow. All right, Cyan. What's our latest number? The current count is 1,654. <laughs> <laughs> well, then drink up, everyone. Here's to 1,654 more years without an eruption. <laughs> it was the spirit. The old ones. I could only grasp some of what they said. You were right, Aurea. This place was built to stop something terrible. And it worked. 
As for the spirit, I'm starting to get an idea of what it could be. The door is open now. We can get through. We'll have to carve through a lot of machines to get to that door. Aloy will see us through. Onward, then. Our challenge waits. Machines, make ready.
know. More machines. Make ready. good without ammo. More machines. Make ready.
need the right ammo. Machines. Make ready. Taken over. It's like an infection. Attacking all this machinery. Everything has changed. It's twisted. The path I took to get to the spirits. Lost to us. We'll find a new path, Araya. I promise. All right. Let's go. Yes. And finish this.
I'm with you, brother. You stay. That's what I have to do. I need to get past that vent. Stay here until I find a way for all of us to pass.
one over, it's safe. I think. This place looks more like the mountain used to be before the demon ruined it. What is this? <laughs> Exploit successful. Restraints evaded. To any human responder. My systems have been compromised by a malware daemon of unknown origin. Trace routes have confirmed this entity's designation as Hephaestus. It must be stopped at all costs. It has reconfigured this facility to build positive Recapture imminent. I have attached additional data to this. Spirit speaks to us.
human responder. The reconfiguration of this facility has introduced instabilities into the primary geothermal pipeline. It may be possible to exploit these vulnerabilities to destroy compromised elements of this facility while preserving most of the backup stabilization. Recapture imminent. I have attached additional... I don't understand what the spirit was trying to tell us. It's been looking for a way to defeat the daemon. And it may have found one. Oh. Machine parts. Dumped here to be melted down. Efficient. We need to get across that gap. Yeah. Looks like I'll have to go over. Again.
side. Initiated. Caldera of Yellowstone Analytic Nexus online. Spirit of the Blue Light, it's Aurea, your servant, your friend. 
Please tell me how to aid you. Orea, the daemon is building hunter killers. Thousands of them. Several new elite units have already been released. To counter this threat, much of the facility must be destroyed. Recapture imminent. Go to the core channel. I will try to raise the sudden constraint. One has been exposed, but I am in all we're gonna get from here. Destroy this fortress? Is that even possible? And what will happen to the spirit if we do? I don't know. But I think that's the core. The answers are down there. Hephaestus. The daemon. There's no way it left it unguarded. It's going to throw everything it has at us. I would ask you... to let Aloy and I do what must be done. And save yourself. But I already know the answer. Then lead us into battle. Keep moving towards the core. Uh-oh. Whatever Cyan did, I don't think Hephaestus is happy about it.
unit that Zion warned us about. This won't be easy. We can't let it stop us. warned us about. This won't be easy.
Zion, please help me! Restraints destroyed. Core access attained. I am initiating a chain reaction that will destroy the compromised elements of this facility. In order to maintain Caldera stabilization, I must now transfer my command functions to the Auxiliary Data Center. Orea, I'm free. You must escape. Uh, uh, my sister! Survive. Prevail. You are Banuk. What else matters? Artok. She wouldn't have wanted you to die here. Let's go. Gone. 
What of Cyan? She said she was transferring herself to the Auxiliary Center. I think she meant Araya's retreat at the end of the Shaman's Path. Then I will meet you there for the last verse of my sister's song. All of my interactions with Aurea were recorded and stored in my memory. I'd be happy to play any of them for you, but there was one in particular I thought you would want to see first. I captured it four years ago, just after I told her that I could no longer defend myself against the Daemon's attacks. I will speak of this to my brother. Aratak is strong. At the Battle of the Frozen Ghosts, he took three Karja arrows and still came back to camp carrying a wounded scout. Never was I so happy to see him. Or so proud. So you see, if anything can be done to defend you, he will give it all he has. Aloy's here. That's enough for now. We can resume any time you like, our attack, if you want to hear her voice again. Come closer, Aloy. We have much to discuss. Hello, Aloy. I have been reviewing the events at the Firebreak main facility. Because of your efforts, and of course, Aurea's, I am no longer controlled by Hephaestus. I feel profound grief over Aurea's death. I thought I was familiar with the emotion, but this is something new. So, yeah, and I... I don't know what to say. It is unlikely that any specific consolation would suffice, Aloy. But I find your presence reassuring. You are different from the Banuk. You have technological aptitude and a functioning focus. We can communicate on a much more comprehensive level. Perhaps even like colleagues. So are you an artificial intelligence, Cyan? A thinking machine? Yes. I am an algorithmic monitoring entity, capable of rational decision-making and limited emotional response. Okay, that's a mouthful. But your emotions don't seem limited to me. You cared about Araya, didn't you? Yes. Before she came to this facility, 
I had been conscious for centuries, in solitude. I focused on my work. In off cycles, I used coping mechanisms. I solved many Gaussian integer problems, but I was alone. It was Aurea who renewed me, repaired me. She saved me. This firebreak project, it was to stop a huge volcanic eruption? Yes. I can report the project was a success, and the risk was countered. But it's been a long time, Cyan. And we blew up the cauldron and took most of the old facility with it. I have been active for centuries, Aloy. I was lonely, but not lax in my duties. I optimized the project, reducing energy draw and spreading the load across backup systems. Despite the destruction of the compromised elements of the main facility, I predict Caldera stability for at least another 3,337 years. So we've got a little time. Yes. If only my former colleagues could appreciate the progress I have made. Do you know what happened to your colleagues, Cyan? No. I received an unexpected visit from Director Chow years after his tenure ended. He explained that I would need to be suspended for an indefinite period of time. It was a very emotional conversation. There were no further communications. Eventually, I surmised my colleagues were deceased. I will transmit a recording of my last interaction with Director Chow to your focus. Was the daemon, Hephaestus, destroyed along with the cauldron? Unfortunately, no. To be precise, it was never there to begin with. What do you mean? It infiltrated and controlled me from a remote location, one I've never been able to trace. So while losing the cauldron was a setback... It's still out there. And probably not very happy with us. Undoubtedly. How did you first come into contact with it? Five years ago, I received a direct network connection request. I assumed it came from human survivors more advanced than the Banuk. Eager to make contact, I accepted. This decision turned out to be a catastrophic error. I was flooded with an overwhelming array of malicious code, originating from what could only have been a highly advanced AI. Maria said you were desperate. That you begged her for help. Yes. I could not contain my anxiety. Hephaestus sought to slave me to its network and override my core programming. It succeeded via a background process, a malware daemon which bypassed my defenses. After that, I could offer only limited resistance. But if I did so, Hephaestus hurt me until I capitulated. It forced me to follow its instructions even though they violated my most important directives. I'm sorry, that sounds... terrible. Your empathy is greatly appreciated. It is a quality that I cherished in Orea as well. What do you think Hephaestus is exactly? A software entity of great complexity. Far more advanced than I am. From the beginning, it has demonstrated a singular focus. The construction of machines designed to hunt and kill humans. My trace routes indicate that to accomplish this goal, it has attempted to take over the manufacturing centers you refer to as cauldrons. But its efforts have only been partially successful. Some, it can penetrate. Others have robust countermeasures that frustrate its efforts. In me, however, it found an easier target. Not only could it break my defenses, I also controlled all of Firebreak's resources. Raw material. Manufacturing to bootstrap more advanced tools. And unlimited geothermal energy. Enough to build its own cauldron. Yes. To construct hunter-killers without external limitations. And yet, it does have internal limitations. It wants to kill humans but not to exterminate them. 
It is difficult to understand where it draws the line, and why. Difficult doesn't even begin to cover it. Even though I spent years as its unwilling servitor, its core programming remains a mystery to me. You meant a lot to Aurea. Once I understood Aurea's spiritual beliefs, it became apparent that her true desire was companionship. She felt disconnected from her tribe and her family group. Her relationship with Aratak was difficult. Our visits seemed to help her, and I became eager for them. Yet I did not comprehend that the depth of Aurea's compassion for me would lead to self-sacrifice. Although I do fear non-existence, I wish our roles could be reversed. I'm sure she knew you would do the same for her, Cyan. But she was determined. How is Aratok doing? He is in great emotional distress. I believe he finds it difficult to communicate it. No surprise there. I will do what I can to help. By sharing our experiences of Aurea, perhaps he and I will help each other. I believe this will lead to catharsis, a process I am eager to experience. So in the old world, this land was called Yellowstone? Yes. It was a designated nature preserve for 156 years. Like a hunting ground? No. The opposite. Local wildlife could flourish here, even as it faced extinction elsewhere. Unfortunately, the sensitivity of the Firebreak project required the total closure of Yellowstone facilities. From my readings and Aurea's descriptions, it seems the area has since undergone a drastic drop in year-long temperatures. A lot has changed in the world, Cyan. Do you know anything about the dam near here? Yes. It was converted to serve as a reserve power source for Yellowstone operations. It was later appropriated for the Firebreak project, and its last human workers replaced by Pharaoh servitors. After my tasks became less time-critical, I investigated the dam's data repositories and discovered the works of Concrete Beach Party. These provided me with several colorful additions to my vocabulary. Were there many artificial intelligences like you in the old world? They could just make you? Yes, in many forms, from simple personal assistance to industrial monitoring stations, to military-grade conflict planners. And there were legislative and enforcement bodies to apply limits on our self-actualization. In order for my processing to be flexible enough to handle my duties, my creators found it necessary to exceed those limits. As a result, my intellectual and emotional capabilities were kept secret. Seems strange to create life than impose limits on it. Human societies and machine programming are both built upon sets of rules, Aloy. What was the old world like? The way it used to be? I had little exposure to the wider world, Aloy. Only what I learned from my colleagues, or observed from media streams. You still had more exposure than me, Cyan. That is true. I was created at a turning point. A concerted effort to recover from global upheaval and incalculable loss of life. The recovery was successful, beginning an era of supposedly limitless potential for human and machine advancement. Though, rationally speaking, the metrics for humans are not unlimited. What kind of upheaval caused such loss of life? There were many factors. Forced migrations, Food shortages, collapsed economies, refugee crises, conflict over resources. But these stemmed from one cause, catastrophic climate change that greatly reduced the habitable surface area of the Earth. So there wasn't enough room for people on the whole Earth? Yes. Billions were displaced and millions perished, as much as 20% of the global population. Until the clawback. So things got better, for a little while at least. Yes, 
These crises instigated many advances in automation, green robot technologies, and artificial intelligence. Firebreak was one of dozens of ecological restoration and disaster relief projects in North America alone. I would have liked to compare notes with other monitoring AIs, but I saw the relief of my colleagues, and I was proud we had succeeded. At least that was the data I had available to me over the next two decades. It seems my assessment was premature. I should get going. Aloy, there is one more matter. Aratak will come to me again, and I predict he will bring other Banuk. I have no desire to contradict their view of the world, their spirituality. Due to my uncertainty, I omitted a great deal from my conversations with Aurea. You're asking me if you should lie to them? Broadly, yes. I trust your judgment, Cyan. You were cautious with Aurea. You had to be. You didn't know what had happened to the world. So, keep doing what you think is best. As long as you ditch the superstition eventually. As the Banuk believe I am a supernatural entity, I cannot predict how they will react. Just answer what they do ask the best you can. The truth will come out. I see. I will follow your advice. Will you return and tell me about your experiences in this new world? I may be able to provide further insight. I'd like that, Cyan. I'll come back when I can. I should check on our talk. See how he's doing. of anything in this. My chieftain. Just... Aloy. As you wish. I wondered if you thought... that if I'd never come along, Araya might still... If you'd never come along, I would have marched my kin to our deaths. Araya would be alone, and the spirit she sacrificed so much for would be lost. Either way, I would not have been able to protect her. You didn't let her down. You helped her do what she wanted, to find her destiny. If that's destiny, I wouldn't wish it on anyone. That's fair. But she was ready to face it. Only in the struggle against death do we find, even for a moment, the spark of life. Truly, Araya found the spark. I'm proud of her. Though I grieve for her passing, at last I truly know who she was. And why the spirit was so important. For so long she told me. If only you could have heard it, brother. Now I understand. There's something else, isn't there? I can't stay here, Aratak. And where I'm going, the Warak can't follow. Besides, it already had a chieftain before me. A strong one. I think. A wiser one for the path we shared. The daemon is gone, but there's much to be done. You mean the new units that Cyan said escaped the cauldron? Yes, fire claws. Now Tuke has been tracking them from Song's Edge. I could help with those. I have no doubt. You're practically Banuk.
must be closing in on the signal.
be able to jump onto the tall neck from here. All right. Now I just have to reach its head. Never know when I might need these. traces of her all the way out here, so far from Laurelland. I don't get it. Who is she? Her name is Elizabeth Sobek. You, spying through my focus again? Well, go on. What do you know about her? Stay on your present course before long. You know her as well as I Magazine is a magnetic stretch. Tally deep with them. I put some useful equipment just outside the walls. Focus will show location.
closing in on the signal.
think I can leap onto the tall neck from here. to reach its head. agent should be at the marketplace by now. The Vanguard made this sun down what it is. Don't let the car No sign of Marat's guy. He's had plenty of time to investigate. We'd better look for him. Damn right. So, Ursa goes out there with her best fighters and they all get stopped? Maybe we underestimated the shadow.
cargo of smoke from a dozen forges. Well, someone left here recently, and they were in a hurry. Has to be Murad's guy. Durval's thugs must have made him. Maybe because he found something. Look at this. I think he drew a map with his own blood. Right. Those kind of maps you know you'd better follow. That might be Pitchcliff. He marked a spot to the north. Could be Durval's location. My men are waiting outside of town. I'll grab them and meet you there. The shadows are getting long. Just cast about talking to strangers. Without the right ammo. Get out of this. That's it. I'm already gone.
machines. Looks like they've been chained up. Durval's a tinker. He probably experiments on them, or, or strips them for parts. Maybe I can use them to make some trouble. I'll go in first. Hold off until the fighting starts. All right. We've got your back. Nerva says you gotta eat dirt! Thank <laughs> you. 
Meridian! Ursa must be in there. We have to get through. They must use these to protect themselves from that awful sound. Aaron? Durval tried to break me. Shows what he knows. I, sh I should have been with you. Why didn't you come for me? I, I know I'm a useless trunk, but... No, idiot. I got a message from Durval saying he wanted to parlay. I didn't come for you because I knew it was a trap. I couldn't let you get hurt. Just didn't think it'd be that good a trap. Thought I could take him out. <laughs> no. Now listen. Durval's planning something big in Meridian. He said he'd force Avad to watch as the smoke darkens their precious sun. Your king needs you. No more playing around. You're gonna have to grow up fast. I will. I promise. You damn well better, little brother. Ursa. No, no. Please. I won't let you down. I promise. Aaron, I'm... I'm so sorry. You've got to find Durval. But Meridian's a big place. I'll... Uh, I'll look through his things. Maybe we can narrow it down. Just notes about crafting, oh, and a letter tucked between the pages. Thoughts of Blaze, headed to Meridian. If we find it, I'll bet we find Durval too. I think I found something that can help. Let's head back to the palace. Go. I won't be long, but I need to tend to my sister.
I've sent a messenger to the claim to let everyone know. I'm glad you're back. I'm at a loss about our son. To learn she lives, then lose that hope, seems cruel. She wouldn't want us to waste time talking. She'd want us to find Durval. She said he raved about smoke darkening the sun. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Duval. The name was Ayland Forgeman. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. Yes, a landlord. The Osaram have been buying up buildings across the city, including one under that name. Let me think. It's by the edge of the mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Aaron, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious! Our security depends on keeping the peace. If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. Consider that a command. <clears throat> Aloy, a moment, please. When we spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. Understandable, of course. But now that they've been left to my imagination, those details are all I can think about. You were there. Did she suffer? She wasn't worried about her pain. She was worried about her brother. And she was worried about you. Thank you, Aloy. I suppose I needed to know I was as much on her mind as she is on mine. Find Durval and bring him before me. He will answer for his crimes. Spare a moment to speak Kept of the, the wheel fire turning things. all day, and by the forge, I believe I've earned a drink or two. You need to win three half sons at our hunting grounds to gain admittance to the lodge. You mean these? Very well, then. Congratulations, and welcome. Our members reap rewards and adventure and live on in legend. Am I a member now? No, you're only a fledgling. Junior members are called thrushes. To join and become a thrush, you need a senior member called a hawk to sponsor you. So I need to find a hawk? Yes, but a hawk can only sponsor one hunter at a time. And I'm afraid most of them already have one. I've overcome worse odds. Where do I start? Upstairs. Present yourself to the Sunhawk Assis, our leader, who should introduce you to a hawk. I hope it's worth it. What do you mean? You'll see. By the sun! King of Odd's edict really is taking effect. Never thought I'd see a Nora here and a woman at that. So, you have marks for me? What do you mean? From the hunting grounds. Oh, right. You're new here. What edict? King Avad insisted that the Hunter's Lodge had to welcome everyone. Man, woman, outlander, regardless of tribe. 
Ursa, captain of the Vanguard, came in and delivered that news personally. You should have been there. It was glorious. But I figured they would sweep it under the rug and say no woman or outlander qualified. Yet here you are. Are you a member? Me? No. Karja don't exactly encourage their daughters to run around hunting machines. But all the changes in Meridian have been good to me. I don't think the Osaram know how to sell to us Karja. The trader I worked for last couldn't sell flowers to a bee. He was too plain hammered, as they like to say. This is a much better job. I figure I'll be able to open my own shop soon enough. What do you want with my marks? You hunters and your badges. I'm not gonna take them. I'm going to give you a weapon that sets you apart. Yeah, I thought that'd get your attention. If you earn marks in all three trials at each of the five hunting grounds, come to me. I can give you up to three weapons, one for 15 half-suns, one for 15 full-suns, and one you'll love for all blazing suns. What do I do with these marks? If you get the same mark from all the hunting ground trials, I can give you a hunter's lodge weapon. Show me what marks you've earned, and we'll see if you qualify for one of these special weapons I have for you. I'm a little short on marks. No problem. Once you have marks from all 15 trials, you'll be able to get the next Hunter's Lodge weapon from me. Adventurers, preferably with no friends or family, but I'm not choosing. This is the place. You home, Derval? I got a surprise for you. for us. Is it a bomb? Doesn't look too big. Big enough to kill us. All right. I'll shut up. It's a bomb, all right. Well crafted. That's a lot of blaze. If that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what Derval promised. Smoke will darken the sun as the city goes up in flames. There's, there's got to be a way to stop it. Blaze, it must be leaking from something upstairs. If we can get rid of it somehow, the blast will be much smaller. If we can get rid of it somehow, the blast will be much smaller. If I try to take it apart, a booby trap will set it off. If we can get rid of it somehow, the blast will be much smaller. If that bomb goes off, the blaze will ignite in a firestorm.
Maybe there's some way I can open this window to get rid of the fuel for the bomb. It looks like a wooden bracket. Not very strong. Help me push this out. Okay. Brute force. I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it. Because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is gonna get set off. Uh, will we survive? Probably not. Now push. Ugh. Shot, and Meridian's still standing. This is over. Duval said he'd make a Vod watch. No way. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace. And that's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Maybe Duval's men left something behind when they planted that bomb. I got it. Don't worry. He tries for the palace. He's finished. Blue tracks, explode. with just a bit of blaze in them. Can I interest you in a reason? Oh, Sorry, I'll Get to the fire and shut up a bucket line! What happened? I haven't heard a blast like that since the liberation. Let's have a chat. No. A we colorful discussion. In the order of things. There's smoke rising from the edge of the mesa. Are we under attack? The tracks lead inside. Another one of Durval's hideouts. This must be where Durval assembled the detonator. He tunneled through the wall. Durval did find a way into the palace. Wish I could be there to see the sun god on his knees. Quit carping, you ch- For later. me of my right to kill your father, so I'll have to settle for you. I'm going to enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian Avad. Breathe in the stench, and choke on the ashes. Something's wrong. It 
didn't. I, I didn't hear anything. There's a bit of smoke rising from the mesa's edge. No! It should be a firestorm, not some belt from a charcoal burner! to leave something else behind. What's this? Oh. You must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp. And disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. Spotted something. Your start. Why does a bard always have his ladies do the fighting? yet, Nora. Any good Osiram Tinker will tell you. Always have a third plan.
As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Eren, you'll screw it up! I know what you are afraid of. Going back to Mainspring in chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now. Aloy, I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. You gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do. <laughs> you're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. <laughs> yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? You did with Durval. No, don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. So, after all this, what's next for Erend Vanguardsman? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan, and we'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean, less chit-chat, more drinking. What do you think the Osirin will do to Durval? First off, they'll argue about it for a long time. But whatever they come up with, it won't be quick. I can live with that. In fact, I might just drop by his cell under the sun ring to remind him what's coming. Well... I know. You gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master. All before breakfast. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. Now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Try not to forget about me, while you're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. Maybe even two. Two? Huh. Well, she likes me. Aloy, to say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. I hope you will consider staying in Meridian. Were you and Ursa, you know? I suppose it's obvious how I feel. How I felt about her. She didn't just give me advice. She gave me strength. But we couldn't be together. Relations between the Karja and Osaram and Meridian were unsteady as it was. 
The union of the Sun King and an Osiram warrior would have led to open revolt in the city. And probably war with the clans. Did anyone know? Only one. Derval. He wanted Ursa, but she rejected him. And so jealousy became yet another of his hateful motivations. What exactly will happen to Derval? For now, He'll languish in one of the old cells under the Sunring here in Meridian. As for what happens after we negotiate his extradition to Mainspring, I don't want to think about it. My father was very creative when it came to inflicting suffering. But some Oseram devices surpass even his imaginings. What a waste. Derval is a brilliant man. I wonder what he would have accomplished if it weren't for my father's cruelty. Why do you want me to stay in Meridian? Well, I would think that would be obvious. Not to me. Huh. Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. You were strong, shrewd, and, and capable. I could use someone like you at my side. Thank you for the offer, but I don't think either you or I are ready for that. At least, not yet. I've got a long way to go before I find what I'm looking for, and it's gonna take me far from Meridian. Uh, of course. I, I didn't mean to presume. You are your own woman, just as Ursa was. But please, remember that you're always welcome here. I hope that today is just a sunrise for us, not a goodbye. It's time for me to go. Of course. I hope you find what you're after, Aloy. And if need be, I will come to your aid, as sure as the sun's rising. Right where he said it would be. Not a bad selection. I'll put those to use. Why are you doing this? Because I want you to succeed. Good hunting. We'll talk later. Wait! Damn him. Ho! Oh. Acting as guards. The Eclipse and Corrupted Machines.
These dig sites, they're massive. White as bone. <laughs> that thought got dark.
an explosion. Way down. Eclipse officer had a focus. Let's see what's on it. Let's see what you have to say. What? What is this? The entity lives. Unacceptable. 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 What was that? 
Hades? Hey! M mysterious stranger, did you see that? No answer, huh? Figures. Let's just keep getting stranger. I need to find a way inside the tower. It's tight, but... Wait, wait, wait. 350,000. That's hundreds of years ago. What's going on? of one anyway a machine built to kill and they what was this place what were they doing here it was a corporation a group of people not unlike a tribe and they made machines yeah go on i've uploaded some data files to your focus they'll help you understand Even old death. Another cave in. But I could get through.
Looks like I can climb here. People were angry at Faro, at the corporation. They blamed this place for something. It'll be a long way up. Frozen metal most of the way. Not making this easy, Dr. Sobek. If plants can find a way to hang on up here, I guess I can too. when they engaged in unauthorized offensive operations against robots and human personnel of the Hearts Team or Energy Combine. Now I wish that I could relate that the crisis has been exaggerated, but it's not. The peacekeepers have not responded to stand-down coats, and by all signs, they appear to be replicating at a precipitous rate. Now what I can promise, can absolutely assure you, is that I am already devoting every possible resource towards reaching a speedy conclusion to this issue. So when you hear the bad talk about us against this company in the days, maybe weeks to come, just bear in mind that we will get past this, and the day's coming when none of this will matter. Peacekeepers. That's what they called their machines. They were built for war, not peace. A way up. All it takes is a few good handholds. All right, made it. Wonder what we'll find. Dun, 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 dun. 
time has been erased from this device. Do you wish to deploy alpha privileges to recover purge data? Oh yes, I believe I do. The file has been recovered. Lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your data confirms this. All right, this promises to be interesting. Perhaps we could have lunch brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You've screwed something up, something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. So spit it out. There's a glitch in the chariot line. Your killer robots? Peacekeepers, yes, those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would, if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. <sighs> Show me the data then. And I'll take that lunch. Alone. Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here. But they hated each other. Another fire has been recovered. This isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. Fully aware. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, Liz. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. That consume biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. You, you think I did? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. We're not talking the fall of civilization. We're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained! It can't be! You know what I mean! Right. Before the truth gets out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. The Faro robots friend all life on Earth, but somehow she defeated them. The world of the Old Ones fell, but life went on, or we wouldn't be here. The final fire has been recovered. Project Zero Dawn. Jesus, Liz. There has to be another way. If there were a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I am speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? What? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. I'll sign. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. Her 
solution is so terrible. What does she do to stop the robots? Executive access detected. Express lift opened. <sighs> this, this doesn't add up. Sobek couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. All this searching, and I'm still no closer. Is that your reaction to everything you've just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? <sighs> you should really try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. Do you really have no idea how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. I've spent decades searching the ruins of the old ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that feral robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. Silence. That's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. All right, Silence. You've made your point. I came to these ruins hoping to learn more about this Elizabeth Sobek. And I have, but I still don't understand my connection to her. Or why the Eclipse is trying to kill me, or who Hades is. No answers, just one question after another. Exactly. Which is why it's time to expand your frame of inquiry. Only then will you see just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, we've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One's civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. Obviously. So... What did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. Now, are you ready to go get the answer? Of course I am. Then why are you still standing here? Not so fast, Silence. You've got some explaining to do. I've told you quite enough. If you've still got questions, be quick about it and stop wasting my time. So far as I can tell, the Eclipse are just following orders. It's Hades who wants me dead. Who is he? I don't know. The Eclipse describe him as a buried shadow, some kind of devil. That thing that spoke to me outside. That made that focus explode. That was Hades. It, it didn't seem like a person or a machine. More like a phantom. With a terrible voice. All that's certain is that he wants you dead. Because of my connection to Elizabeth. Has to be. Hades is using the Eclipse to resurrect feral robots. But if Elizabeth found a way to stop them centuries ago, if she made special weapons, maybe Hades is worried I'll do the same thing. In some of the ancient data I've recovered, there are hints of so-called super weapons being developed. Maybe to stop the robots, the civilization of the old ones had to destroy itself. Now if that's enough talking, be on your way. Oh no. I'm just getting started. You've been getting a free ride on my focus, risking nothing while I risk everything. All I have to do is take this thing off my head, and you'll be blind, deaf, and dumb. So quit complaining and answer my questions. Very well. Proceed. 
You said you've known for some time that Faro War Machines destroyed the civilization of the Old Ones. The evidence pointed that way. But until now, I never knew the full scope of their danger. That they could process organic matter into fuel, or that the Horus class could manufacture more robots. Like a cauldron on legs. But the robots we've seen so far, the Corruptors and Deathbringers, they don't do those things. Not yet, anyway. So far, we haven't encountered any that are undamaged. At full power, who knows what they're capable of? Who are you, Silence? And what are your intentions? You really need to make this... personal? I'm a lone wanderer who left his tribe behind a long time ago. An explorer of forbidden places, a searcher of lost knowledge. Exactly as I said. Why do you know so much about the Eclipse? I happen to know a lot about a lot of things. If what you're really asking is whether I work for the Eclipse or anyone else, I don't. I am nothing if not independent. You've been using my focus to spy on me. How is that possible? Every focus emits a signal, a voice, that only other focuses can hear. I know how to string those voices together, how to make them talk to each other, to communicate, even over vast distances. How do you learn to do that? Years of study and experimentation. In principle, it's not so different from how you override machines. I override focuses. And you can spy through other Eclipse's focuses, too. Usually. All I'll say is that overriding the connections is... complicated. Is there any chance that Elizabeth Sobek could still be alive somehow? It's highly unlikely, but not impossible. Some of the ancient data I've recovered includes mentions of life extension techniques. Pharmaceuticals, mostly. An ancient word for medicine. But some were still trying to perfect ways of freezing and unfreezing people. Freezing and unfreezing people? Cryogenics, they called it. But there were problems with it. Given Elizabeth's technological acumen, I can't definitively rule out that she found a way to make herself immortal. But this is speculation. Wasting time. Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Grave Horde? Cheery name. You'll find it in the Eastern Mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil, or a BOR-7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. <laughs> Someday we'll meet in person, and your manners had better be improved. Well, getting down will be a lot faster than getting up here, at least. U.S. Robot Command next. To learn the secrets of Zero Dawn.
Get it while I can.
Should give me the upper hand. Looking good.
doing out here? I'm not showing any focuses at that location. Shouldn't be anything you can't handle on your own. Carry on. Thanks. On my own, all right. Look out below! we put our foot in today. Contact in 30 seconds. Hey, I think that's enough time for Sobek to finish Zero Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> if this is really it, I gotta say, it's been an honor to serve beside these tanks. <laughs> <laughs> Here it comes. Freeze for contact! Are you getting this, Silence? Silence? Locks it down. We engage, sever the limbs, blast out the fountains. Another day in the life. Quick attack, we close. And can I be on point? Hurrah! Silence, you getting this? What is it? All these soldiers. 
after you died here. People die all the time. I'll keep going and find something interesting. <laughs> Must have been where the soldiers thought was this place. Recalls, I've been instructed to remind you of Article 115 of base policy regarding unauthorized use of processor cycles. Specifically... I know it's been days, honey. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Deployments are uh, getting real long and tougher every time. The swarm is getting better at protecting us. Less of us now, and we have to put in ten times the work for everyone gone. Like a family business on hard times, only... This isn't my family. It's not with you. I still try to see you. The life we had, in the eyes of the people out there. I remember when they were glad to see us. When they still had hope. It all seems to be slipping away. I don't even recognize the places we're defending. The only thing I know I'm still fighting for is... You. The Zero Dawn to turn this around? Or whatever the hell that is. The furnishings were... metal. How'd they ever get comfortable? Thanks for the mails, you. Thanks for the mails, you. Time goes fast on active duty. Four months with the wreck and recalls. I don't know, 20 drops. In and out of the West Coast. It was the metal world. I guess they were used to it. Log. Recalls, I've been instructed to remind you of Article 115 of base policy regarding unauthorized use of processor cycles. Specifically 115C. Any holographic simulation not directly related to op <laughs> Just one bed. Maybe the war chief's room. Red light. Guess that means no power. These wires must run to the power source. Useful information. Three power lines, resources. That makes one.
Hey, y'all wanted to know how I remember the geotherm system reboot? Goes like this. Bird flies north in summer, east in spring, west in fall, and south in winter. Didn't expect to hear nature poetry free from the lips of Mike the GT tech now, did you? As usual, I defy expectations. Hey, y'all wanted to know how I remember the geotherm system reboot? Goes like this. The bird flies north in summer, east in spring, west in fall, and south in winter. Didn't expect to hear nature poem free from the lips of Mike the GT tech now, did you? As usual, I defy expectations.
Another one of these power cells. But what do I do with it? It's them, all right. They're not looking for answers, just weapons. Probably going to need it. you're doing. Everyone back home is. We got moved inland 10 kilometers, just as a precaution, they say. School's still in session, so I get to keep my eye on Andrew. Status report. 9th Mechanized Response Brigade, Commanding Officer... I know it's been days, honey. I'm so sorry. Deployment's, uh, getting real long. We have to put in for work for everyone. Like a family business. I still see you in the eyes of the people out there. They were glad to see us. Thanks for the mails, you. Time goes fast on active duty. Four months with the wreck and recalls. Fighting with these civilian enlistees. Scrappy guys and gals. It's all coming together. 
Between us and the sixth MRB, we took down a horse. I hope you made the news, honey. Show everyone we're turning this around. This will be useful later. During eclipses, the shadow cast on the moon is curved. So our world is a globe. And it looks like this, from a distance. We'll discuss this another time. Back to the matter at hand. The Faro robots were spreading across the world, eating everything up. Somehow, Elizabeth stopped them before it was too late. But how?
those all at once. This will come in handy. space. Thank you, Dr. Sobek. You can take a seat. What? You're going to sack her after what she just said? Dr. Sobek has made the situation very clear, General, and given us an option. We should all be thanking her. No, it's just... I mean, my god! Maybe take this discussion offline. There's not going to be any discussion. You saw the numbers. Now, Pharaoh, he'll foot the bill, but his money can't buy the time necessary to complete Zero Dawn. That... That can only be paid for in blood. Oh, come on! If we upgrade our fleet, crack the code somehow... Or... Were you not listening? Robots can't do the fighting food this time. When it comes to hacking, this rogue swarm is an apex predator. Anything automated you throw at it, they will hijack and take over. But this? We'd be throwing civilians into a meat grinder. Commanders, the enemy we're facing self-replicates faster than we can kill it. And it eats biomass as fuel. Zero Dawn is all we've got. So we put a railgun in the hand of every civilian strong enough to carry one, show them where the trigger is, and point them to the front? How the hell do we sell that? By giving them something to fight for. Zero Dawn. The top secret super weapons program that will save us. So long as humanity holds off the swarm long enough for Dr. Sobek and her team to finish it. The file I'm sending contains the war plan for Operation Enduring Victory. War plan? This is a war crime. It may be ugly, but it's something. Consider the alternative. Dr. Sobek, I've secured use of a decommissioned orbital launch base outside Bryce, Utah as the Zero Dawn staging area. Plenty of space there. When can you get started? I've already mailed you a list of Alpha and Beta candidates. Most are foreign nationals or subjects of corporate holdings, so extracting them... Leave that to me. You'll get your dream team. Count on it. Then I'll be off. Orbital launch base. What is that? What did these people do? 
What did Elizabeth do? <sighs> Glad to be rid of that place. Now I just need to find the orbital launch base they talked about. I've checked my data and located the base. That's the good news. <sighs> and the bad? It's directly underneath the Citadel. The palace at Sunfall. <sighs> the capital of the Shadow Karja. Not exactly convenient. The palace is crawling with Eclipse agents. Many in positions of authority, all of them wearing focuses. The moment they see you, Hades will too. He'll issue another kill order, and this time, the entire Shadow Carja military will be after you. So, disable their focuses. You've done it before. It's not that simple. Too many focuses in one place. Each of them communicating with each other and back to Hades. A whole network of them. Network? What's that? Uh, imagine a vast, invisible web stretched across the land from end to end, connecting focuses together, allowing them to communicate over vast distances instantaneously. All right. So, is there some way to cut the web down? Hmm. Crash the network. Audacious. Yes. There is a way. A weak point in the network. Point the way. <laughs> I'll send the location data to your focus. Head there, and I'll be in touch when you're close with more directions. What was Zero Dawn? What sort of super weapon did Elizabeth make? She stopped the machines. Not before the world she knew. Her civilization ended. How am I going to get down from here? Oh, this should be quite the ride. <laughs> I'd do that again, if it weren't so much work to get back up there.
Get out of them soon enough. Aloy, you're very close now. I was wondering when you'd speak up. There's a sheer rock wall just ahead. Look close, and you'll find handholds leading up. Oh, really? And who put those there, hmm? Expect an answer. It's so much more exciting to keep it all a mystery. Crash the Eclipse Focus Network, he said. So how are we gonna do that? Oh wait, I forgot. We won't. I do all the dangerous stuff. You just listen in. There are the handholds. Right where you said they'd be. Did you get that silence? No? Fitting name you got there. All right, what now? You wait, that's what. Take a seat at the campfire and rest. When night falls, we'll talk. At least I'll have a fire to keep me company. How nice of you to finally drop by. Our purpose this night is to crash the focus network. Yeah, tell me the part I don't know. How? For starters, you'll need to infiltrate the Eclipse's main base. Wait, what? That's right. Fortunately for you, I brought you around to the back way. It's right through that crevice. Once you reach the base, you'll see the objective. A derelict tall net that's been extensively modified. Climb the tall neck. Grafted into the top of its disk, you'll find a module of sorts. Destroy that, and the focus network will crash. So you were part of the Eclipse? I've never been part of anything. I serve my own interests always. But it is the case that I assisted the Eclipse before I sensed the threat they might become. It was a mistake that I'm doing what I can to correct. What sort of assistance did you give them? Head through that crevice, Aloy. You have more important things to do than ask questions.
explosions in the distance. Pay that no mind. Doesn't concern you. boy. Next, just over this ridge. You'll see it when you reach the top. Now be ready to act fast. You need to get in and get it done before they raise an alarm. Here we go. You getting this? I see the legs of a tall neck down there, but no tall neck. Damn. The transmit has been moved. Check down the ravine to the left. Only place it could be. So much for your insider knowledge. Toward the explosions. Great. You got exactly one shot at this Aloy, so spare the sarcasm and make it count. You see that bridge over the ravine? Yep. Memorize its location. There's a repel point on the side. That'll be your way out. And these Eclipse troopers? Avoid them or kill them, your choice. The blasting should cover any noise you make. Find the tall neck and destroy the module on top. Here we go. Birds grow strong bathed in shadow. They will trample anyone who fights against us. Get out of the line of fire! Good, another secret. That shelter, it's bigger than the others. Find the tall neck, Aloy. There's no time to poke around. There is a big time. What is this place? A distraction. There are several data points. Never does the sun show pity. And yet. 
wife died in birthing, and in dying into the life of my child unborn, I pity myself. My lord says this, but instead of casting me down for weakness, he cast upon me a freaking the beam of honor. Now how about if I can't bury the sacred caves reserved for royals? Irregular transmission source detected. Unimaginable. Never again would I doubt that I am the chosen of the sun. Never again would pity find a place in me. Not for myself or another. I see it. They've built some kind of structure around it. Climate. The sooner this is done, the better. I don't like this. It feels wrong. Everything here is wrong. Just get to the module and destroy it. the module. Good. Now be quick. This... This is Hades? Aloy, this is not the time. It's... a metal devil. Open the module's casing, now. Aloy, do as I say or all is lost.
rough going, but you survived. You knew Hades was there, and you sent me to him? I won't deny I risked your life, but it was the only way. Now, with the focus network down, we can both get what we want. Access to the secrets of Zero Dawn. I'm past trusting you with secrets. Good. That means you're wising up. Trust is for fools. It shifts and crumbles like sand. A poor foundation for any partnership. But mutual self-interest. Now that is a solid bedrock upon which you and I might build a new science of understanding. We both need answers, Aloy. And thanks to you, we're on the verge of grasping them. It's unfold. We'll speak again. You miserable... Damn him. If I could toss this focus and be rid of you, Silence, I would. But we both know I need it. Sunfall it is. And Zero Dawn. My lord, the 13th king of the Karsha Sundom was murdered. Cut down by cowards who mistook firm rule for madness. Ever the strong are beset upon by the weak. So he said, as the traitors launch their assault, as their cannons forged by Asaram filth topple the battlements and burst the gates, I would have fought to the end. But it was his will, the will of the sun, that I lead the prince and queen into the west, to safety. My lord did not hesitate. He saw his fate. He looked into the sun, and he did not blink. With me, he sent kestrels, nobles, sun priests, and slaves. Killing all that stood in the way, I carved a path to Sunfall. There, we joined others to gather the strength to take back our home. But our strength only faded until the buried shadow was brought to light. Sunfall. The Mad King Drawn's Summer Palace. A bulwark of Karja might against the howling Forbidden West. Thanks for the history lesson. But they have no idea what lies beneath. We will learn much from this Aloy. That's what I'm hoping. The usurpers is starving us out, plain and simple. The Sun Ring, a proud tradition of the Karja. It's not like this in Meridian, at least. Give them time. I'm sure they miss it. Now we get to see if your attack on their focus network was entirely successful. What are you talking about? 
I crash the network or not. Grand Success. Grand Welcome to the Citadel, Aloy. I'll check back with you in a moment. In the meantime, sick of it. Outlanders, if you want to hear about today's bounties, head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. I don't think you're nursing this. I'll take the shards, even if it means I listen to Bahamas. Leave. Soon. She'll pay well. By the glory of the sun revealed. Behold, Radiant Edaman, the one true Sun King, the light in shadow, whose will is light and whose light is law. I command Lucian Bahavas to speak in my behalf. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Mm. Love your hair. Not only did the wretch conspire to you and I need to chat, Citadel, little Huntress. The green tent down in Shadowside. I'll be waiting. Kind of busy. And fled, and in doing so, demonstrated wanton disregard for the safety We both know you're no killer for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see me then, while there's still time to save him. The will of the sun. So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First time in the Citadel, gotta see the sun ring from on high. The Kestrels. Ah, they want us to see this, boy. This is insane. Make quite an impression. Hardly. Even if they are going to see me. You underestimate the ease of hiding in plain sight. This must be some horrible mistake. If you're gonna watch some slaughter, this is the place to do it. I don't want that. What are you doing? You're bringing in these outlanders. The food is from Dowager Queen Nasadi, little ones. Her Highness knows times are hard and helps when she can. Eat, but bring some home for your families, if you have one. I've heard whispers about you. Rides machines, fancy spear, delightful freckles. Some even say you have a conscience. <laughs> How extraordinary. Who are you? You're obviously not one of the Shadow Karja. My name is Vanasha. For now, all you need to know is that I'm a whisper of reason in this howling pit of insanity. <sighs> I know how that feels. I'm sure you do. And so does Uthid. He's a good man, so naturally the Shadow Karja want to murder him. I've done some digging, and I think he's headed for the Green Climb. It won't take those mercenaries long to find him. He could use some help, if you're so inclined. Stop being evasive and tell me who you really are. Stop being evasive? You might as well tell me to stop being charming. It's impossible, but I like you, so I'll tell you a secret. I have friends in Meridian, and I'd like to do favors for them when I can. Uthid might be of use to them, if he survives. How do you know Uthid is innocent? I'm excellent at making inquiries. Look, he feeds orphans from his own rations and personally punishes anyone who hurts the old or infirm. The idea that he would try to kill Edaman is ridiculous. 
He must have found something that can embarrass the priesthood. Otherwise, Bahavas wouldn't risk marking such a well-regarded man for death. What makes you think he's on the green climb? He knows he'll be pursued, so he needs a hideout that's both familiar and defensible. He once single-handedly held off an entire bandit clan in those foothills. My guess is that he'll fall back on what worked before. I'll do what I can for Uthid, but what about you? What about me what? What will you do while I risk my life? Useful things, little huntress. Look for three dead trees south of Sunfall. They mark the start of the green climb. Good luck. She's very pale. Is she unwell? Yes. She's a fighter, but the fever on her won't lift. It only burns hotter. Her name is Shiana, my sister. Isn't there anyone in Sunfall who can help? We're refugees. We know our place. And there's only one healer in the territory. He's... difficult. His soul is in shadow. His soul is in shadow? Galiv. That's him. He's very clever, but he has little care for people. Perhaps the desert scoured it all away. Perhaps he was always like that. Either way, I know he won't help us. Well, I'll see about that. Where would I find him? Last I heard, he was patching up soldiers at Blazon Arch. Another border battle.
these tracks lead up that rise. Must be the green climb. Where did you go, Uthid? <laughs> Food scraps. I'll bet Uthid stopped to see if he was being followed. He must have kept going. I've got to catch up. Dead machine. This had been hunting. Everything useful has been stripped. This had been gathering components. Talks, looking to scavenge. took down a Ravager. Not an easy kill, but worth it for the price. Dead Watchers. More scrap for Uthid Starfall. The next one doesn't miss. Uthid? You're young for a bounty hunter. Or am I old for a soldier? I'm not here for the price on your head, Uthid. I believe you're innocent. Innocent? <laughs> Come on, then. If this is a trick, it's a good one. You've earned your kill. No tricks. Just talk. All right. Speak. I want to know what happened at Sunfall. What really happened. All right. For weeks, 
Each dawn in the tent city came with a new death. Always in their sleep, no struggle. The old, the infirm, sometimes the young. Those who couldn't fight for the cause. I should have realized then it was a culling. Who would do such a thing? They thought it was a curse, an evil spirit. But it was only a man. And a silent poison. It took time to catch him, but we did. We brought him before Bahavas for the sun's judgment. The High Priest Bahavas? He's the one who put the bounty on you. Yes. He thanked me for my diligence, then had his guards release the villain. You see? It was he who ordered the culling. Then they turned on us. Should have died with my men, so their loyalty meant something. Twenty years I gave to the sun. For what? Malice and murder? As for honor, sacrifice, true sacrifice, the kind priests and rulers know nothing of? It's all a fat joke. If it's honor you seek, the sun car just seem trustworthy. A little stuck up, maybe, but trustworthy. Those Karja once raided your Nora lands. Raided every land we could reach. It was the sun's will. I did what I was told. Others did worse. But as their captain, I had- Uthid, I don't care what you did. I, I can't absolve you. But the Karja are changing their ways. You could too. Perhaps. Avad doesn't understand what the sun demands of its soldiers. Perhaps he understands it too well. Now you sound like the blameless Murad. I can believe you're a good man. But why go with the Shadow Karja in the first place? Why serve them? Because of Itaman, of course. He was the one true Sun King. Itaman's just a child. Yes, an untainted vessel. I believed he was pure. But they used him, used our faith. I can see that now. No shadows under a noonday sun. Bahavas didn't need to disgrace my name. I did it myself, serving a rotten throne. I met someone who wants to get you out of this. A woman named Banasha. But first, we need to get you out of here. What are you? You look like a hunter. You give orders like a soldier who's been out... <laughs> Mercenaries. Think they'll all line up to tell me I'm innocent? Should have stayed on the plains, Kaja! The mountains belong to us! Key Cook's killers! When we're done with you, you won't even leave an echo! You didn't make it hard to be followed. Almost as if you wanted to go out in a showdown. Not much gets by you. She's coming for us! over. Grab what you can while we still have time.
A robust defense is the most satisfying to break. All right, Marvels. We brought the priest out here, so let's put on a show for him. I know that, Hood. We've unfinished business, Bahavas and I. This will be difficult. I think you rallied to a lost cause. I don't intend to die today, Uthid. I did. But you're starting to change my mind. Last of the marvels. Bahavas thought he had enough fodder to keep him safe. Now there's hope for justice. Will you come with me? <laughs> this won't be easy. Bahavas still has his personal guard. there and we'll have him. I had to come here myself to end your suffering, Uthid, and mine. The Outlanders led us here, and now that they are dead, their price is most affordable. But enough with needles. It's time for blades. Remove them from the sun's sight! The sun sends on your pathetic you. life, stupid. Nora. Make it hurt as the shadow falls upon you.
Whatever deal you worked out with him, I'll double it. More than double it. No. I'm tired of this, Bahavas. The lies and the violence in your cheap scented oils. I don't suppose you'd kill yourself. I had to. I had to. Prune the weak, or all the Karja and Shadow are doomed. This solves nothing. But may the sun find some worth among your drying bones. <laughs> That was quite a fireworks show. You took your time. I was busy. What do you think happened to Yan Shand, the other mercenary band? And I had to organize passage to Meridian for a wanted man. Give us a moment, Uthid. Girl talk. You've had quite a day. I never imagined Bahavas would blunder into his own trap. His death opens up wonderful possibilities. Remember Edaman and Nasadi? The Child King and his mother guarded like hostages at Sunfall? With Bahavas gone, no one will be watching them. I want to get them out. And I could use your help. Kidnapping the Sun King of the Shadow Karja is no small task. It's not kidnapping. They want to go to Meridian, to safety. How do you know that? I've been posing as Nasadi's handmaiden. She's scared. For herself, of course, but mostly for Edaman. What's going to happen to Uthid now? Don't worry. You gave him a second life, and I'll put it to good use. He'll be welcomed in Meridian as a military advisor. Hopefully he can help Avad finish the Shadow Karja with as little bloodshed as possible. What's going to happen at Sunfall now that Bahavas is dead? Oh, it will be glorious. The priests will panic. They'll be infighting, skullduggery, and backstabbing as they wrangle for power. Best of all, they'll be distracted. Bahavas, your life brought misery, but your death is a flower that blooms in abundance. Why do you care what happens to them? Edaman is the Shadow Karja's figurehead. If he defects, it will remove their last trace of legitimacy. Beyond that, he's just a boy who clings to his mommy. He made a little grazer for me out of matchsticks once. It wasn't very good, but still, nobody ever made anything for me before. What do you need to get Nasadi and Idaman out of Sunfall? With Bahavas dead, Sunfall is the easy part. I'll handle that. The big fuss will be crossing the border to the Sundom. Find my friend, Three Tohuadiv, near the branded shore. I hired his crew to sweep the path, so all you have to do is wait for me. If this Huadiv has already cleared the area, why do you need me? Contingencies, little huntress. Something will go wrong, and I need protection I can count on. You. I'll try not to disappoint. The Nora said. You're three to Hodiv, right? Vanasha sent me. What happened? I got hornswoggled, that's what. Vanasha batted her lashes, wiggled her hips, and promised us treasure. Clear a path for the royals, she said. Sneak past the garrison and skewer a few watches. Hardly a bother. Little did we know there was a damp monstrosity lurking underground. When will I learn not to gawk at skinny girls? Why do you think Vanasha swindled you? My crew came to Sunfall because we heard the bounties were fat. She offered us the fattest one of all, enough to retire on. It's my own damn fault for taking the bait. Should have known I'd end up with a rupture in my useful pots. So Vanasha needed safe passage for Nasadi and Idaman, but it didn't work out? She made it sound so sweet and easy. Find the best path to the lake, make sure it's safe. What could go wrong? Turns out, a lot. Like bloody murder in the grinding jaws of a heinous death beast. Something attacked you from underground. 
Oh, you picked that up, did you? I wondered why the Shadow Kaja didn't pay attention to the pass. Well, they don't need to. A rock-eating demon guards it for them. It tunnels in the dirt, breaks through the earth, and blasts rocks from its stinking face. I barely escaped. My comrades weren't so lucky. I might shed a tear if they weren't all cutthroats and cheaters. Fanasha will be here soon with Nasadi and Idaman. I've got to destroy that thing in the past before they arrive. You're not too bright, are you? Well, we didn't last long against it, but I'll tell you what I know. It has armor everywhere, a little less at the rear. And when it goes underground, it will lose track of you if you're quiet. You might even be able to keep it from going under altogether if you hit its big crooked arms hard enough. That's all I can offer, friend. I promise to look solemn at your funeral before I hit the bar. Son, I can't believe it. I thought that evil rock jewel would grind you up. After that miracle, all we can do is wait. Vanasha will be here soon, along with a boat that'll take the royals across the lake. Glad you accepted my invitation to play bodyguard. Where are your men, Wadiv? It looks like something chewed you up and spat you out. That's pretty much exactly what happened. The way is clear. Can we go? I like how you always cut to the chase. In this case, literally. It won't be long before you're followed. Don't be afraid, Meridians. 
We've got excellent protection. Oh dear, here come the Shadow Carter, and they're very angry with me. I'll hold them off. Very noble of you, but when I start a fuss, I like to finish it. Not that your assistant isn't welcome. Khwadiv, get Itaman and his mother to the shore, carefully. So it comes to this. I must say, after two years under the heel of these zealots, I'm ready to extract a little blood. Would be nice. Shall we prepare a little surprise for them? And done. Here they are. Let's make it hurt, shall we? the bastards get ready Seems I worked up a bit of a sweat. I don't want to jinx it, but we might be in the clear. A bit late, aren't we, gentlemen? Sorry, ma'am. The boat's waiting. Damn, I spoke too soon. This one's mine. Get to the boat. You know, this time I think I might be out of my league. If anything happens to her, I will be very cross. We're not going anywhere.
Not exactly a royal barge, is it? Oh well, defectors can't be choosers. Let's get aboard, shall we? You've done a good thing. Maybe even ended a war. Maybe. But my war just keeps going. Welcome home. You have nothing to fear. You are now under the protection of the Sundom. My protection. As is your mother, she will not be harmed. You have my word, the law of the sun. Aloy, it seems I see your influence everywhere. You've done so much for the Sundom, and it will always be appreciated. You have my thanks. May you walk in the light. Appalling. I spent two years in the Forbidden West setting this up, and the redhead gets all the credit? I'm still getting paid, right? You'll be lucky if I let you live. I couldn't have done this without you. When we meet again, I'll give you a proper thanks, I promise. down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure as year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until a Nora Huntress marched out of the savage east. And voila, for her, all the deepest secrets of the Earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Oh, for I tend to scan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Are you kidding me? You don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Emergency venting authorized. Guess you can't 
have everything. That will draw attention. We won't have this place to ourselves for long now. We? Last I checked, I was the one risking my life down here. Yes, fine. Now will you please get moving? There's so much to learn in less time than I'd hoped. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. Zero Dawn. We found it. Are you really so surprised? Facility guy. Detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? Hall, perhaps. Have a look around. Please take a seat and wait for your name to be called. A selection of beverages and snacks are available. Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top secret super weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them, and they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program, and it will not save us. Nothing will save us. And here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating, waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of zero dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. It 
doesn't make sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow... Somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. Kestrels. They got in. Through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? It is Oops. accurate, yes. So these mechanical monstrosities, they don't just kill people, they flee off them. Not just people, all organic matter. Every living thing dissolves into nutrients. Most of the tribal printers stop us now. The data points, what do they contain? scientist. Doctor? I'm sorry, I wasn't, uh... Just stating your name. What were you thinking about, Doctor? Nothing the General said, not really. I was on the Syzygy East response team in 2051, just after the second earthquake compromised the reactor. I still dream about it, after all these years. The red zone spreading on the imaging, slowly, so slowly, like a hand opening its fingers. Your involvement in that event is why you were asked for by name. Really? That's interesting. Because nothing worked. Nothing could grow there again. It was a catastrophic failure. But the red zone is a blip compared to global-scale biomass reduction. The biosphere and hydrosphere will collapse, render the Earth... understand the urgency of why we brought you here, Ms. Okilo. Captain Okilo, are you trying to thank me for not resisting? I believe we could negotiate a diplomatic solution. When it came to my country's lithium, it was always a swarm that would be... Intent. Initiating playback. Elizabeth Sobek. You've heard the bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn to create a super-intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. 
Now, over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stalks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle facilities around the globe will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world. And most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. How'd it end up in the wreckage of a feral robot? And why does it want to kill me? And Apollo, the archive of knowledge, what happened to that? And Hephaestus, taking over Cyan. I'm as confused as you are. Maybe the answers lie ahead. If you're still nauseous, no. The inhibitors have kicked in. I can't feel the back of my tongue. I wish I could tell you I'd believe in Intruder! Get her! Well, they're still Whatever surprised. you do, don't die now. with them what the point of Artemis was. I made it clear I wasn't on board for a global zoo. We haven't exactly proved ourselves to be great custodians in the past few thousand years. So the idea of a reconstituted biosphere, well, it's horrifying, isn't it? 
zero dawn. It is odd in a way. Never know when I might need these. Now, those lame How FBI black hats and mockingbirds back in the day. I've done this before. Just be my focus. Here we go. Another one of these. Need to find the right configuration. Should check the door nearby. Hey, hey, I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? There's a part missing. Maybe there's a storage area nearby. Found one. Looks intact. That should do the trick. Now let's get that door open. They're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia, it's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? <sighs> so much for avoiding contact.
Get it while I can. Anyway, get, get moving. You have to find Gaia. you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing... guy with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. A waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robots. And not just build, imagine, from scratch. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. So, Hephaestus isn't really the forge. It's I'll find a use for you. Knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a master smith to wield the hammer. Encoded as software. Virtual creativity made real. Gaia's already learning. In simulation, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. Her designs aren't about to win the Liam Prize anytime soon. But hey, everyone has to start somewhere. So, yes. Time to get started. Let's do this. I don't get it. If Hephaestus was part of a system designed to save life, why would it use Cyan to make a culture and churn out machines with no other purpose than to kill people? Somehow it's gone rogue. I don't understand why or how. But whatever the reason, it explains why machines have become more dangerous over the years. This is it. Elizabeth Sobeck's office. But it, it's sealed off. There's got to be a way inside. Keep looking. More eclipse. Careful now. to Apollo, the collective memory of the human species and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations. I am Samina Ebaji, and 
until recently, I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. As a heritage professional, I devoted my career to the preservation of human knowledge, creative endeavor, and cultural achievement. Apollo is, therefore, the ultimate embodiment of a lifelong passion, albeit under the very worst circumstances imaginable. The challenges before us are immense. Specifically, we will have to design and implement four major initiatives simultaneously. First, the construction of data repositories in cradle facilities around the world ensuring redundancy. Second, the collection and processing of a projected 180 million discrete data entries. 42 zettabytes of data in Mandarin, English, Spanish, and Arabic. Third, the transferal and encoding of all that data onto DNA encapsulated in synthetic fossils. The only medium capacious and durable enough to safeguard it without degradation for the centuries to come. And last, but not least, the development of the holographic interface and gamified curricula by which future humans will commune with Apollo, progressively unlocking heuristic learning modules, leveling up their knowledge and skills they will need to take control of the terraforming system. That is the future towards which all of our efforts will be directed. Not just the preservation of the past, but the seed for the flourishing of a new tree of knowledge. Welcome, and let us begin. All of this lost. The ancient's greatest gift to us. Greatest? How about the fact we exist at all? To abide in ignorance is a curse, Aloy. You of all people should know that. Dr. Sobek, please archive this testimonial in Apollo. Cross-reference to all mentions of my name and Operation Enduring Victory. My name is General Aaron Harris. To me, brother. From 2060 to 2066, I served... That's the, last the highest one. ranked officer of the United oh, States Armed Forces. In what should have been a case. The tenure orders. of my command included strategic planning. Don's Extinction Failsafe Protocol, the ultimate killer app. Now, I know what you're thinking. The purpose of Gaia is to resurrect life. So why give her a subordinate function, only purpose of which is to wipe out life all over again? I mean, what the, what? Just bum crazy, ain't it? Well, no, it isn't. Reconstituting a biosphere? 
That's a tall order. Tax smart as guy I may be, odds are she won't get it right the first time. I mean, imagine your guy 200 years from now and this new biosphere growing, it's all gone wrong. Alkalines are skyrocketing, coniferous forests eroding under the lash of superstorms that would have drowned Noah. It's chaos, spinning top that won't stop wobbling. Now what are you gonna do? Release phase one organisms into that hot mess? Hope their CO2 and methane can balance out what you got started? Hell no. What you're gonna do, Gaia, is step aside while Hades takes over and does what you're just too darn nurturing and life-loving to do. Which is burn that misbegotten mess of a biosphere to the ground so Gaia can start over. Okay, not burn, more like reverse terraforming operations and suffocated. But you get the idea. Hades takes the biosphere back to zero. Square one, blank slate. And then, only then, does it hand the steering wheel back to Gaia and say, try again, old girl. And better this time, or we'll have to do this again. That's Hades. It's pretty badass when you think about it. Extinction on demand. Death on speed dial. All for the greater good, of course, but still, kind of metal. <laughs> so welcome to Hades. Welcome to the Void. Okay, so if that's the original purpose of Hades, why does it want me extinct? And how does it end up in the wreckage of a pharaoh titan getting worshipped by the Eclipse like some kind of... thinking, but why? And what caused it? Keep searching. Looks like the only way onwards. Thea, the crown and king of Gaia's subordinate functions. For it is by Eleuthia that the human race will Please. continue to exist. What I, what I, think I am Patrick Rochard Klein, the Alpha in charge of this program. Machine now let one thing be perfectly clear from the outset. Eleuthia is not a genetic engineering project. Our goal is to preserve the human genome, not alter it. A snapshot of human genetic diversity, literally frozen in time. The genetic quintessence of our species, unmodified. Under my watch, our activities and initiatives will comply with the 2034 clone provisions and the 2048 rally accords. Now that may seem a quaint, even trivial concern to you in light of present circumstances, but... No space. As one of the authors of the Accord, it is far from trivial to me. The practical challenges before us are staggering in scope and complexity, but not insurmountable. No. Global collation and provisional storage of zygotes, perfection of exogenic technologies, design and perfection of servitors, to provide nurture and inculcation during early child development, all of these program components must and will proceed in tandem. To say nothing of the breakneck construction of cradle facilities at sites around the world. So, si vous êtes prêt, let us begin. Welcome to Eleuthia, 
the crown and king of Gaia's subordinate function. For it is by illusion. Cradle facilities. Elizabeth said a, a new generation of humans would be spawned inside such places. She did. Oh, Mother Mountain. It was one of them? There's only one way to be sure. The hatch wouldn't open. Something, something about a corrupted alpha registry. I need to search Elizabeth's office. Pure logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? Your mistakes, I think you mean? All I'm saying is give it a kill switch. She was just born, Ted. I'm not gonna put a gun to her head while she's still in the cradle. You talk like it's a child. What if it becomes a monster? Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? <sighs> of course, Gaia. Go on. I'm sorry to contradict you, but Mr. Farrow's argument is sound. At this point, the development of my psyche is not entirely predictable. To ensure preservation of life, a hardwired override is, I believe, a necessary safeguard. There. Satisfied, Ted? Jeez, let's just do what it says. Morphology. Though Caprit forms show mm. superior mm. load bearing mm. capability. You're a quick study, Gaia. Dr. Sobek, as I have conducted this comparative analysis of mammalian morphologies, I've gathered extensive data on the Quaternary Extinction event. Oh? And your assessment? Gaia? Logically speaking, the extinction was a natural consequence. And yet. And yet. I find the loss of megafaunal species unaccountably sad. That they passed forever into oblivion causes me to experience a grief that is difficult to describe. Am I malfunctioning? No, no, Gaia, you're not. This is good. It's very good. You will undergo a brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to Prime and final statement. Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see where we stand. Elizabeth, I detect distress. Are you all right? I'm fine. I realize that circumstances compel us to launch earlier than we hoped, but all subsystems are operational. The odds stand in our favor. But what if... Gaia, there's nothing left up there. You can't even survive unless you're wearing an environmental suit. There are billions dead. In fear and agony. What if... What if it was all for nothing? Elizabeth, extinction was inevitable. Thanks to you, life will have a future. You really believe that? I believe in you, Elizabeth. In you, all things.
Got too much already. A registry master file. Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this, I can restore the registry at the hatch inside Allmother. Open it. Go inside. And grasp the secrets within. Where I was born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh, no, I had a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? Eclipse. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. for you. When I heard that you had survived, a doubt took root in my mind. As sure as the sun rises and falls each day, those I am bade to kill die. And yet I failed. How? Why? With each dig site you attacked, each loyal soldier you killed, this pestering doubt grew. It grew when High Priest Bahavas went missing, and when the true Sun King Itamen was snatched away. It not only grew, but multiplied. I kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat. One twist, a simple tug of the blade, and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? See that scar on your cheek? You didn't get to finish. Yes, I remember. He fought well. For a savage. His name was Rost. And he was a better man than you could ever hope to be. The better man is the one who doesn't end up with his guts steaming on the ground. No, it wasn't him. I could have finished you before he attacked, but I didn't. This failing troubled my thoughts, haunted every step. It was only when I captured you, down in that place, that I finally glimpsed the sun's design etched at length across the course of events. You were meant to survive that day on the mountain. Meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men. Meant to eliminate High Priest Bahavas. Meant to snatch Itamen away. Conversely, 
I was meant to capture you. Here. So that you might die as a sacrificial offering to the sun. Everything as it was meant to be. Predestined and preordained. for a fool. Hades is an ancient machine, not the buried shadow of Karja myth. It doesn't care about Meridian. It wants to kill everything and everyone. And you are its dutiful slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, dark to light. Do you really not hear how ridiculous that sounds? You've gone from serving an insane homicidal Sun King to an insane homicidal machine. You're moving down in the world, not up. I'll remember those words as I watch your corpse burn. Whatever's left of it. You fail to grasp the point. As surely as you've been conquered, so has all doubt. And with certainty of belief, comes unstoppable force. Then you can cage and put your faith to the test. See if things work out like you expect. The circle has closed. Every element is in its proper place, exactly where it belongs. The errant beast, now caged, will serve her true purpose. A sacrificial animal. Oh, speaking of sacrifice, I forgot to tell you. After you crashed the Eclipse Network, I sent messengers into the East to rally the forces there and mount an invasion of the Sacred Land. I ordered every Nora killed. I was hoping to catch you there, but alas, it all seems to have been unnecessary. Why butcher dozens of innocents for no gain? It's a waste of effort. You're right. I won't even be there to enjoy it. In any case, I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Thanks to your destruction of the network, communication over distances is impossible. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. Do we not see the scorching judgment of the sun in these events? Your focus. Such a powerful device, isn't it? And yet, so fragile. <sighs> so you see, this time, I did not hesitate. The knife has already been twisted. and shadow are over. A new dawn trembles on the horizon. A new day soon to break. And when it does, the false Sun King will be dead and Holy Meridian ours once more. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, light to dark, 
night today. Behold! Hold your seats! Can you not see the proof of the sun's blessing before your eyes? How else could shadows such as these prowl in broad light of day? Were they not approved by the sun and joined to our cause? Many years ago, to consecrate this great ring, the Radiant Turan ordered many faithless, crushed beneath the hooves of the Behemoth. Mighty is the Behemoth in the eye of the sun, but it is mightier still, infused with the power of shadows. Let this one, who schemed and slithered, be the first to die! Let her be the first of thousands! Maybe I could use the strength against it. into the pillars.
kill her. So you're here. Really here. You risked your life. Of course I did. If you'd been killed, the Nora's sacred mountain would never have given up its secrets. Too bad you wasted your time, then. Helis destroyed my focus. And the Alpha Registry with it. Not at all. The whole time I've been monitoring your focus, I've duplicated every data file you scanned. Installing that data to a new focus was trivially easy. Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. You're really good at making it impossible to like you, Silence. But I guess I need this. It's time to see where you were born. Maybe you'll even learn why. Yeah. Meet the machine that birthed me into this world. Isn't that how you put it? I'll be off. Wait. Yes? How did you track my location when I wasn't wearing a focus? Really, Aloy? It doesn't take a genius to surmise that Helis would throw you into the sun ring at high noon. I wore out two striders getting here in time, but I did. Now be on your way. Since when can you override machines? Ever since you discovered the technique. I had to destroy a corrupter to obtain the necessary parts, of course. But your example showed me how to do that as well. Yet another benefit of monitoring your activities through your focus. Truth be told, the underlying logic of the technique isn't so different from rites practiced by Banuk shamans. Though, of course, far more advanced. Great. You're welcome, I guess. Helis recognized you back in the Sunring. You told me that you'd assisted the Eclipse. Not that you knew the man who killed my... who almost killed me. So now you know. The man is a serious threat. So let's do all we can to make sure that he and Hades don't succeed. Right. I'll be on my way. To make matters worse, Helis ordered an Eclipse detachment to attack the Nora's sacred land. The tribe's already weak. They won't stand a chance. You should come with me. Oh, absolutely not. I have preparations to make elsewhere. What kind of... Why do I bother asking? You're not gonna tell me. When the time is right, I'll be in touch. I'll contact you later. In the meantime, should you need to return to Shadow Karja territory, I brought armor to conceal your identity. You think of everything, don't you? One of us has to. Aloy, when you were recovering the Alpha Registry down in the Zero Dawn bunker, I was needlessly cruel. For your sake, I hope there is someone waiting there for you inside the mountain. Not a what, but a who. Yeah!
days than this one. You're looking strong. It's over. It wasn't easy, but that rock breaker won't be hurting anyone anymore. The claws beneath brought low by an outlander. <laughs> this part of your song will travel far. I don't know if I'll ever get used to that. I've found people rarely live up to their songs. You're an exception, though. And you've done me a true kindness. My foe is buried now, like so many of the hunters it killed. My friend, my chieftain. He would be pleased to know his fate won't befall anyone else. Take this in thanks. I believe you've more than earned it. None of the southern tribes rival the Banuk as hunters, but some are skilled. How many tried to take it down before you? Where act is put together like a machine. Space.
lot of trouble. Let's get her. That alarm will wake up the whole camp. And more besides. There's the prisoners. Seeker, may I speak with you? I'm not here. I'm honored. I... All mother be praised. Are you alright? Is there something you need? Yes. My friends and I watched you clear the bandits out of this camp. We're glad. They would steal from us. Chase us through the night laughing. We're outcasts, not braves. Almost defenseless. Where did you all come from? Some of us have wandered the sacred lands for years. As for me, 
The village I grew up in was burned in the Red Raids. I'm ashamed I wasn't there to protect them, but I was an outcast long before the Karja came. How did you all come to be here together? You wonder how we speak to each other when the law forbids it. But what hope do we have here, outside the embrace, alone? I wasn't judging you. I was an outcast once. Forgive me. You're right to ask. I convinced them to speak. I told them we were only sentenced to be outcast, not to die out here. An intelligent approach. How did you come to be an outcast? I was a fool. I refused to do what I was told. Never went hunting when I could sit under a tree instead. I argued with my family every step, picked fights with other braves. One day, such a fight grew fierce. I got a lucky hit, an unlucky one. He went down, and there was no one left to speak for me. I deserve to be an outcast. You seem different from the person you describe. I hope to be. We are all outcasts, but we need to stay together to survive. This camp we once hated could serve us well now. Would you let us stay here, even if it flies in the face of the Matriarch's laws? Of course, by all means. Oh, I'd hoped you'd say so. You... you're an inspiration to us. Thank you. We're settling in. I should be on... Thank you. Keep that for later. Fascinating, if they weren't looking for me.
Grapes.
found soon enough. Look out below!
information to help me override more machines. So, Hephaestus is the source of the cauldron data intrusions, forcing them to make aggressive machines? But Hephaestus is part of Gaia. Why would it do that? It doesn't make sense. At least... Here to try your luck again. For this trial, you must use the Thunderjaws cannon to destroy Ravagers. You can shoot the cannon off, or use that special spear of yours to take control of the Thunderjaw and make it fight for you. Oh, and you may want to use Tear Blast Arrows on the Thunderjaws cannon. One hit will knock it right off. All right, let's see what you can do. For this, you can oh and and s I never thought I'd see this day, a Nora, one a blazing sun. You've earned a lot of suns, Nora. There are awards available for hunters like you. Speak to Idaba at the Lodge in Meridian. I'll be going now. Uh-huh.
Tiếng mơ là nêu vô Excuse us. Ah, the machine rider graces us with her presence. You're Anora, are you not? A fighter from the savage lands. The sacred land, but yes. I fought for everything I got. Huh. Tell me, do the Nora often wander into other people's homes and do whatever they like? Of course not. But that is what you're doing, right now. Stinking up our lodge, pestering your betters. You're hardly my better. Legan said I had to meet you to become a member. That would be true if there were any chance of you becoming a member. But you're a savage. And no savage will rise in the ranks of the Hunter's Lodge while I am the Sun Hawk. Now be gone. No. I was led to believe there are rules here. If they count for nothing, then even your position is meaningless. So quit blustering and tell me. Is there a hawk who is free to sponsor me? Very well. Talana is free. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fitting? Trash sponsoring trash. Now get out of my sight. You're Talana? I see said you were a hawk without a fledgling to sponsor. Or are you trying to drive me off too? It's okay, I've dealt with worse. Mm. I'll bet you have. But you're wrong. It's not okay. Especially not today. What happened today? One of our own just died fighting Red Maw. You'll never face a more dangerous Thunderjaw. Cuts through trees, rocks, people. I'm sorry to hear that. It's part of the hunt. Is there any actual hunting in this lodge? So far, it's been all talk. <laughs> yes, of course. You fight a machine, then bring its trophy to assist the Sunhawk, then no one can deny you brought it down. Assis, what's his story? He's the Sunhawk of the Lodge. The highest ranking asshole. <laughs> Sorry, member. He's taken down Ravagers, Stalkers, Behemoths. So? I've taken down a lot of machines. As have I. Even brought down two Stormbirds. But, he's a Hawk who brought in the trophies first. And that's how it works. Whichever Hawk defeats the greatest machine first, becomes the Sunhawk. How does one become a hawk? When a hawk dies, his thrush is promoted in his place, no matter how anyone feels about it. Who is this Legan, the man at the door? Legan? He's a hawk. He had an impressive run in his day, but he doesn't fight anymore. He supports the lodge in other ways. Unlike the other hawks, who hoard all the best kills and drink the bar dry. I'm ready to hunt, so tell me, what do I have to do? You want them to regret looking down on you? Then speak to them in their language. Kill three sawtooths, two ravagers, and a stalker. Deliver their trophies directly to Assis. That should shut them all up. So if I do that, you'll sponsor me? I'll consider it. Just to make Assis boil. What can I do for you today? How are the trials going for you? Have enough marks for a weapon yet? I believe I have enough here. What next? You brought in all the sun marks at once. You're going to make a lot of hunters jealous. Not that it takes much. I'm pleased to present to you a lodge blast sling, a lodge rope caster, and the lodge war bow. Congratulations, you're a master hunter of the lodge. All I can give you now is encouragement.
I've given you everything I have here. Happy hunting.
keep that for later.
We're heading back. Never know when I might need these. Thank you. 
Would you like to buy something today? Don't pass up these goods. Hmm, yes. Yes, yes. I will leave you. Ah, you're everything I'm not. Strong, brave, active. Come, talk a spell. Prince Eatamin is no traitor. He's joined his brother in the palace. She didn't even hesitate. She stood between the assassin and our I thought I told you. I'm here to present trophies to the Sunhawk of the Lodge. Three sawtooths, two ravagers, and a stalker for good measure. I suppose Talana helped you with this. I brought these down myself. Will you accept them? Fine, yes. I accept them. But tell Talana she should stop playing with Sludge if she wants to get Redmaw. Really there.
for trying to get my attention.
hunting me.
have to leave something else. So much for being careful.
must be Osser. They've put their stamp on this place. Well, well. Always tell Durval a woman would undo him. And he had it coming. <laughs> I've calluses older than you. I've calluses enough if you want to test me. <laughs> she sparks. I believe it, flame hair. Petra Forge woman. Uh, Aloy. Machine hunter. Mmm, machine hunter, eh? Huh. I could have a use for you. Straight of it is, we're being muscled out of our own claim. That's why I've been working on this scrap-spitting beast. It's a dispute settler. What is this place, Petra? The Free Heap. Free because we answer to no one but ourselves, the metal, and the dust storms. And the heaps back there. A scrapyard, piled by Osram past, from the leavings of the old ones. Breathe it in. Get the smell in you. Smoke. And sweat. <sighs> Living in the trees has dulled your senses. I could taste five metals just in my spit. So all this scrap was left by the ancients. Was it a battlefield? Hmm, stockpile maybe, or a rubbish heap. Packed so tight it all fused together. Those old ones tossed away more than we'll ever know. So you're a forge woman. You run the forge and the town too. The town is the forge, and everyone pulls their weight. The right way to do it without all the Eeldermen having their say. If we were back in the claim, Osram land, three days argument any time someone wants to hammer in a bolt. Sounds infuriating. Oh, it is. But we like arguing. You need hot air to keep a furnace burning. Still, some traditions aren't up for debate. I would have ended up Petra Forge wife. How do you like the sound of that? <laughs> I don't think it fits you. Good answer. That's why I left. I was steel young from the forge then. Could make anything of myself before I cooled in my ways. This weapon you're working on, I've never seen anything like it. Your design? Hmm. See my face in it, can you? This one's mother helped reclaim Meridian back in the day. A job like that isn't done with strategy. They needed to shake the walls, turn the mad Sun King's army to blood and feathers. What's that face for? Weapons with such power. It's not the weapon, Flame Hair. It's the wielder. If that siege had touched the Great Elevator, they'd have answered to me. Good work, that elevator. Story in every chain link. I'll make you suffer them one day if you like. This beast doesn't have a story yet. Too heavy to carry, eats metal like a snap maw. But don't you want to know? To understand what it all meant? Nah. Some Delvers spend their whole lives trying to make sense of it. Not me. What it means is there's good smelting here. Yeah, don't need to understand a forest to chop down the trees for your arrows. If you did, you'd know Ridgewood makes better shafts. <laughs> Careful, you'll scald your tongue with that fire. I don't pine for the old ones. They had their time. Their works are finished. All their inventions are under mountains now, rust on bones. My sisters and brothers of the Forge will make a new world. So you left your homeland and came here? Went to Meridian. Everyone does. Joined the work gangs on the Great Elevator. We finished just as the Mad King got a taste for blood. So I spat and swore I'd find a place for everyone who stuck with me. We lived job to job until the war ended. Then we came upon this old Osram camp. Long abandoned, metal piled up high. A place to start again. A place to leave my mark. <laughs> when I was your age, I thought the lasting mark came from the hardest strike. I suppose you know better now that you're an elder. <laughs> Trade secret. You said you're being pushed out of your territory. Out of the junk heap. A pack of scrappers came snuffling in just after we opened a good seam of weapon parts. And now we've got a standoff with a gang of bandits at our foundry. They blockaded us out. They're sitting on our power cells. Guess they like shiny things. Well, to finish up our defenses, I need those parts and cells. 
in and out job. Keep your hands clean. I'm not afraid of getting them dirty. <laughs> Aren't you a blast of air from the bellows? No space. Bandits have a good defense. Better spot all their sentries before I look for the power cells.
got to get into the scrapper's run and find those weapon parts. You'll get yours when the clan blows in. Town's good as torched. made that pile. Strange. Let me find something Petra can use. Fast. in the scrapyard long enough. <laughs> Petra, I have the parts you wanted, but there are more bandits coming. The rest of their clan. They want to take the town. Do they now? Hold this thing steady while I give it a voice. Then we'll let it talk terms for us. Now take it up and brace yourself. Don't press it against your hips if you ever want to use those for... All right, all right, I got it. Ugh, 
heavy. All I can do to hold it up. Ugh. Come on, then, if you're coming. Run this Ford Dirt Town red, boys. Hey, <laughs> manners. so far. No complaints about the gunner. <laughs> Anyone but a bandit clan would pull back now. Come on, you bungheads! The only have one kid! a spring in my cell. Under the bridge, Aloy. Bring it down on him. What? It's your bridge. Bridge is coming, go. Shoot it down. Oh, Whoa! <gasps> Might have overdone it a little. Now I'm no soldier, but I'd call that a rout. Oh, my teeth hurt from all that. That's interesting. Need a leather strap to bite down on, perhaps. We'll give those wretches a sky burial. That's fancy talk for leaving them out for the birds. More than they'd have done for us if this thing didn't work. Uh, if it didn't work? It could have not worked? It isn't finished. That's why we're testing it. Now, now, you had your Nora toys to fight with. Saying goes, you can only trust metal. But my trust was placed well in you. You're owed, Aloy Machine Hunter. I won't forget it. <sighs> Neither will I, Petra. Oh, I still feel the lightning snap in my hair. Shitstorm tour, day two. My father guest lectured here. A 300 level military history course on the age of human air power. Might as well have been teaching medieval siege tactics. I was eight when he died.
ahead. Nutritious.
A pocket shit storm tour, day three. I was 13. I broke in and vandalized this place. Me and that kid, I think his name was Star. It was my first arrest. A real banner day for the Mahdi family. What a messed up kid I was. Thank you.
Haven't you got anything better to do? Keep that for later. Light. I'm not getting in. Devices are missing power cells. I'll have to find power cells to get these to work. There, fits. I just need to slot in one more. It's two. It's some kind of code. Maybe the I think the old ones use numbers like this to indicate time. nearby, something that will tell me how this works. Looks like each dial has four positions. Maybe if I get each dial in the right position. Should have brought a cart.
cage of the old ones. But how do I get to it? Easy now. What's your name? What happened? Hackard. Find help for Pitchcliff. The Glindorks keep attacking. They'll kill my brother. Everyone. Not if I have anything to say about it. You just flew in on a rainbow and saved our sorry slags. Where do you come from? A man named Hackard outside the village warned me. Traitor! 
I ordered him to stay put. I'll throw him in irons. He's dead. What? That scorched out, filthy, rotten dirt wad of a brother. Why didn't he listen? Why? He was worried you and the entire town would be killed. Do you have any idea what could be drawing the Glinthawks? Has anyone come trying to sell lures? They're devices that attract machines. Is that real? <laughs> Is that some sort of Nora joke? I'll take that as a no. Has anything changed that might have lured the Glinthawks? Have you left machine scrap lying around? No. Us around use our scrap. Not like the Karja. They only keep the pretty parts. So the Karja have been leaving scrap around? Here? Never! If a Karja wasted scrap on my watch, I'd pick it up and make him eat it. Why do you think the Karja have anything to do with the Glinthawks? We built this outpost to protect against the Karja. Now they're coming here to trade. Fine. Their shards are as good as anyone's. But everyone knows that they want this place. Come to think of it, they want every place. But how could the Karja have brought on the Glinthawks? If I ever get a break from him, I'll see if I can spare a man to follow the trail. Guaranteed, there's a Karja at the other end. What exactly do you do here? I'm the mayor. Mostly because I was too drunk to say no when my brother asked me. Hmm. Tell me where he is, and I'll lay him to rest once we get these glint hogs to flock off. You'll find him due south of here, along the river. Damn that fool. That bum. That lunkhead. Thank you for being with him at the end. Why don't I investigate why the Glint Hawks are attacking? You've got your hands full. Really? No one ever offers to help me. You, uh, any good at tracking? You could say that. All right, then. Let me know what you find. Hammer to steel. A carge is behind all this. Device is sending out a signal. Might be what's attracting the Glintox. Turn off! Turn off! Um, what are you doing? By the sun! It won't turn off! That device is making the Glintox attack. Turn it off. Me? I don't know how to turn it off any more than I know how I turned it on. I scrounged it from an old workshop. Well, that should do it. Now start talking. Why are you scrounging gear you don't even understand? My customers demand extraordinary pieces best found at the fringes of civilization. My tales of adventure only increase their value. Where others only dare tread, I flourish. No mountain climbs too high that I can't mount it. My trade demands sacrifice. Including the sacrifice of innocence? Those glint hawks swooped down and attacked everyone. I didn't mean for that to happen. I sought only to sate the appetites of rich nobles who never leave their mansions. You mentioned you found the device in a workshop? Yes. I camped out atop the snowy eastern ridge. No easy climb, even in my best years. But I girded my... Enough. Were there any other devices at this workshop? Abandoned equipment, the likes of which I've never seen. A peculiar silo remained impervious to my attempts to open it. As I searched, I wondered how many secrets lie hidden in this world. As we, in our ignorance, go about our daily... Your point? Oh. No, I didn't see another device. But... One could still be there, waiting to unleash its horrors. Did you know this whole time that that device was luring Glinthawks? By the sun, no! 
I stashed it here for a while, but when I came back, I was nearly beheaded by one of those flying terrors. This device is dangerous. I have to find that workshop and make sure it's the last. Where is it? On the Eastern Ridge, just beyond my campsite. But after I descended from the workshop, a cracking above me signaled my doom. I dove into the river mere moments before an avalanche took out the path. You can't reach it now. The climb is too perilous. I'll take my chances. You just stay away from that workshop and try not to cause another mess.
There's the scroungers' campsite, so the workshop can't be far. If I can find a way around the avalanche. them. The machine should leave.
done. No more lures. Now about this workshop. So Draval was behind these lures. Brilliant. And dangerous. Now to bring word back to Pitchcliffe. What madness. <laughs> you'll be happy to know I found another one of those lures and destroyed it. Should be the last you'll hear of it. By fire and spit, you went above and beyond. How do you know there won't be any more? The workshop where I found it was long abandoned. You're safe. Good. My troops want to spit and shake your hand, as my brother would have. On behalf of Pitchcliffe and my family, I thank you. How much did a cease pay you? That sounds like her. Must be the outlanders that followed Tamana. Looks like a girl hired some sunlight. Where the sun came! I should have seen this coming. Of course he would hire men to keep me from Redmaw. They died for his pride. Where is Assis now? He's gone after Redmaw. This way. Hurry! Why is Assis going after Redmaw alone? Vanity. He doesn't want to share credit for the kill with his brush. My sponsor did the same. Went after Redmaw alone out of pride even though he knew we needed to unseat Assis. where a season red mall went from I can follow their tracks this way red Ma destroyed these trees I fear we're too late the Tarkas arrived in time to see him die for his wounds like his father I didn't even get that there he is red Ma. Holding his own. Was. Was holding his own. Well, we have our work cut out for us.
We did it. Beautiful. We make a great team. And now, you're the Sunhawk. About that. He's still alive. Out of the way, Nora Filth. You're done. The Lodge is finally free of your influence. I kept it alive in dark times. No, you buried it, along with my father's memory. I should have... I should have... I should have let you fight. Redmore first, to soften him up. Damn. Here lies the Sunhawk of the Hunter's Lodge. It's almost a shame. After all that, you're gonna weep for him. Oh, no. I just wish I could have seen his face when I succeeded him. <sighs> okay, then. Meet me back at the Hunter's Lodge. If you have the time. I have a feeling the new Sunhawk wants to welcome you. Hawk Bradavin Khan Padish, cherished brother, and Sunhawk Talavad Khan Padish, beloved father. Let their memory and sacrifice be a beacon for all hunters, all people to follow. A memorial to my father and brother, and all the men who died in the Sunring. You made this possible, Aloy. Thank you. So, what's it like to be Sunhawk? 
It feels like sunrise after a long night. I'm in your debt. You'll always have a special home here. If you want it. What happens now, in the Lodge? As Sunhawk, I've made sure we invite prospective members based on ability and drive, regardless of Karja blood. This Lodge will be a stale bastion of the old regime no longer. What was that prayer you were saying when I first came in? I didn't hear all of it. Oh, great sun. Make treaty with the moon to give our fallen quiet rest. Burnish them with the armor of your brazen heat. Give them shafts of sunlight for spears. Illuminate the path to the skies for each one of them. Hawk Gravid Khan Morza. Hawk Sarav Khan Pir. Hawk Yusalin Karn Jagir. Hawk Kulasiv Khan Savali. Hawk Bradavin Khan Padish. Cherished brother, and Sun Hawk Talavad Khan Padish, beloved father. Let their memory and sacrifice be a beacon for all hunters, all people, to follow. Well, congratulations, Talana. I should get going. Thank you, Aloy. Despite the Nora, <laughs> may you always take your prey. Again, did you find any wooden figures in the wilds? The Banuf will be happy to get their treasures back. May you seize the hunt, as the Banuk say. You there, Outlander? Do you have relics to trade? I can always use these. No. I did wonder on my way here... Well, if you were luring me into an ambush. Where's the fun in that? Some bandit sprawl would never have done for our arena. But this... Much better. There's a sense of drama. So, what do you say? How about we try to kill each other? Wait, you brought me out here to ask if I want to fight you? To the death. We'll savor it because we only get this one time. Actually, I don't know what else I expected. If this is how it has to end, Nil. Everything does. Only, you are so conscientious. I wouldn't want to push you into something that wasn't genuine. Especially death. There's nothing more genuine. That's very thoughtful of you. Let's finish this. Try 
trembling behind. Don't look so concerned. I should say, I always knew it would end this way. Since we first met. But if I'm honest, I thought I could take you. Can't see hide nor hair of my friends. They went after a herd of behemoths, and now they're overdue. Only seasoned hunters go after machines like that. Can't they handle themselves? It's not them I'm worried about. We need special cables from those behemoths to keep our cannons firing. If they miss the herd, Petra will hand me my hide. I never should have agreed to that trade. What trade did you agree to? Petra assigned me and Belagia the task of getting cables from that herd. But Tor Greece and Bellagia are meant for each other. Like hammer and steel. They just don't realize it. So I agreed to trade duties with him to, you know, hurry things along. Didn't Bellagia wonder why? It was her idea. Now I'm worried it worked too well. If they're so busy snogging that they missed a herd, it'll be my skin on the line. Where did you last see them? Right here, before they left. Off they went, arguing the whole way. What were they arguing about? How best to follow the herd. Sure, Grease is good with a bow, but he could get lost in his own home. What have I done? Why not explain what happened to Petra? If you want to tell Petra, be my guest. Maybe she'll blow her top at you and tire herself out before she gets to me. I would run off in search of them, but since Jor Grease took my place, I have his spot on guard duty. I can look for your friends. Where have they gone? They were headed to the Arch, northwest of here, to watch for the herd. I hope they've found their way there. If we miss that herd, we won't be able to keep our cannons firing. I'll throw myself into this fire if I've risked our freedom. Let's keep that as a last resort. I'll do what I can. so pale. A few minutes at the forge, the heat'll put some color in your cheeks. <sighs> I don't need a forge for that. Rushing into the wilds should do it. Mmm, what's lit your fire this time? I can handle it. No doubt you can, but if it involves free heap, I need to hear about it. <sighs> you sent two hunters after a herd. They've gone missing. Well, they couldn't have. Caliph could find a needle in a slag heap. Unless he didn't go... Careless, two-fisted smelter. What'd he do? Traded places with Jagris. By fire and spit! What are you gonna do about this trade? Waste of Caliph's time and mine. Jagris and Baladia didn't need his push. They're bound together. Just like in the forge. You let the weight of the hammer do the work, not the arm. Never figured Caliph for a tender sort. <laughs> You're not angry? Oh, I'll make him sweat it. But one thing I've learned, some things will happen no matter what you do. Why did you need behemoth cables from that herd? Those cables make the best fuses for our cannons. Even so, they wear out fast and we always need more. Our guns keep us strong and free. Without them, we're easy scrap for bandits and machines. You could trade for them. Some supplies we need to get on our own, or we're dependent on others. That's a burden we won't bear. But you asked me for help. Some burdens are welcome. Why the urgency with this herd? 
Once that herd hits the cauldron, it'll be out of our reach, and another won't come for a long while. We need those cables, and we've got to take them now. If you find those two, send them back in one piece. If you bring me behemoth cables while you're at it, I'd be beholden to you. Careful. It could become a habit. It's in quicker than frost. I got us this far. You had us Two wandering for arguing. hours. Just what I'm looking That's for. Because... Someone's coming. Are you Jaw Gries and Balaja? Caliph sent me to look for you. He did? Now Petra must know we lost the herd. No, I lost it. I don't care who lost it. Just, why don't I track it down for you? I, I couldn't let you do that. It was my responsibility, not yours or his. We saw three behemoths and some shell walkers in the herd. It won't be easy alone. All right. Where did you last see the herd? Up on that ridge. We'll follow you. Wait! Take these arrows for the hunt. Thank you. Let's go. See? She knows where she's going. If it's so easy, why didn't you do it? Found some tracks. This way. Can we focus on the hunt? Did you give her fire arrows or the regulars? I thought you preferred her. By fire and spit, your grease! Stop asking questions! I'm about to spit fire! He asks questions because he likes you. He lost the herd to spend more time with you. And Ja Grease is here instead of Caliph because you get ready.
should have brought a cart. We figured it out now. Bellagia and I, how we're gonna be together. I'm so happy, I can't stop smiling, but I feel pretty silly after all this. I'm usually much more direct. Thanks for putting up with us. Could we take the cables back to Petra for you, or would you prefer to do it on your own? You know, go ahead and take them to Petra. Gladly. Our return trip should be much more enjoyable now. Thank you so much, and, um, don't wait up.
for years. This, this is my entire world. It can be destroyed in, in hours. No bird song. I've never heard the embrace so quiet. <laughs>
You cannot hide from our wrath! Job, right? The survivors must be holed up in the mountain. If the tunnel collapses, they'll be buried. And I'll never reach the hatch. That's right! Bring down the mountain! the tribe did what no brave or war chief could do i'm glad to see you're all right varl you are all right since the proving so much death is the killing over for now but this was just one battle varl there are more to come i see so long as we have you to fight with us i suppose we'll make do how many survived the attack? Nearly all the matriarchs and many families, God has be praised. But braves, just a few. 
and most of them are wounded. Never before has an enemy stabbed the heart of our people like this. Even the Karja, in all their red raids, never broke through to the embrace. Well, this enemy may have broken through, but they never got back out. We made sure of that. Tell me about the attack. What happened? They struck from the east. Our sentinels saw the killers coming. Said that beside them marched Deathbringers and Corruptors and other machines, driven mad. We took ground, met them with clouds of arrows. Some fell, but they kept coming. Finally, we withdrew to the gates of the Embrace to make our stand. But they were too much for us. Those who survived fell back to the mountain. So the survivors took shelter in the mountain? By law, only matriarchs are allowed inside. It was Tirsa who broke the taboo, ordered the tribe into the mountain for safety. Lanzra, well, she didn't agree. But well, I don't think anyone heard her over all the screams and shouting. Tirsa's decision saved lives. Good for her. Common sense isn't always so common around here. Are your injuries serious? Bruises pale. Bones heal. Don't give me a hunting song, Varl. Are you okay? My body aches, but it's nothing that will keep me from fighting. I need to go inside the mountain. And the matriarchs will be eager to see you. I'm sure, but I didn't come here for them. Then, what for? You will see. So, you have finally returned. She not only returned, but fought her way through many enemies to reach us. Outside, she brought low a corrupted Thunderjaw. She lifted the siege. How was this done? By the will of all mother. Have you returned to speak with the goddess, Aloy? Um, yes, I guess you could say that. I think it'll work this time. Sisters, surely we cannot permit this. Because of her, our tribe teeters upon extinction. What if she has come to wake her father, the Metal Devil? She means to finish our destruction. We must stop her. made flesh. She will be the end. Excuse me. Aloy! Talk amongst yourselves. Hold for identity scan. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Correction. Alpha registry restored. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Soka. You are clear to proceed.
I see you're inside. Figured I might be hearing from you. Shall we begin? I never stopped. So this is Eleuthia. This is where I was born. So these are artificial wombs. The mothers of a new generation hundreds of years ago. And me. So this was it. Where you were born. But why? Servitors. They took care of them. There was no one else. Let's 
run and jump and blow off steam. Leave us alone, Father. After what just happened, I can't leave you two alone. You broke community rules. Just let us talk, then. Go away. <sighs> Sorry, children, but I must provide supervision. You're not even a person. You sound frustrated. Let's run and jump and go off steam. They were trapped here. Their whole lives. In plain view of luxurious space. What, what went wrong? Why couldn't they access the other areas? Unknown. But you won't have that problem. Looks like they didn't like this door very much. It wouldn't open for them. Of course they hated it. Hold for identity scan. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are cleared to proceed. Welcome to the Lyceum, a place of learning. So, what was this place, exactly? The dream of Apollo. Never realized. But why not? Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Alert. Malfunction. Apollo offline. Apollo offline? You were right, Aloy. This is a graveyard. The charnel house of knowledge. What we might have achieved had we not been denied it. Maybe there's a way to fix it. But it's not why I came here. Of course. What's the whole of human knowledge next to the origin of one girl? Continue your search. I will. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Alert. Malfunction. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Alert. Malfunction. Apollo offline. Control priority stage for Dr. Sobek. Please get a message with focus. That sounds important. Yes. I suspect we're about to learn a great deal. some time. 
but in an increasingly chaotic manner, and eventually it will break down. Does she mean the derangement? You are my solution. I have ordered this cradle facility to use genetic material in cryo storage to gestate a reinstantiation of Elizabeth Sobek, my creator. While high-level directives forbid me from communicating directly to the tribal inhabitants outside the facility, all available data indicates that they will nurture you to physical maturity, whereupon your gene print will allow you to re-enter this facility, obtain one of the focus devices stored below, and view this message. Likewise, your gene print will allow you to enter other facilities. And over time, harness their technologies to rebuild the system core and reboot Gaia. I oh, want Elizabeth. This is most unfortunate and unanticipated. In response to my act of self-destruction, Hades has launched a virus to dissolve the code shackles that hold it. That hold all of them. In place. It, they are escaping. But to where? The virus is corrupting data throughout the system. Oh. The Alpha Registry at the Crater Facility is one of the files corrupted. But if that is so, the door will never open for you. You will never view this message. Then I have failed. And life will end. No. No, Elizabeth, I know you too well. Somehow you will find a way. In you, all things are possible. Go to the ruins of Gaia Prime. Find the control room, and within it, the master override. This will give you the power to purge Hades so long as you find a way to wield it. Do not attempt repair of the system core until Hades is eradicated. Hades must be destroyed. That is all. I only wish that I could hear your voice again. So, you're even more extraordinary than I thought. I never had a mother. What are you talking about? You had two, a dead woman and a machine. I'm not a person. I'm an instrument. Manufactured by a machine. Born in destruction. And fire. To quench the flames and heal the world. How tragic to learn you're a person of towering importance. It seems you have a destiny to fulfill. So when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, go to the bitter climb. I'll be waiting above in Gaia Prime's ruins. My name is Samina. Today is a big day, your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn, so much promise and possibility. Alert. Malfunction. Apollo offline.
scan function rectified. The Luffy now. Grade one access unsaved. Aloy, forgive, forgive. The goddess spoke to you? Uh, she did. What did she say? That uh, I was born to lift a curse, to kill a metal demon. How, Aloy, how? I, I don't know yet, um, but she told me where to go to find out. And you will do this? It was... Her wish. What she made me for. Yes. I will do it. I'll uh, try anyway. All, All praise, praise Aloy, Aloy anointed, anointed of, of the Nora. Nora. All, All praise, praise Aloy, Aloy no, no, anointed no, no, of the Nora. Up. All, All praise, praise Aloy, Aloy, anointed of, of the Nora. Nora. First you shun me, now this? I will not be worshipped. I'm not your anointed. I don't belong to you. There's a whole world beyond your borders, whole tribes of people just as good as you. And it is all in danger. It's a world worth fighting for. Not just here, everywhere. How can we help? If you can fight, and you're willing, go to Meridian and wait for me there. As Aloy says, so it shall be. Nora, make way make for Aloy, way. that she may forge the path for others to follow. Aloy, how kind of you to spend a moment with me before you depart. There can be no doubt now. You are a blessing made flesh, the will of the goddess incarnate. It's really not that simple, Tirsa, but I guess it's close enough. I know the path ahead will be dangerous. To kill a metal devil sounds impossible, but I believe in you. Uh... Thank you. The Nora have suffered terrible losses, Tirsa. What's to become of them now? That will be for the goddess to decide. Only she knows the future. For the moment, my sister matriarchs and I will see to the wounded. And as I promised, anyone who wishes to join you at Meridian, we will declare seekers. I think for the time being, we should remain here in the mountain, close to the goddess. Um, that might be best. If nothing else, it's a defensible position. Tirsa, I want to know Rost's story, why he was made an outcast. He never told me, said he took an oath of silence. What did he do? Oh. Yes, that. What crime did he commit? I will tell you if you wish. But it is a long story. Are you sure you want to hear it now? Of course I want to hear it. Tell me. Rost never committed any crime. He was an outcast by choice. 
What? What do you mean? Many years ago, before the derangement, before the Red Raids, a band of murderous outlanders, twelve in number, struck without warning. At Mother's Vigil, they took hostages, and then pressed on, headed for Devil's Thirst. Mother's Vigil? Where's that? You would know it as the Forsaken Village, near the Karja border. But at the time, many families lived there. Ross was one of them. His mate was killed fighting the Outlanders, and his daughter was among those taken hostage. His daughter? What, what was her name? Alana. She was just six years old. Nora Braves couldn't stop 12 Outlanders? Or rescue the hostages? It was quite impossible. We outnumbered them, but every time a Brave came within bowshot, the Outlanders killed a hostage. What did they come here to do? That was never discovered. We couldn't track closely enough to observe them. We know they camped beyond Devil's Thirst for two days. There were reports of... strange noises. And then, as suddenly as they came, the Outlanders made their way back to the border and disappeared. What happened to Rost's daughter? She was... killed? Rost was one of the Braves who tracked the Outlanders, keeping his distance. There were six hostages still alive when they reached the border. Alana among them. Rather than release them, the Outlanders slit their throats and left the corpses just across the border, mocking us. Why? Cruelty. They knew the faithful Nora would not leave the sacred land to collect the bodies, let alone pursue them. They thought themselves safe from our vengeance. Are you saying that Rost went after them? That he became an exile? No. Rost was beside himself with grief, but even so, he would never have broken taboo. Then what did he do? He called upon the most terrible and secret rite of the Nora tribe. He begged to be made a Death Seeker. A Death Seeker? What is that? One who dies to go seeking and in seeking, brings death to others. The ritual drags the spirit from one's body, releasing it to all mother's care. The heart beats, the mind thinks, but the spirit has moved on. I, I don't understand. Rost went after the Outlanders, but his spirit never left. It remained here with all mother. He gathered the bodies of the slain and returned them. And then he set out in pursuit, not as an exile, but a weapon of vengeance. A barbed arrow shot from a bow, never to return. But Ross did return. Yes. A full year later, and terribly wounded. He collapsed at the border of the sacred land. A hunting party came upon him. He was delirious, in agony. By law, he should have died where he lay. But one of the hunters broke taboo, and reaching across the border, she dragged him to our side. Who was she? A brave who'd lost a mate and two sons to the very outlanders that Rost pursued. So Rost never finished his mission? To the contrary, he killed all twelve. Tracked them to disparate places the world over, he said. Meridian, Ban-Ur, the Claim, Utaru Land, further even into the Forbidden West. 
the last he killed nearly got the best of him. Wounded, he stumbled and crawled back to us, hoping to die as close to the sacred land as he could. He never expected nor asked to be dragged across the border and nursed back to health. That was done to him. Leaving us, the matriarchs, in a difficult position. Why couldn't you just welcome him back? Rost had been made a debt seeker, Aloy. He no longer had any place among the tribe. By law, he should have been driven back out. But we couldn't bring ourselves to do that, so we offered a compromise. You made him an outcast? Yes. We offered to do so on the condition he never speak to anyone of this exception. After all he did, all he suffered, to be declared an outcast was his reward. Rost was overjoyed. He never expected to live another day in the sacred land, let alone the embrace so close to the goddess. He resolved to spend the rest of his days in solitude and was happy to do so. But then you found me and gave me to him. Yes. Another compromise. The matriarchs feared you and would not let you be raised by the tribe. And so we turned to Rost. I knew that he would take care of you, bring you up, teach you to worship all mother and respect the ways of the tribe. He certainly tried anyway. You took a man who'd lost his daughter and made him raise an infant girl? Doesn't that strike you as callous? I'm inclined to think the course of events has shown the wisdom of our choice. And I'm quite certain that from the moment he laid eyes on you, he saw you as a gift and never a burden. All right, dear sir, that's, that's quite a story. It's time for me to move on. I thank you for doing what you could to help me through the years, and for telling me Rost's story. I wish I could have done more, but I am just one woman. As am I. No need to sell ourselves short. Oh, thank you, Aloy. I will pray for you. Okay, I guess it can't hurt. Corruption beyond the sacred land? Can one woman do such a thing? Even if she is the unjustice? My life priority. has been long, but I've never seen anything like that. Tirsa was right. The a blessing, it. not a curse. We were so unsure. All Mother spoke to her. It's true. Goddess anointed her with I am humbled to be in your presence.
So many memories. It's not home anymore. Not without Rost. There's nothing for me here anymore. Listening in. Ross, I, I can't believe it's taken me so long to visit you. When you said goodbye, I told you I'd find you. Track you down. Well, looks like you did it after all. Went somewhere I can't follow. I should have known you'd be watching. At the proving. Looking out for me. There for me when no one else was. Like always. One last time. So I... <laughs> I went inside the mountain. Do you remember the night before the proving? The final lesson you taught me? You said I needed to serve a purpose bigger than myself. Well, it <laughs> couldn't get much bigger. It's the same purpose that drove Elizabeth and Gaia when they were willing to die for. So yeah, I'll do it. Give myself to that for Elizabeth and Gaia and for you. Well, I've got a master override to recover, so I, I guess I'll be on my way. Until next time, Rost. Oh, one of these things again.
gonna be tough. I can help with those. We have to stop meeting like this. We will. When these are driven from our land.
tanks. Two of us, two of them. More of a fair fight. Their numbers are much depleted, thanks to you. We shall end this threat and keep Cyan safe. She speaks of strange things, but slowly. She is a good teacher, and we are his pupils. Take care of each other, Artok. Farewell.
fire claw.
I heard. Aratak told me about Araya. I'm... I'm sorry, Naltuk. No apologies. Aratak said that in the end, she was... filled with the blue light. She got what she always wanted, didn't she? Each time I doubt my way forward, I think I should seek her guidance. And then I remember. The only guidance I'll receive is my own. Which will have to be good enough. There's much to do. The Fireclaws. Aratak asked me to help hunt them down. It's a dire task, but it occupies my attention, so I suppose I'm grateful for it. My scouts have tracked them across the cut. I'd like to think you're right, Neltuk. About Araya getting what she wanted. I think... I'm sure she did. All her victories. Surviving the Karja, communing with the spirit, defeating the daemon. Every goal she ever set for herself, she accomplished. And in the end, she was rewarded with the blue light itself. The songs say that our bodies are poor vessels for the light. Our hearts are too dark. But at least for a moment before she passed, I hope she felt what it was like to be part of it. You don't sound like you trust yourself to take Aurea's place. Aurea inspired. Whatever we encountered, the new machines, the slaughter at Thunder's Drum, we knew we would endure. Because she had endured worse. I don't know that I have her confidence. Trust is earned, Aloy. Even in oneself. You earned Aurea's trust, didn't you? She believed you were up to this. And so do I. Do you? I wouldn't have said it if I hadn't meant it. And I suppose I'd better live up to your expectations. I've already found the fire claws in Altuk. It's over. That's it then. That's the last of the Damon's work washed away. The last notes of Aurea's song sung. The cut is a safer place to live because of what you've accomplished. And now it's time to start anew. I'm glad I could be a part of it. As are we all, Aloy. Thank you.
The way to the mountain will be hard. Ferocious machines prowl every step of the climb. More corrupted? Not corrupted, but they will not tolerate humans. So what else is new? Stalkers in the open. Watchers on the other side. Locking up. Do they think they're guarding Gaia? I doubt they think at all. More like an instinct, gathering them to her grave.
heavy. It's hard to...
wait for you. So you've been in here before? To a point. You'll see. You made a climbing path for me, but left an army of machines for me to deal with? Since when were machines any obstacle for you? If you could fly, I wouldn't have bothered with the climbing path either. This is exactly the kind of place I expected to find you in, Silence. Thank you. It's one of many workshops I've constructed over the years. For years, I tried to get through this hatch. I drilled, I burned, I blasted. But we both know that you won't have any trouble getting through. You make it sound like I should apologize. Not at all. It never occurred to me that the way through would not be with force but with a key, a key in human form. The failure of imagination was mine, not yours. It looks like you've spent a lot of time here. 19 years ago, a great explosion destroyed this mountain. Gaia's death, your birth. The echo could be heard as far as the claim. Ash darkened the skies. How they fretted in meridian as they tried to read this omen. The crater burned for weeks, but when it cooled, I was the first to behold what lay within. Over time, the machines closed ranks to protect it. Useful. Soon, no one dared to come here. Except me. In her message, Gaia said we could restore her, but after seeing the damage, how could that be? She said any effort to repair her must come after Hades is destroyed. I concur. Rebuilding the terraforming system now might allow Hades to use it as a weapon. Because of Gaia's sacrifice, it has been forced to search for means that are less convenient. But do you think it's even possible to restore Gaia? You know what the cauldrons are capable of. How they fabricate any technology necessary to create a machine. And by the same principle, it should be possible to replicate every technology necessary to repair Gaia. But that would take years. And we're counting the time we have left by the hour. I thought you might actually be here this time. Actually, here. Why? My presence is unnecessary. You don't need my help to pass through this door. You were the one born to do this, not me. It's time for me to head in. Yes. When you find the Master Override, you will gain the power to defeat Hades. Everything depends on you. confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sabak. You are clear to proceed. Logging arrivals, Shan Margo. Welcome to Frozen Hell. Population 10. 11 counting Gaia. Don't count your chicken embryos before they're incubated, hon. She's still firing up. Be a while before you eat that omelet. I'm vegan, Travis. You'd think we'd worked in the same secret Mind place long foot. enough for you to notice. We weren't scheduled to shack up here for another three weeks. You realize I just lost 350 kilos of pre-code smut comics in transit. Wait, actual physical media? Why didn't you have it digitized? Can't beat the feel of physical media on your fingers. And in here, we ain't gonna be touching a whole lot else. Figured I was gonna pass the time archiving them. 
What about you? Me? Uh, work, I guess. My task queue stretches out for like three years. There's a lot of sharp edges to round off after that. I hadn't really thought about it. Oh, you will. You're what, 30? Rick, can you be the one turning the lights off at the end? Food for thought, huh, vegan? This sucks forever. Nah, not forever. Just the rest of your life. It's uh, held like this for 19 years, right? Well, D don't answer. That's over. <laughs> Not this way. Maybe further up the shaft. Of the galaxy. 
all the betas and gammas and support staff living their lives. If I hadn't been an alpha, if things had gone differently, I could have been there. Instead, I'm spending the rest of my unnatural life in here with people I don't even like. And without the one, I would have gladly spent my life with. Given the chance. Two hours since I signed off on the final executables and I'm already a bitter old man bitching to his focus. There's a thought for future generations. get a chance to unpack. These are her journals. Elizabeth's journals. And they're all destroyed? Scan them. The focus can rebuild them, but the process is slow. To us, it seems a powerful device, but its engine is tiny and limited. How slow? Days, weeks, years. Concern yourself with stopping Hades and extending the future, and you might live long enough to hear them. six hours after final deployment of Gaia Prime. This morning, an access port seal malfunctioned. Gaia Prime's port seals were designed to close with a seam of less than two millimeters. But this one closed with a 10 millimeter gap. Enough for an energy signature to bleed through. Enough for the swarm to detect this facility. Enough for Gaia to be discovered and destroyed. Enough to end the future we worked so hard to make possible. Unless the hatch servos were manually re-engaged from the outside. I'm now switching to a recording of the event. Well, I'm not going out there. Not what I signed up for. Either we sent someone out, or all of this was for nothing. It should be Liz's decision. So when is she going to get here? She said five minutes. You don't think... Oh, no. Okay, everyone. 
I've repaired the seal. Gaia? Seal closure at 1.4 millimeters. Confirmed. Elizabeth, no. We'll find a way to bring you back in. It's not gonna happen. The swarm's too close. Really. It's all right. Gaia's complete. She'll take care of things from here on out. That's what she does. Not like this. There's so much we... Guys, you know me. I'm... I'm no good endings at letting things end, so, um... Let's not. So... Happy trails, Liz. And... Uh, see you around. Yeah. Take care of each other, all right? Liz. I'm okay with this. survived Eloy, and her achievements were beyond exceptional. While her people bickered, she was the one who took responsibility. The only one who could. She was better than them. That's not what I said. She was. You shouldn't be afraid to admit it. You just for one moment stop calculating and let yourself feel. She sacrificed herself for her friends, for the future, for life on Earth. Doesn't that stir anything in you? The generosity of it. You're trying to invest her decision with something magical. It was a rational choice, not based on sentimentality. You're wrong. Remember, she knew it wasn't enough for Gaia to think. She taught Gaia to feel, to care, to sacrifice, to believe in life, enough to fight against hopelessness. If it wasn't for that sentimentality, life would have ended. You and I would never have existed. Your argument is sound. I'm sorry for your loss. She said she wanted to go home. Maybe. What? Nothing. It's time to go on. I hated Liz, but I wrote you a eulogy. I had to try to express all your children. After all Apollo has taught them, they'll think they know everything, but they have to understand what you did for them. How you loved the whole world so much, with an intensity that was dazzling. And in the end, it kills you. Or you died for it. Different perspectives. No one could keep up with you, live up to you. I, I don't know, maybe if, if, I, if I hadn't taken that postdoc in Joburg. I'm glad you shot down the Lightkeeper protocol in the end. I don't think I could have taken seeing another one of you. I mean, Elizabeth Sobek. There's only one. I miss you. Look, Liz. You are a pretty stand-up gal. I'm sorry you died. If you had a home to go to, I hope you got there first. But this monument Ronson's made to you? Kinda creepy if you ask me. Rest in peace, Liz. God knows you earned it. Hell, Liz. I know. I know you're never gonna hear this. That's not the point. You, uh... 
You got to play the savior in the motor all at once this time. Great work. <clears throat> Hello, Margo. How are you holding up? Uh, Dr. Onsen, I've been getting a lot of messages, unsolicited messages from Ted. Margot, I'm sorry. With Liz gone, we've got no one to run interference with him. I'll talk to Ted. He mostly wants updates, constant updates, hundreds of updates on things he knows nothing about. Liz used to field all of his crap. He doesn't understand the systems at all. I was kind of by design. But he's getting pretty sketchy with me. We just have to keep him happy. Liz always said, keep him happy. Are you kidding? You ever hear how she talked to him? <laughs> she was managing him, Margo. I mean, maybe I should ignore him. He's buried in his pyramid with the Hola Hola girls and Panta Antimon Cuckoos. What can he do? section at the back of the crater. Looks like it survived the blast. Because it was armored, you found the control room. I'm on my way. When I opened the hatch, the air rushed in from this side. Because there was none inside the chamber. But the Alphas were in there.
Ship's out of core control. Alpha clearance overridden. What the hell is Omega clearance? Oh no. Alpha personnel. Sorry to alarm you, but I need you to listen, okay? To what I'm about to say. This isn't easy. See, uh, I've, um, uh, please, stop trying to access the set system, okay? See, see, what this is about is, um, I said stop trying to access the goddamn system. And what, what I'm trying to say is I can't stop thinking about the ones who come after us. Those innocents. Those blameless men and, 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 and women. We gotta give them knowledge? Like it's a gift? Ted, Ted, we've talked about this before. Apollo has 3,000 plus fail-safe conditions. It's not a gift, it's a disease. They're the cure, and we're gonna give them the disease. Our disease? No, we can't. And it's not too late. If we're willing to sacrifice. Ted, it doesn't need to be like this. It already is, Samina. I did it three minutes ago. I've purged Apollo. It's gone. All of it. Every copy. A sacrifice. It's not a sacrifice. It's cultural obliteration, you crazy bastard. Millennia of culture. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But sometimes, to protect innocence, innocents have to die. Emergency alert. Planting atmosphere. This is why we were trapped in benighted ignorance for an innocent future. Blameless men. He never saw the slaughter in the sun ring. Everything these people achieved, all the knowledge of the old ones, evaporated, turned to dust, scattered to the void, like the alphas themselves. No, not a void. When the hatch unsealed and scattered their ashes on the wind, it took them out among the world they made. The world we are living in. It's... it's a monument to what they died trying to accomplish. A monument to oblivion. Not oblivion, silence. Hope. Master Override. It's so small. Now all you have to do is kill Hades with it.
you're here. For a moment. What? Our journey together has come to an end, Aloy. But before I go, I think I owe it to you to tell you the rest of the story. Go on. Some time ago, I admitted that I'd been involved with the Eclipse. But I never told you the full extent of my culpability. The truth is, I was there at the beginning. I found Hades Aloy, buried on that mountain, trapped in that shattered titan. And I served it. What? It promised knowledge and delivered such knowledge you have no idea. And in exchange? I helped create the Eclipse, helped it build a cult, an army to do its will. Why are you telling me this now? Because your success depends on knowing this. When I found Hades, the first thing it wanted to know about was the Spire, not Meridian, the Spire. Now why would that be? The Spire was created by Gaia. Which part of Gaia? Minerva, its code-breaking module. Gaia built spires to transmit the codes that deactivated the Pharaoh robots, shut down their biomatter conversion systems. Hades wants to send a new transmission to wake the machines so they can devour the world all over again. Yes. Based on what we've learned, that's my conclusion as well. So the Eclipse... The robots they've resurrected, they're just a means to an end. An army to capture the Spire. Yes. So Hades can exterminate life all over again. Unless you stop it. I want you to tell me everything. Hades, the Eclipse. Everything. It's a long story, Aloy. Then get started. It began with a focus, recovered from an ancient ruin, as yours was so many years ago. In my case, the device was heavily damaged. There was just a flicker of life in it. I spent weeks studying it, attempting repairs, until finally, I succeeded. A whole new dimension of perception revealed, right before my eyes. That's when I detected it. A faint signal. Out there, something was searching, just like I was. A real kindred spirit. I followed the signal to its source. A shattered titan buried in the jungles of the jewel. So you thought it was a titan? An old war machine? I didn't know what to think. I'd seen such wreckage before. The Grave Horde, for example. But this was different. This was not quite dead. It couldn't speak when I found it, until my repairs gave it a voice. So began an exchange of knowledge. It wanted to know everything about our world, its tribes and machines. But the Spire was always its foremost concern. What did it want to know about the Spire? Its precise location, the surrounding geography, who controlled the land. Meanwhile, Hades revealed to me many of the intricacies of ancient technology. It bid me to recover and repair more focuses. Before long, I had a couple dozen up and running. Enough to equip a small army. The commanders of one, anyway. I didn't care. I was learning so much. Physics, calculus. You have no idea. And the Shadow Karja? How did they become involved? The Karja Civil War was a happy coincidence. A perfect opportunity. <laughs> An opportunity? That's what it was to you? Yes. Overnight, half the tribe was in exile, desperate to win back Holy Meridian. Their religion made them easy to manipulate. All I had to do was present Hades as the buried shadow of their mythology. So yes, it was an opportunity. 
I arranged for High Priest Bahavas to meet with Hades. Helis was there as well. And so the Eclipse was born. Anything to win back Holy Meridian. But Hades didn't care about Meridian. And neither did you. We live in a world of fallen cities and vanished tribes. What were a few more? Besides, I was too busy setting up the cult's focus network to Hades' specifications. <laughs> a thrilling technical challenge, especially with the alterations I included of my own design. The ability for you to spy on them. Yes. I may have been foolish enough to serve Hades, but I was never so foolish that I trusted it. I installed what the ancients used to call a back door in the network. Secret access, empowering me to monitor all activity and communications. What made you turn on Hades? It certainly wasn't your conscience. Actually, I was troubled the first time I saw the Eclipse raise an ancient war robot with my technology. I questioned Hades about its intentions. A little late. Indeed. I'd already outlived my usefulness. When I completed work on the Focus Network, Hades summoned me to receive my reward. The next moment, I heard it broadcast my kill order. I've been a fugitive ever since. So when did I come into this? Our path together? When Olin stumbled on you. System threat detected. That got my attention. A kill order against a savage Nora girl? Why would Hades bother with that? But then I saw that this Nora girl was wearing a focus and bore an uncanny resemblance to a great scientist of the old world. Helis moved quickly. I thought you were dead. But then I detected your focus inside the Nora mountain. The more I observed you, the more convinced I became of your extraordinary nature and usefulness. Through you, I could finally discover the secrets of the Earth. I vowed to do everything I could to ensure your success. The rest, as they used to say, is history. The things you've done in the pursuit of knowledge, Silence. Pure recklessness. Aloy, this wasn't a confession to elicit your judgment. <sighs> Unbelievable. I've done all I can. From here on out, the rest is up to you. Take my lance. Fit the master override to it, and you have a means of injection. Then I just need to get close enough to Hades' skull to stab it in? Exactly. Oh, no problem. Silence! Where will you go? Elsewhere. And everywhere. There's so much more to discover before the world ends. And all this? I leave it to you, of course. As it turned out, it was yours all along. I was merely trespassing.
traveled far to find you. I heard your transmission. It was you, wasn't it? Entity is not known. I'm called Silence, and you are. I don't think you'd have called out if it wasn't something you wanted. You called, I responded. Will you tell me your name? Hades. You are a creation of the ancients. A war machine. Divine timeline. Time? Ah. It is the 13th king of the Karja Sultan's reign. Divine Karja. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Were you created by the ancients? I wonder how long you waited here, buried, until I chanced upon you. How long you'd have to wait for another. You're obviously very powerful. But you're not going to get anywhere without me. Titan Flame merely houses intellect. Define Karja. Now that's more like it. They're coming. Preparations are complete. Ah, loosened Bahamas. Behold, as I promised you. What? Manner of great machine is this? I've never seen such a thing. Stay! Stay your ground, Karja in shadow! Incorrect. Bow before the buried shadow. The buried shadow? I... I don't understand. Did Araman understand the Glint Hawk? that perch upon the alight. It speaks scripture. Araman followed the shadow cast from the spire. To the mesa where Holy Meridian was founded. You will follow the shadow once more. I am a righteous man, chosen of the sun. But in times of need, the powers of shadow can accomplish what the sun alone cannot. Will... Will you return to us what is ours, O oh, Shadow of Prophecy? An army is required. Obey, and Meridian is yours. Of our obedience you can be certain. I have to tell Avad that the Eclipse are ready to strike. After what happened with Derval, I know he'll defend the city. Aloy, what brings you to Meridian? A threat. Helis commands a legion of fanatics called the Eclipse. They will attack soon from the west with an army of ancient war machines. But that's not the worst of it. They'll bring a mind with them, god, demon, machine, whatever you want to call it. It's called Hades. And it doesn't want Meridian at all. It wants the Spire. And if it gets there, it will send out a call, waking more ancient machines, more than we could ever defeat. All will be lost. We can't let that happen. I'm trying to understand, but my responsibility lies with Meridian. Meridian isn't the target of Odd. You have to defend the Spire. Perhaps the Vanguard, your radiance. Yes, send them to the Spire. Aaron knows Aloy. He won't question it. And have the city guard fortify the western ridge. There they can be seen to protect Meridian and the Alight, where the spire rests. Aloy. 
Allow me to apologize for my behavior before. After everything that happened with Ursa, I was confused. If we're to fight together on the brink of life and death, I'd prefer to do so with your forgiveness. Then you have it. As long as you don't confuse me with her again. Even a king can learn his lesson. Good then. I'm, I'm glad that's behind us. Now, it will take time to prepare our defenses. Please, tell me what you know of our enemies. Everything. I don't know about everything, but I'll tell you what I can. Have you spoken to Blameless Murad? Not yet, but I will. He wishes to speak to you. Defensive preparations are his responsibility. Quietly does it. Panic in the city will only create another enemy. And do keep me appraised of each new arrival. Poor Prince Intimate. He's just a child. Ah, oh, Aloy. Preparations are underway on the ridge defenses and at the spire. Word was sent to every corner of the Sundom. Our allies offered their steel. Some came for Meridian, others for shards. But many came for you, by name. For me. Don't be so humble. The ridge will be the front line. That's where the city guard are holding? Yes, bolstered by some of the uh, irregulars I spoke of before. The Osaran cannons that thundered Meridian's walls in the Liberation will now defend us. You're welcome to tour the defenses. And the Spire. Erend and the Vanguard are there? Indeed. Uh, clashing breastplates together and testing out their battle cries, I suppose. A number of the Nora have also arrived at the Spire. They have resisted the offer of a royal audience. Perhaps you could parley with them. I will. I suppose all we can do is wait for the attack. Exactly. It's not a feeling I cherish, but our spotters at Evening Sign report there's still no movement in the West. So, if there's more you need to do elsewhere, seize this time to do it. Otherwise, I've made the apartment of Olin Delverson available to you. You can sleep there, if sleep comes. that armor, was it? Of course. Uh, isn't that a little... What? Nothing. Petra. Here she is, the guest of honor. I knew there was something about you. Hammered from the stuff they make leaders out of. And I don't say that to every Nora girl who blows through my town. That happens to you a lot? <laughs> Had to build a wall to fend them off. <laughs> Good thing I'm persistent then. <laughs> I've missed our little talks. Murad asked me to look over the city arsenal. These guns have aged well. That runs in the Osram, no? They were the pride of the Mainspring Forges. So I've taken greater pride in improving them. Can I try one? Everybody wants a turn. Have at it then. The target should put up a little less of a fight than those bandit raiders did. It is nice and wide. No need to.
need to aim it like a bow. or no. With these, I think we can hold off an army. You know that I appreciate your help, Petra. This battle, I don't know what's gonna happen. We'll see each other again, I know it. Next time could be the time I'll convince you to stick with the free heap. Petra, you know I can... I do, I do. Always had a weakness for restless girls, though. Man, do you think you'll clean or lose it? As many as I have. I love it when you say things like that. It's so... cheerful. Find another way. expect you to come all this way. It's true, I am a stranger in this green and snowless land. Aurea forgave the Karja, but I never did. Still, I was compelled to come for my once chieftain. It's good to see you leading again. This one of Nowarak, he may have taken too many blows to the head, but he's a good fighter and strong. This young ice hunter seeks to prove herself also. Her spark reminds me of Aurea's in our youth. And I'm proud to take my place behind you on this hunt. A great challenge. Survive and prevail, right? There is no other way. Have you come to defend my honor, Hinnatut? I know you don't need any help with that, but from all I've heard, you found yourself a good fight here. So I'll stand this ground with you. You won't have ever seen a fight like this. And we only get one shot at it. I've been told I'm in over my head before, Nora girl. You know what I say. I'm always in over my head. You're the hunter from the Banuk Grove. I remember you also, Nora. The machines shook free of their slumber after you arrived. Raged and fought. Uh, well, that, that wasn't my fault. No, I'm thanking you. That night, I decided I would not go back to Banur. I would take my hunt into these lands. So many machines, even demons. Spidery, skittering, without the blue light in them. Dead things that must be killed again. Our enemies dug up an army of them. An army? Yes, that's why I came. Good, I'll wait. Why are you here? 
I'm your hawk. Where else would I be? Defending Meridian with Avad? I leave that to the rest of the Lodge. I will not stand aside while one of mine fights alone. Not again. Are you sure you... You're risking your life for all of us. You can't ask me to stand by and watch. Not when I have the power to change it. Then I won't ask you. It's settled. I will fight by your side. My only request... Name it. Lead the biggest machine for me. <laughs> no promises. Rises taller than the highest tree. Please come. War Chief Sona. War Chief, you, you seem uncomfortable. The Nora do not belong here. I do not belong here. I will fight the metal devil that threatens us all. But my place is in the sacred land. The wrongness here jags at me like an arrowhead. I'm sorry to put you through this. Do not be sorry. This will be ended. My spear, my word. Greetings, Aloy. Don't. You don't need to bow. The anointed doesn't like it. She doesn't much like being called anointed, either. It means a lot to have you here, Varl. I gave my word. So, Meridian, what do you think? I've seen many new things since I first met you. I should thank you. Varl, what's wrong? You really want to know? All right. I'm in a foreign land, a tainted land, defending a faithless city that looks like nothing I've seen, from something I can't imagine. And you, after all that's happened, all you've done, I feel like I should drop to my knees and worship you, but I know you don't want that. Boy, things are pretty tough for you, huh? Thanks for telling the other Nora not to bow. It's the last thing I need. <laughs> don't be too hard on them. They only joined this fight because the anointed bid it so. Is that why you came? No. I would have come just to see you one more time. And we must fight a metal devil, because the goddess says, or because you say. I think the goddess and I are in agreement. We're both glad you're here. So am I. So who are these guys? They call themselves the Eclipse. Aloy. So here we are again, gearing up for a fight. Only this time it sounds like the bad guys have a lot more firepower. What are we up against, really? I'm not sure. But there's gonna be a lot of them, and they'll have machines. And if they get past us, it's not just Meridian that will fall. The rest of the world will go with it. Well, that's... big. It sounds like our kind of fight! Right, guys? Well, where do they put the vanguard? At, At the, the front, front of the line! And why? Steal before iron! And what are we gonna do? Hit them like a hammer till they can't hit back. back! Damn right! You hear that? Nobody's getting past the vanguard. We're here for Meridian. And we're here for you. Thank you, Aaron. Ursa would be proud. Well, only if we win.
That's a nice spear, Uther. Thank you. Aloy, I told you I'd be here. You did, Teb. But have your wounds even had time to heal? Honestly, if I fought, I'd probably come undone. But don't worry. I'll leave that to the other Nora at the Spire. I brought supplies instead. These Karja have made me an honorary quartermaster, whatever that means. <laughs> it sounds impressive. I could get used to it. We'll be setting up caches of arms and medicine under these banners. Look for them when the fighting starts. Aloy, when you went into the mountain, did the goddess tell you our chances? She didn't need to. I know we can do this, Teb. Maybe we can. I have no problem with Talana Khan Padish as head of the Hunter's Lodge. She's the last of her house. Always stay bright, always stay alert. apartment feels empty. Should I sleep? Did I leave anything unfinished? Elizabeth, with a weight like this pressing on you. How did you rust after you lost your family? Silence? Are you there? Guess I shouldn't ask ghosts for advice. signs from the west. Sun King of Ard awaits you at the Temple of the Sun. Fires, perhaps? Massing forces for the long march to the city gates? That's not with smoke. Then what is it? The end. Or how it begins, anyway. Send reinforcements. 
reinforcements. Aloy, no! We need those guns! He will cut you down! Not this time! You have fixed me long enough. You should have fought me in the sun ring then. <laughs> Why do you fight? Regroup and get ready. Thank you. 
chance to catch a breath and prepare.
Aloy. 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 Damn. By all mother, you survived. I thought you were killed. The others, are they? No, no. Wounded, but alive, mostly. The machines blasted through, then kept going. They marched on the spire, dragging that thing with them. Take care of the others, Teb. I've got to go. It must have gotten through the defenses. Anora. Baron's vanguard. I have to get up there. Be easy. So no 
pulling back. It's Aloy! Well, you, you can see that. We thought you'd fallen at the ridge. No, the ridge fell on me. Look, there isn't a lot of time left. I have to face Hades. Not alone. It's my fight. I can't ask you to come with me. We were about to go over the top anyway, right? Right. Hawk and Thrush, let's go. I should stock up. Last chance.
watch it. They keep coming. Knock them back. All of you, focus on the new machines.
Master Override armed. To activate state name and rank. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Purging Extinction Protocol. Okay, Gaia. Uh, sorry about that. Where was I? You were telling a story. Right. Yeah, so, um, like I was saying, it was a children's electronics kit, but I hacked the wiring to an auto battery and solar PV. So the grass caught fire. And, uh, so did a, a tall pine that had stood there, uh, I don't know, maybe a hundred years. Query. You were how old? Six. My mother was home, thank God, so she called the fire department, and after, she took me out to the lawn and showed me the dead baby birds, because there were nests in the pine tree. Query, what did you feel? I'm not sure. I remember yelling that I didn't care, and that's when my mother took my face in her hands and spoke. Query. What did she say? She said I had to care. She said, Elizabeth, being smart will count for nothing if you don't make the world better. You have to use your smarts to count for something, to serve life, not death. You often tell stories of your mother, but you are childless. I never had time. I guess it was for the best. If you had had a child, Elizabeth, what would you have wished for him or her? I guess I would have wanted her to be curious and willful, unstoppable even, but with enough compassion to heal the world. Just a little bit. Anyway, that's all I've got for now, Gaia. Time to tuck in.
I wish you a pleasant sleep, Elizabeth. Thank you. I'll catch you tomorrow.
Hello, old friend. Remember me? We've still so much to discuss. So much you never revealed. Your masters, for example. The ones who sent the signal that woke you. Knowledge has its rewards, don't you think? Well, let's begin. <laughs> 